Okay, excelente. So as you can see, I have a uh, beautiful graphic. It is it is comprised entirely of Raymu sitting, and um, it looks pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm gonna start playing the video game. I'm gonna generate a random number, and it's going to give me a game that I have to play. All right. It's going to be between 1 and 18, but I'm not doing 3 and a 9. So if I roll those, I will roll again and see how many video games I can get through before I have to stop. All right. So let's start. Generate. You can't see this, but trust me, it's happening. Oh, it's 17. Okay. <laughs> okay. You see, I tested it. I, 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 uh, I tested it. It started on 4. I rolled it, it went on 16, and I was like, all right, it works. And then I, I just rolled it there, for real, for real, for real, and now it's on now it's on 17. So I guess we start with Wily Beast and Weakest Creature. Wow. Um, hold on, I have to open the TH crap folder. Uh, so, uh, funny thing about this, I don't know if the stick sensitivity patch is even active on these two games anymore. Also, my I can't get my Toho 15 game to uh, to go. I, ever since I ever since I did a uh, ever since I did Wild K Christmas, my 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 Toho 15 game has just been fucking borked for English. Like if I try to run the English or TH crap, it's just like error. I can't read. It's cool, right? It's very cool. I can still play it like the non-translated, which is. It's fine. I can do. I'll do that. But it's just I don't know why. I don't know why it broke. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh. Unexpected parameter in VLS. What did I just do? What did I just do? Uh. Huh. Huh. I right, don't worry about that. I I I I I don't I don't know what I just did. I think I just tried to open Dolphin in VLC Media Player because my my finger got a little uh, antsy. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Uh, how? Uh, desktop shortcuts basically. These are uh. This is should be set up properly. Shot bomb slow pause. Okay. Okay. All right. Lamb, difficulty level where everyone will treat you kindly. That's all I ask. Marissa, Yomu, Raymu. Um, hmm. I don't know. Randomize? Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Random. I'm gonna get another random number generator, and I'm gonna work it like this. So Raymu is a Raymu Wolf is A, and Yomu Eagle is nine. All right. So I'm gonna roll between one and nine. Here we go. It's four. That's Marissa Wolf, I believe. That is Marissa Wolf. Okay. If I start the game with Andrew's control setup, which I totally won't do, don't worry about it. Okay. So remember, it's on easy mode. I'll be okay. I will take a drink after every stage for how many I am owed. But I should be, you know, it's stage one. It's just gonna get bad after a certain point. That's all. So the first, the first few games will be fine because I will be very, very cohesive, you know? Like, I, I know what I'm doing. I can play the video game. If I get hit on stage one, which I probably will because the stick sensitivity is definitely very strange on this game. I can't see, Captain. Stick sensitivity is very strange and I don't seem to have the stick sensitivity fix on this at the moment. And I don't know how to go about fixing that right now. So I will not bother. 
And since it's easy mode, it should be fine. Getting one of these out of the way... Getting one of these problematic games out of the way should be good. You know, it should be fine. I might just camp otters, though. As, a, as any real video game expert would. Like, why would I not just grab otters? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm fucking invincible. That's all it is. You know, it's a good thing I uh, woke up in time, I suppose. I mean, I set my alarm. I didn't really have any distractions. All the streams I usually watch, Vinny ended at like two. Liam was live and then he wasn't live anymore, so then I didn't do that. I found a video that's just like three and a half hours of Tukey music. Uh, mixed with like, ambi like ambient Tukey music with uh, rain. And it was very nice, and so I just fell asleep to that. It kind of put me in the mood to play that game again. So, you know. Maybe I'll do that. Apparently that game has gotten a substantial amount of, like, content since I last played it. It's also been like two years since I last played it, so there's that as well. I want... Holy visibility. Jesus. Well, at least you can see all the video game on easy mode, right? It'd be kind of cool to see how it goes. There you go. Alright, no lives, no bombs. Not bad. Like, Tukey was... Dude, Tukey was like 28 parts. I played it two uh, Octobers ago. I didn't think it was going to be that big. And apparently it's it's now like even larger. So not only do I have to like revisit the game, I have to like check out all the new areas. So that's that's a lot of fucking stuff in that game, you know? That's a crazy amount of stuff in that game. I like this uh, I like the music of this place a lot. 17's OST is strange, I suppose is the best way to call it. I wouldn't call it bad at all. It's not bad in the slightest. But there's definitely something about it that feels different from what like you grow grown accustomed to from the previous games, if that makes sense. But I really, really do like this like this specific, specific track. Easy clap. Maybe I shouldn't like tempt the bull here. Yeah, let's just not let's just not tempt the bull. <laughs> I'm not a bull fighter. I'm a bullshit fighter. Well, at least you know it's fine. No danger here. Normal mode can get rough enough. Also, I was when I was thought about like you know making it normal mode. I stopped to consider which games that would be awful for, and well, most most of them, and the later games would get pretty annoying. But I was thinking more so games like SA, UFO, and Lol K because Lol K is uh, well, Lol K. Also, story of Easter Wonderland. Uh, that game is, uh, it's, it's, uh, well, it's, it's, um, it, it's, well, it's, 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 uh, it's, 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 uh, well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's something. <laughs> it's, it's something. Big growy ball. As most of you know, I am extremely lightweight when it comes to alcohol, so I'm just drinking uh, sweet liqueur, Di Sorono, mixed with Coca-Cola. That's my drink, so it's not like I'm taking raw shots. If I was taking raw shots, this would not work, because if busy person has shown anything, is that I, I, I can't handle. I can't handle alcohol. I also haven't had a drink in quite some time now. 
so I will probably handle it even less than usual. So I don't think it'll take very long before something bad happens. But I should be fine, because I'm just not going to get hit, like ever. So I'll never have to drink anything. But that's also why I put the, the you know, the rule in to, to drink. If, so, if it goes too well, then I have to drink to compensate for it. <laughs> this Serono is good. Have you ever had beer? Have you ever had beer before? I have. Beer looks tasty in like shows and stuff with the froth, but it smells like, it smells awful and it tastes like, like what the fuck did I just drink? Did I just drink paint thinner? That's how I feel. Alright. I, no, I don't know what paint thinner tastes like, so this is just speculation on my part. I should probably clarify that. I've, I've never, never once in my life have I ever ingested paint thinner in any capacity. I did not huff, I did not puff, and I did not blow my house down. Okay? Alright. Maybe I shouldn't worry about bombs. It's okay, look how many- look how much, like, opportunity I have here to dodge. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Nice and simple. Yo, Marissa's, like, explosion effect on her missiles is very annoying. I mean, I'm not getting hit. Yep, yep, that's me. I gotta get the P. Yeah. Yeah! Yeah! I'll take that. Now I survive and I explode into many. Watch this. Ooh. 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 Okay. It's okay as long as I can still see. I missed the bomb piece, but that doesn't really matter. Any day you want to get to the end of the stage would be great, though. Just saying. Any day now. Oh, this should be the last part. This section is weird, because it's not timed necessarily. I mean, it is. But when you kill a fairy, like, another one takes its place. There you go. I have only- this is the first game, and it's easy mode, and I am 100% uh, coherent. So, I am- I'm fine for now. It's once I beat this game and then I have to take a drink that things will start to get a little- You know. I could also just get hit, like, right here and have to take two drinks right away. Ooh. The get out of the way. Wow. How does he do it? I wonder if I should count if I get hit in roaring mode. I guess if I get hit while under the effects of a border or something, I'll count it as one. <laughs> I don't know. I, I forgot to take that into account. Alright. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it.
Just don't worry about it. I'm alright. I'm good. Okay. Well, if a border triggers and I get hit, well, you know, it's fine. I didn't lose a life, sorry, right? But it counts as a block. It's not like you can avoid the border popping up anyway. Mm -mm. Woo. Welcome to hell. I haven't done a lot today. I woke up eh, probably a little bit of like two hours ago. Coming up on two hours. I took a shower, I ate lunch, and now I am, you know, ready to go. It'd be kind of bad if I woke up 10 minutes ago or something and was like, all right, time to ingest alcohol over the course of eight hours. So I wanted to make sure that I was, I woke up early enough that I could actually like wake up and I would be okay to do that without, you know, because otherwise it feels kind of like, why, why? <laughs> I will never have a drink before, before lunch at least. Well, unless you count, like, the way the clock loops around. I've definitely consumed alcohol at 4 a.m. before. That was the first and only time I have ever had a hangover. You know, they say that uh, this will be an important lesson. Well, I learned it pretty fucking fast. And I can tell you, I don't ever want to experience it again. So, I do not drink to a point where that happens. I don't. Have not since. And thankfully I am very cost efficient when it comes to this kind of thing. Cause this shit ain't cheap. Why is it the only goddamn thing in the entire world it seems that I can buy where tax is already like... Tax is already included in the final price. This fucking alcohol. What's that about? I know exactly what I have to pay for it without having to do any any mental math on percentages. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by this. I can't do this on normal. I can't do this on hard. Can I do it on easy? No. I can't. I can't do it. Think of it like this, chat. When I finish this run, I have to drink equal to the amount of lives I have left over. Uh, that's a lot of lives. I can't see. I practiced the stage on hard mode. I knew everything that it threw at me. I was pretty good at it. And I didn't practice any of my Yumi, and I got my ass beat until I bombed a lot with Otter. Excellent. Excellent rotation. Thank you, Cool Gamer, for the sub. <sighs> Here we go. You can only have a max amount of lives, remember. So I will never have go, like, too crazy over. Uh, oh, I can't do this one. Oh, oh. All right. Pretty good. Wow. Wow. I was still gonna get hit by it though. Okay, now the rings. How bad are these? Ah. A lot of openings.
works out for me. That works for me! Okay. Alright. Alright, now we're going to stage five. Stage five. Still good. Five, five lives. Two thirds. This is only the beginning. There are 16 games. Because I'm not counting nine and three. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should just count them. Maybe it's for the, by, by my best interest that I don't. I don't know how long those games would take on easy mode. Anyway. But I feel like I wouldn't really lose that much. And if I do lose, it would take a while for me to lose, you know? You made me cheats. Achy cheats. They all cheat. Also, I don't even know if 9 still, like, runs on my computer. I didn't test it, because I just don't play that game. I made sure the other games work, so all the games work. Except for, uh... Except for 15 in English, for some reason. But I just completely forgot to check with... 9. I know 3 works, though. Yeah. They weren't kidding about easy mode, dude. Damn. The absolute contrast and difficulty here from normal mode. I swear, it's not usually this apparent. Maybe it's just because when I first played these games, this looked like hell to me. But now, I've seen it. At it's I've seen it much worse, so it doesn't feel that bad anymore. Mayumi has a much like nicer complexion than a lot of other characters, considering she is made of clay. I almost just completely crashed into that. She also has very wide hips, but I didn't need to tell you that. Yeah. There you go. Look, man, I'm just saying, Keiki made her, right? So, everything in Mayumi's design comes from Keiki's uh, mind. And I've seen what artists do. It's not surprising that this is how she turned out. Nice. Wolf. 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 Alright. Look at her. It's not my fault. Like, like, Keiki made this, not me. I'm just along for the ride, dude. Man, these arrows suck on higher difficulties. Oh, this might suck, actually. Eight seconds. I just don't like ghost arrows. Oh, these guys. They get really close to your face, and then I can't see them anymore because Marissa's explosion effect is fucking huge. Yep. <laughs> I hate this spell card. Died on easy mode. Ah, oh, Kring! I hate them. I'll take it. Uh, no. Die really fast. Bless you, wolf. Bless you! That's two drinks, because I got hit. It's one, it's one if it's a bomb. It's two if it's a life. All right, here you go. Make it juicy. Number one. 
Oh, it's been a while. <clears throat> Pretty good though. Two. Woo! All right. All right. It's okay. I'm not. You know, like if you've seen Busy Person. If you've seen Busy Person, you know that, well, you know, if you know, you know, you know, the Mr. Incredible meme, that one, that, that's, 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 uh, that one. But there'll be a lot more space between drinks than this one, that's, that's for sure. Because everything that happens in that fucking game makes me want to drink. Can only play it for a few hours at a time. <laughs> what a what an experience. Oh, Keiki probably has some bullshit. I don't know. I did get hit. I did get hit on easy mode, so that's uh, that's not a good sign. All right. Idolized world. I like it more than Electrical Heritage, personally. Electrical heritage is good. Don't get me wrong. But I just think Idolatized World is better. Has good piano. And I'm a sucker for a good piano. Hey, those ghosts are like really low to the screen. Oh, did you see that? Dude, who's playing this game with this character on higher difficulties? I can't even see three feet in front of my fucking face. How am I supposed to do- Look at this! Back up, Jack! Back up! I can't see! Imagine if they were shooting bullets! What was I, <laughs> what was I gonna do if they were shooting bullets? <laughs> oh yeah, I guess EOSD has a stage- only has five stages, huh? Maybe, maybe I do normal mode on that one because I've played it so much. Maybe I do that one. I I'll see. Same with LLS, because LLS ain't too bad. i played it so many times after all, right? And I, I want to listen to Spaghetti for Dead Princess. Alright, here we go. This is a damn good theme. No. This is uh yeah, circle. I Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to dodge this one. Okay. That's not so bad. Shooting stars. Could really use a wish right now. Chat. You ever see the image? On the internet? I'm sure you have. <laughs> it's that song, but it's, for some reason, it's Mordecai from Rick and Morty and Twilight Sparkle from My Little Pony. And I guess Spongebob is there sometimes, too. You know what I'm talking about? I'm sure you've seen this. This is like, this is like a thing that has more than just one piece of art attributed to it. <laughs> fuck off? What do you mean, fuck off? Sounds like somebody knows. <laughs> you, you know then. Did I say Rick and Morty? I meant I meant Mordecai from the regular show. Whoops. I 
I don't understand how memes evolve, man. They just, they just do. They just do. All right. I can't dodge Geometric Creature. Oh. Yeesh. Idola Diablos. El Corn Diablo. How many wolves are up there? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, you can't look at that. Close your eyes. <laughs> God damn it. Whoa! Wow, Mayumi is. Well, I don't know my. I don't think Mayumi's tall. I just think uh, Marissa is small. I mean, I know Marissa is small. It's like, like a whole forehead. Damn, Mayumi's got a big-ass forehead. Jesus. Okay. Pain. Pain! Okay. Chat, how many lives did I have left? Uh, I take two, so... One. Two. Did I have five? I had two thirds of one. I missed the life piece, so I'm gonna count that as a full one. <clears throat> okay. Gameplay was too good. I only lost, I only got two lives. Easy mode cleared, cool. All right. So I guess I'm gonna drink six. <laughs> okay. Five and two thirds. All right, I'm gonna drink six. Um... Okay. Jun. Nice. The only games you can't fight stage 6 bosses on are Toho 4 and Toho uh, 6. Okay. There you go. Alright! Ready? Here comes the next one. Thank you, cool gamer, for gifting two subs. Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna wreck it. Roll. It's nine? No, I don't think so. It's seven. Okay. Okay, it's seven. I can do that. Um, or seven in here. Uh, seven. Yep. Yeah. Okay, don't worry. It's not like a, I'm, I'm not taking a shot. I'm not taking a shot. It's like a it's it's baby drink. You know, it's just mixed with Coke, so it's not that much. If I was doing shots, I would I would actually be done. Like that's it. One. Wow. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Cool. Oh, I have to randomize my shot type. So, one, I'm gonna pick between one and six. One and two are Reimu. Three and four are Saku, uh, um, the, the other girl. And then five and six are Sakuya. Alright, here we go. 
It's five. So that's Sakuya, that's Sakuya A. Um, I don't think I've ever used this character before. Whoa, my left ear is totally loving the music right now. What the fuck? Well, my left ear is also plugged up, so there's that. Uh, shot, bomb, slow, skip, pause. Okay. Way up. Start. Primer. Sakuya. Illusion sign. Ranged type. Is Sakuya A the good one? The one that plays the game for me? Surely, right? Hmm. Sakuya B is the crazy one that you need to be very good at using and you get high scores. Sakuya A is the one that plays itself. Dun 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 dun. You know, I was playing, well, I, I guess air quotations playing. I was doing Lost Word and I'm not reading the event because I can already tell that if I read that event, I'm just going to sigh heavily. So I'm just not even bothering with it. But then Letty showed up and she was wearing a very nice outfit and I was like, what the fuck? That's Letty? I wasn't even sure if that was Letty at first. But she's just, she's just like a real ass human being. And I was, I was like, what? This is strange for me to see. I don't know what the event's about in the slightest though, I don't really give a shit. I just think the, the uncommon drop, the little Yoshka cookie is adorable. And that's, that's about all you're gonna get from me. Also, I did, uh, they got that forever prayer thing going on, and I, I did it the first one, and it gave me Luna, and so I waited, I did the second one, and I was like, wait, can I get Jun from this? And then I pulled Xion, so, now I don't know what to do. I know I can get Jun from it, but I, I, do I just, do I just take, do I just take Xion? <clears throat> Bloody isn't even out yet, is she? I don't think so, no, but she has an outfit and everything. Jun is not good. I don't care, I don't touch any of the, the post-game stuff, or actual, like, metagame stuff. I just want to put her on my team so I can hear her voice and look at her animations. That's what I do at Suika. Although I'm pretty sure Suika is good. Bam, 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 bam. You can't dodge this. Who says that? Somebody says that in one of the Tenkaichi games. Help me out here, chat. Anyone who's ever played Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 or 3? Who says that? Because you can definitely dodge it. But so I swear there's a, someone who says you can't dodge this before he fires off his special attack. Okay. Do the crazy score strats. Insanity. Crazy. 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 Insane. Absolutely insane. Hmm. By the way, chat, this is a good time to mention World Cup got announced again for this year, if you didn't know. Uh, I didn't look into the details, but yeah, that's happening again. I figured it's a good time to say it because uh, I'm doing this video game right now. This is the only this is the only game I am familiar with anything related to scoring for, so <laughs> it's a good time to say it. <laughs> Dude, how much do I even remember is the question. Probably... Probably a decent amount because I was staring at it for nearly three months. Like if uh, you would have to like, I would have to watch a run again, but I think I would probably understand what's going on for the most part after watching nearly like 18 hours of PCP score runs. It's a lot of time spent on that. Pew 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 pew. Speaking of this game, you know the OST for the trial version was a deeper tone. I actually like it a lot. I kind of wish it stayed that way. 
There's something about the 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 the, the tone that, that I liked more, especially for the examples I used. Cause the well, the examples I chose for the video were uh, the most notable ones for sure, but they are also quite good. All right, Chen is dead. Chen propaganda told me that Chen was now tall, and I thought she was tall based on one image. And then I well, I read more CDS. And Chen is not tall. She's shorter than Orin. I don't understand. I don't get it. She looked like she was nearly as tall as Ron and Yukari, and then suddenly she's a sh she's shorter than Orin. That doesn't make any goddamn sense, man. Did she come out of the gat with elevator shoes? Was she floating? She must have been floating. It's unbelievable. How did they trick me like that, man? I don't get it. Why would you trick a person like this? Hmm. There's Omega Shenron? Thank you. I, I genuinely can't remember, but I, I know it was a character I like to use. And I definitely like using Omega Shenron because he was silly. He dodges attacks. Where are you looking? He, he absorbs the black Dragon Balls and he becomes Omega Shenron. And then SS4 Gogeta can't beat him. Well, I mean, SS4 Gogeta would have kicked his ass, but they were fucking around too much and the fusion wore off. And then they were just like, no, I'm not fusing the game. Bleh. And then Goku was like, oh no, Super Saiyan 4, I can't beat him. Oh, I know, I'll revert back to regular child Goku and throw a spirit bomb at him. That will kill him. And then it kills him. And you may be thinking to yourself, wow, Dylan, GT spoilers, how dare you? And to that I say, come on now. Come on now. Hee-ho! You know, I remember very little about GT. I don't even remember the entirety of the second arc, which is Super 17, where Dr. Jiro and the guy who made Baby team up in hell to create 17, but super, super hot. And then there's the, the the Black Dragon Balls, and then there's going around the planets for the Dragon Balls, which kind of doesn't really make a lot of sense because Namek had their own Dragon Balls, so why would the Dragon Balls... Like, the Earth Dragon Balls only work on Earth, so why would the Dragon Balls on the other planets even go to the other planets? And they wouldn't even really work, and you have to gather them across the galaxy, you tell them. But then they've got, like, the World Dragon Balls and Super. That was kind of weird. I don't know what's going on with that at all. But you, you, I guess if you collect the planet-sized Dragon Balls, you can summon the Super God Shedron, and he goes like, blah, 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 blah. And uh, that's like the ancient language of the gods, and if you can speak it, you can grant a wish. And that's exactly what that guy did, the green guy. His name was Zamasu, I believe. He was, uh, you know, he was like, I want, I, Goku came to my, he came to my, my world, and he was like, kicked my ass. So I want to, I want to be Goku now. And then I guess the dragon took it literally, but he meant it literally anyway. And then he became Goku, and then he was Goku Black, and that's, and he had pink hair for some reason. Uh, when he, when he goes Super Sand. I don't know, I don't get it. I don't understand what's going on with that. None of that made any fucking sense at all. Because it was a bootstrap theory. The events that made Goku Black happen in the first place were caused by Goku Black showing up in the present time. Which, by all rights, means that Goku Black shouldn't have existed in the future because they had no business going up there until he came back from the future with Trunks. But that doesn't make any goddamn sense. Also, why is Mai from Pilaf's crew suddenly, like, in that, like, a romantic interest for future Trunks in that situation? I don't understand what's going on with that. Also, I guess Pilaf and his crew got shrunk into children because of a wish gone wrong, but that wasn't covered in canon. That was covered in, like, a side chapter, but I guess that's considered canon, so it's canon. So they're just kind of chilling during the Goku Black arc the entire time in Bulma's place for some reason. And then, like, Trunks get, get, has a crush on Mai, even though Mai is, like, probably well in her 50s or something, but then she's a kid again. And it's kind of weird when you think about it like that, but you try not to think too hard about the romantic intent when it comes to uh, these kinds of shows, huh? I guess it's just kind of, like, uh, you know, it's supposed to illustrate that... Trunks and Mai, you know, well, I guess Trunks likes Mai, but then in the future Trunks is Mai, and I don't even know why Mai, what happened to the other ones? Where's Pilaf and the dog? I mean, the dog probably didn't live very long. The dog lived pretty long for, for GT, right? The dog was able to survive long enough. Also, Pilaf didn't really grow in size at all, did he? He's kind of like just small and blue the entire time. Even Goku, he just kind of got tan, he wore blue, and then he turned to a kid, and he was kind of the same. He was still wearing blue and still tan. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, here's Alice. Okay. Alright, hi Alice. Chat, when will Alice wake up? Soon, right? She's waking up soon. 
She was put into a coma. The Alice coma theory. Can you believe Zim brought Alice back just so he could drug her, knock her out, and then never let her go? <laughs> Why? Man, I look at this and I think it's not New Orleans. I'll take paternal French. This is nothing. This is baby shit. Look at that scatter shot. Spread shot, spread shot. Bang, bang, boom. They kind of like, you know, you look at the, they wiggle the, wiggle the, the shooter things. It kind of like, it's like pom-poms. It, it kind of, it's kind of like pom-poms. It's like Sakui is a cheerleader. Huh. You know, when you think about it, I guess Mai and Satoto are the closest thing to a cheerleader we got in the actual series. I mean, there was that event, I suppose, in Lost Word, but Lost Word is Lost Word, so I don't really want to count that for anything. At all. But they, you know, they dance behind you and they give you motivation. It's kind of like a Fire Emblem dancer, I suppose, so that's what they do. But like, I guess you could consider them cheerleaders, right? But then when you think about it, I can't think of any other character who could really fit the role of cheerleader. Who, who's, who's peppy like that? I don't think anyone is. Maybe the fairies? Well, the fairies will probably just do it because it seems like fun, though. But there's not really any, like, events that happen in Gensoki where cheerleaders are needed. Also, Mai and Satona don't really exist anymore. They're just, they're just done. They're over and done with. They showed up for Okina, and then Okina just shows up on her own now because it's her own. I, I, mm, I don't know. Okina's more popular than Mai and Satona combined, which has resulted in her not needing them anymore, I suppose, so they don't show up. They're just chilling. They're just chilling. I mean, I don't care. I don't even like them that much. I despise their spell cards. I despise their fight. They just, they look the same. I can't remember whose name is who. They wear shoes on their head. It's kind of silly. But like, they're supposed to be relevant to Okina, but then they never show up. And Okina just continues to show up, but Okina remains relevant, but they're not like with her at all, you know? Okay. Uh. Okay, yeah, all right. They're fired? No, no, they're not, they weren't fired. They're still working for her, right? Or is there some? Is there is there something that says that he, she let them go? I know the whole one of the one of the excuses she gave for her incident was that she was trying to find a replacement for them, and Marissa was the only one who showed up that fit the bill. But you know she wasn't accepted. So I thought she said she was going to keep Mai and Satona around lo for uh, for longer than now that she like gave them up. I'm sure she probably meant it a little bit when she said she was looking for replacements, but I don't really know how the moderate god works for that kind of thing. Maybe it's probably tied to like official, official, uh, well, uh, you know, not official, mind you, but like, like what the, what Madara is based on, or what Okino is based on with Madara's legend, because Madara is like got a bunch of shit, a bunch of shit tied to uh, to that one. That's kind of what makes Okino so interesting. She's also got a funny hat, I guess. Sometimes that's all you need. I've done this so many times. Ah. Ah, maybe I shouldn't. Yeah. I know it's easy mode, but... Uh, just gonna chill. Here she comes! Here she comes! Actually, almost spring! Dude, how much more stage are you gonna make me play? Stop holding out on me! Come on! There she is! I'm sure I can do this. That's not too bad. 
had a way to I knew I knew a way to do that in Uh I don't like this part because I don't remember what I'm supposed to do for it. I guess that works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at all those point items I didn't get. I hate this part. I can't do it properly on higher difficulties. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Die! Okay. I spashed you. Thank you. Glad you enjoy. Uh, I can't read chat very much right now, because I have the window full screen. But, I look when- You know, I look when I have the text, uh, the text on the screen, like this. See, look at that door. You know that's a real door, chat? You know that? That's a real ass door. Straight up. Like, if you- if you look at, like, you look at, like, Spider's resource, it's got fucking everything. Uh, you can see the door. You can see it's a real ass door. All right. 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 Ghosty goo. You know, I really do like this theme, but I would like a version that was just piano without the trumpets. I know how that sounds, but like, I really like the piano bit of this song. Merlin again. Here's some bullshit. You ever just feel cheated? Oh, this looks weird. This is kind of silly. I don't like this. <laughs> I feel like it's easier on normal. What? Get out of my face. Concetto grosso. They cycle between the colors of the rainbow. Well, eventually they will. Yeah. Pop! Victory. It's for the best they share HP, be honest with you. 
If you had to take each individual one out, that would be a, that would be a long fight. This game is already long. We don't need to make it any longer. I forgot the golden rule. One. Two. Okay. Okay. Let me die in spring. Has anyone actually ever read those, like, in their entirety? Do they actually contain, like, anything interesting, or are they just kind of, like, fluff text? Also, are they actually written in English, or is that the translation? It's a genuine question. There's some, like, actual instances where the, the names are in English, like the actual character names. I wonder what's up with that. Page 5 ain't so bad. Page 5 is pretty controlled, all things considered. It's just Yomu at the end of it that makes it a pain in the ass. No Yomu, please. No Yomu. I know what the game is called. Yo Yomu, how about no Yomu? You know, I'm not trying to knock Yomu fans here when I say this, but how did she win the popularity poll by such a large margin? I'm not saying she's a bad character, but I just think it's kind of impressive that she won it by, like, such a huge, uh, different, differential, right? Like, are there really that many Yomu fans in the world? Shows what I know. I just didn't think of her as, like, the most popular character. That's all. But according to popularity poll results... Ah! She is the most popular character by a significant margin. You know I don't like bullet time. It makes me feel significantly worse when I get hit. I can't even do that fucking spell card on easy mode. Cool. Oh, Johnny boy! Oh, I'm fine. Doo -doo -doo. Doo -doo -doo. Hmm. <clears throat> She's pretty cool. Riggle also has a reference in League of Legends. You telling me that Riggle is most popular character in canon? <laughs> Be dark. Yomu hasn't lost her as a factor. That's that's unfortunate to hear. Not dark Yomu. She's purple and black. She's edgy. She's cool. Even though her personality is basically unchanged. Ah! I can't fight this fucking boss on any difficulty, it seems. Oh, that's... That's not hard to dodge. Ay, 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 ay. Forgot how to do this one. Oh, that's the bottom of the screen. No, it's not. Oh, I don't remember what's going on anymore. Oh, fuck this. Fuck you, Yomu! Don't 
Die, die, die! It never ends, never ends, never ends, never ends, never ends, never ends. Flash. A death bomb is a bomb, by the way. Dude, they're so slow. That was close. How many was that? Was that that was two lives and a bomb, right? Or was that one life and a bomb? I can't remember. I think it was one, right? It was one bomb and a life. Or one bomb and a wife? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. Hmm. One. Two. Three. Okay. Look at that score penalty. Mm. Look at that clean 165 million seeking rebirth in this PR land. Please offer cherry blossoms to the Buddha. Should you wish to mourn for me in the other world? The Buddha. Satori so asked Yiko about this event, and Yiko didn't want to talk about it. I don't think Yiko wants to remember this event. She knows what's going on now with it. I don't blame her for wanting to forget it. Wait. Yombo came back destroyed. People should really invest in better sleeves in this universe, because they always seem to get torn up in battle. But only the sleeves. Hell, Moko doesn't even have them anymore. Her sleeves are gone. Can he dodge Resurrection Butterfly on easy mode? The answer may shock, shock you. Those funny trees. Chad, is it just me or is this like a lake? You see like the water texture at the bottom there? You see that like it's like water down there and then there's like something in the background It's not like the tree, but then the tree shows up and my controller's rumbling which means ah, oh, that's us back We're good. Oh, I haven't had that happen in a while. That's neat. All right, we're good. Yeah Look how much bloom she has like look at Sakria and then look at look at Yuko Like when you die actually, I guess this is this is just something that happens, right? Like when you the, when you're uh, when you're a ghost, you get a warble filter over your voice, and you you glow with like a luminescent white. It indicates you're spooky, but I don't think she's very spooky. Yiko is not scary in the way she looks. She's scary in well, her ability. Woo! Now you know. Look at the way look at the way Saki's legs dangle. Look at that. They're like little little spaghetti noodles. <laughs> Them. Little danglies. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And spaghetti noodles. Whoa. Whoa.
There's that wagon. At least Sakuya hits Yuko directly. Oh no. Nice. Oh, I knew it. I knew it! He knew! Oh well. Oh well. Sume Zome! Relax. Die. Here go. God damn it. Four seconds. Surely this is dodgeable. I almost got hit by it. I hate timeouts. I hate timeouts. I hate timeouts. Please don't hit me again. Nineteen seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three. That's close. 
I did it! Okay. 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 Yeah. 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 All right. One sec, chat. I have to use the bathroom. We're back. I'll be back. See you in a minute. Holy shit! I thought my game crashed. I think I went back. Thank you for the raid! Awfully, fawfully. I said that correct. Yes. Thank you. I appreciate it. Too bad I was missing until just one second ago. So, Chad, I was thinking about something. I was thinking about hands in the toilet. Why would I think about that? It's good. Well, it's just, this is the kind of thing that happens when you, you know. You know, you know the the, um, the 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 hand guy who in the, the Legend of Zelda game, right? You know that one. He comes out of the toilet, he's like, oh, and he wants uh, he wants paper, and you give him paper, and he gives you a thumbs up, and then he gives you, um, you know, he gives you a piece of heart. I was thinking about the you know how in the mystery dungeon, you know, in the in the first mystery dungeon, one of the uh, one of the questions is a hand a human hand ex uh, emerges from your toilet. What do you do? I always thought that question was kind of like, what the fuck did you just ask me? Uh, and, but then now I realize I'm pretty sure that entire that, that, that whole question was just a reference to the Legend of Zelda series. Go faster, damn it! Come on! Yes! That's not a high chair she's in. Maybe it is. Might be. I don't know. 
They're so slow. Okay. Um. That okay. That was two lives. So now I have to drink four. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Ah! No. Okay. Gameplay wasn't good. Gameplay wasn't good. If I do not... If I do not drink more than five times throughout the game, I will drink based on my remaining lives. But if I were to drink... Like six more times, that would be a bad idea. So that's that. You know, that's my restriction. Anyway, another one bites the dust. Yeah, yeah. Four misses, one bomb. Ho 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 ho. Twenty-two spell cards. No continues. One hundred percent slow down rate. You want to say this we play? Fuck no. Okay. Okay. That's two. That's whoa. That's two so far. What's next? Open the thingy and generate the number, and we get ten. Mount of faith. Ugh. 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 Eh. Mount of faith. Mount of faith. Mount of faith. Okay. Hmm. Window. I like it. Why did it even ask me if I wanted to do that? I have a... I got a... I got the, the V-patch installed. That's all. I got it. Uh, all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Hold on. That's kind of... Kind of quiet. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's... Strange. Okay. SC. <laughs> Um, all right, one to six. One, two, and three, Raymu is uh, A, B, and C, and then the other girl. It's two, so Raymu B. I'll take that. I can, is Raymu B good? Um, oh, I could've got Marissa. <laughs> I could've got Marissa. Okay, it's Raymu time. All right, no problem, we got it. okay, here we go. Today's Hina day. Today's Hina day. We can say Hina and say hello, Hina, and she'll give us a big old silly smile. Chat, is it just me or does it look like you can see through the ground? Do you see what I mean? It looks like if Reimu descended, she would go through that first layer of grass and like get somewhere through it. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like you see what I you see what I you see like what I mean when I say that. Like, it looks like there's something, like, below it. Like, hidden below it. It's like a layer of green ice. It's weird. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. Goodbye, Aki. Here lies Shizuha Aki. She never stood a chance. Now that's a character who doesn't show up anywhere. What does she even do? Wow, I'll tell you. She kicks trees and paints leaves individually. So she has quite a, you know, it's quite a delicate touch, but she can also, she also kicks the trees. So delicate is a, a word that works sometimes. <clears throat> right, there's the other one. This is the popular sister, Minoriko. Popular, of course, relative to her sister. And Reiko's still not that popular of a character. She also has two left feet. I feel like I should mention that. Why does she have two left feet? I don't know. She just does. It's not, not hindering her, so it's fine, right? She's fine. Hmm. Oh, whoa, Toshi. These are the kind of spell cards I can never remember the names for because they, they, they feature words that are not English. God damn it. 
Yo, Moo. Alright. Alright, Hina world. Hina! Sta Scars of the Gods. That was a quick stage, huh? Okay. Let's say hi to Hina as she's on her trade quest to get lunch. There she goes. Oh, she's gonna make me nauseous. Uh oh. Oh, God. I don't wanna look at her. Nope. No look. No looking, no looking. Look at this evasion, though. Look at this slick evasion. Whoosh. There she is. Big old smile. She's got nice boots, too. I like her boots. I like Jun's boots, too. Well, I like, I like boots in general. That's all it is. It's not about whose boots they are. I just like boots. Ooh, that was close. Sue me. I don't care. I don't care! Leave a man to his preferences. You got your own. I don't judge you. Or maybe I do, but not at least I, I, that's, I don't judge you uh, live on stream. Wave, wave, wave. Hina. Big smile. Big smile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. There was a chapter in Wildhorn Hermit where Rainbow was wearing some nice boots. I can't help it, man. They just look good. I don't care about sandals. I don't care about sneakers. Well, I care about Crocs, but not in a positive way. Nobody would wear Crocs in this universe. Nobody. The fear of another person wearing Crocs is enough to give birth to a new yokai. That's how scary it is to think that's happening. Even scarier if they wear socks with it. Oh god. Pop. She is dialed. Koishi would wear Crocs? Mmm. 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 I don't know. I feel like Koishi would do a lot of things, but she doesn't think. So she just does. She she don't think it like it is. She just do. Alright, welcome to Natori theme. It's a good theme. I like that the fairies have little helmets. They're ready for battle. Who are they battling? Reimu, of course. You gotta hand it to these fairies. They are not afraid to jump in front of Reimu or Marissa or Sakuya or any other playable character. And just, like, go to town. They don't care if they go down in, like, three hits. They're ready to fight. Look at that. How many characters do you know that would just jump in front of Rainbow and start firing? Well, I don't answer that. I can <laughs> Don't answer that. I can think of a few. Whoa. Ah! Woo. Whoa, I can like see her. Chat, this theme is good, but I I guess I'm just overexposed to it. Because it's used in, like, every fucking fan game known to man. Straight up. It's used because it's a good theme. Also, chat. 
Uh, that thing she's holding in her hand, right? That's, that's like, what is that? Is that like, that's like cucumber, isn't it? Because I kind of, I look at it and I, like, I see, I see sny hair. That's what I see. Because it's because, because of Genso Wander, there's a weapon that's just nice hair. It's really strange. So she, you know, maybe Notori is using it as a weapon of mass destruction. But I'm pretty sure it's just related to cucumbers or something because she's a kappa and why, 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 Man, I just do not have extra lives right now. That's not good. I need them. If I'm gonna win, I need lives to fight with. Oh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. Also, okay. Notori is also wearing boots, but, 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 she's wearing rain boots. Now, rain boots are fine, but I'm talking like, you know, I'm talking like, like, you know, like, 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 not, not rain boots, you know. You know what I mean? You you, you, you you get it? You understand? Surely you understand. Whoa, she spins! What the fuck? She rotates! Huh. Why she do that? What does she think this is? I guess she is Hina's friend. Oh, it's just a straight line. Okay. Wow. How does he do it? Wiggles. Nope, never mind. His cooldowns have very little HP. Kappa's Pororoka. Obake Cucumber! It's like extending arm, but not as bad. Bye, little one. All right, waterfall time. This is a damn good theme, which is nice because the stage pisses me off to high heaven, or I guess I should say the ninth heaven. <laughs> it's so hard. Fuck. I can't do it. It's a bunch of small bullet. And Mommy G's there! Oh, well, that worked out. Also, how are these fairies going up a waterfall and then coming out of it like nothing? You know what that reminds me of? You know that boss in DK, uh, DKC3? You know the one, right? You gotta fight it as the elephant dude. I forget the elephant's name. But it's uh, That's not important, though. It's like this weird fucking like alien in the cliffside, you know? You, like, you shoot water at his eyes, but that's like... what. what? And like, well, I don't, I just don't understand that how that boss fight really works because you like shoot it in the eyeball. Well, ow! You shoot it in the eyeball with the elephant. and He's like, ow, my eye! What the fuck, dude? But he's like sticking out of a goddamn waterfall. Like, wouldn't the water pressure from a waterfall be a lot stronger than a water pressure from an elephant schnozzle? Sure, like, right? Surely. That boss freaked me out as a kid, but I guess the barrel that eats bugs also freaked me out because it was just fucking weird. It's all weird. DKC3 is a weird game. Is it bad? Ah, I don't know. I, I don't like it as much as the other two, but I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say I hate it. I think some of the levels try a little too hard to be like super unique one-time gimmicks, and then they just become asinine and I don't want to play them ever again. 
Although I've never, I've never like 100%ed a DKC game. It's cool if there was additional content if you did though. I, I love games that do that. That's why I like the speedruns of them. They, they trivialize those extra difficulty stuff, but the game itself is already plenty fucking hard. Like, I know Tropical Freeze, and I'm pretty sure Donkey Kong Country Returns do the same thing. You get all the collectibles throughout the world in the stage, you unlock a bonus level that has no checkpoint, and it's really fucking hard. Like, I got the one in World 1, because World 1 was Babby Mode, and then the, the level was like, this is not Babby Mode anymore. Please take me back to Babby Game. Aya is really pale, but then Aya is not pale. Look at, look at the, you see, you see what I mean? So like, okay, so, so Aya's like, you know, Aya has the complexion of like, kneaded dough, right? But then you look at her model up there and she has, like, she looks great. She's not wearing boots, by the way. She's, she's not wearing boots. What if the boss is the waterfall? I never thought of that. Do you think the entire waterfall is just that alien creature? I mean, it's not like there's much explanation of what the fuck that thing is. Maybe it is the waterfall. Assuming we're still talking about that. I don't know what we're talking about anymore. I like Aya. Aya's great. Aya's one of my favorite characters. I also really like this theme. Look how fast her health bar drained before she even fired an attack off. She's holding back, by the way. Aya is very strong. But she holds back because she doesn't want to scare people. Because if she scares people into in for her articles, they will give her the information she wants. That that they think she wants. But there's no integrity there. This trumpet goes in. Oh, I can't dodge this one. I've never been able to dodge this on any difficulty. I've never played it on easy mode, so... She doesn't have any form of illusionary dominance on easy mode. That's pretty cool. <coughs> okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, thank you for the sub. Oh, I know you. You're uh, you're you're one of the you're one of the you're one of the fellows who's been on the YouTube comments for like forever. You've never actually been able to come to the stream. I recognize your name. I recognize a few of you fuckers. Appreciate you. I'm glad you came to check this one out live. Assuming you're still here. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Streamer knows! He keeps tabs on people who've been commenting on the VODs for like two years now. It's hard to forget them. Oh my god. Alright. So you know what this reminds me of? Uh, I was thinking about this before. I was thinking about how sometimes you say words incorrectly on purpose because it's funny, and then you like uh, you accidentally fuck up your entire vocabulary, and it's hard to correct it. So here, what I mean by that is, this is a character in the game. Her name is uh, Kochia Sanae, right? Uh, that's that's her name. That's her real, honest to goodness name. I know it's a pretty. Sh I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> <laughs> But, my point is, I call her, I don't call her Sanai, I call her Snai, and sometimes, like, I just, that that's just the word that comes out of my mouth, and voluntarily. I do that with Kirby as well, I call Kirby Kribby a lot, and sometimes I will just straight up accidentally refer to him as Kribby. And it even goes so far that I will type in Kribby in a search bar when looking for Kirby. It, like, I don't do it on purpose, it just happens. This is my own goddamn fault, mind you, but I'm just surprised that something like this has happened to me. That's all. Oh, no. That's no good. Explode and give me my one up. That's fine. Recently, I've been calling Chirno Chirbo. I don't really know why. I don't know why I added a B in her name. But uh, that's that's what I've been calling her for a couple weeks now, and it's 
it's kind of becoming a hard habit to break. I can't, like, stop it. If it happens, it happens. Like, it, but it just happens involuntarily. See, right now it's not happening because I'm thinking about it. But if I just, like, if I, I'm not thinking about it and I just say her name, I'm probably going to say Chirbo at least, like, 30% of the time. This is just what happens. Thank you, Hajicho, for gifting a sub. Woo! <laughs> it's easier to say when I say when I say the I say the sny. All right, here we go. This is a good theme, by the way. I really like sny's theme. Is it one of my favorites? I don't know. I don't plan on doing a music sorter with 6,000 songs because it'll never fucking end. But I'll, I could just tell you that I like this song and I'm sure by me saying that I like this song, you can 100% without a doubt confirm that I like this song. <laughs> Woo! There's a little bit of uh, Kaneko in this non, which makes sense given the the relationship. Oh, that's a lot of room to work with. Dude, what are those bullets even? Like, I don't I can't even tell what they are. So I saw uh, theme gets used a lot in some more like sad type of songs, which you know they tend to explore the melancholy of her emotions related to her coming against Sokyo. Which, by the way, she seems to have zero qualms with in the in, in canon. But it's a fun concept to explore because she is some she is like she is bit like a young adult who just kind of dropped her entire life to come against Sokyo. But she, again, she doesn't really seem to have any like apprehension to her decision. She went ahead with it and she's perfectly okay with the world she's in. But it's cool to explore the thought of like, you know, what does she think about it? Is there ever times where she misses the outside world? Probably, but are there times where it really like affects her mood? But as far as I can tell in canon, she's just kind of excited to be in this world of fantasy to a point where she likes beating people up and then she sees giant robots. She's, she's definitely a geek. Then you got Sumireko who lives on the outside world too, and then she's like, Yo, I love it here. It's so great. It's fun. It's amazing. I forgot to take a drink. Uh, one sec. I gotta take two. One. Three. Wait. Two. Yes. Mmm. Mmm. <clears throat> See, the kind of thing exactly is the way she throws herself and again, so without any qualms. It's repressing her homesickness. True, but also, she she only went along because she went with uh, Suiko and Kanako, right? So I have to assume that Suiko and Kanako were a big part of her upbringing. Like, a massive part of their, her upbringing. So even though she's left the outside world, she's still with the two people she's cared for the most her entire life. So she's not too beat up about it, right? We don't exactly know her family situation. There is the uh, Hifu Club anime, which uh, gives her a sister. But, you know, that's 100% fan fandom. That's all. Also, the, the timeline doesn't sync up properly at all in that sense, because Renko and Maribel are from the future. They can't be talking to Sny's older sister, right? Is Lost Words sort of canon? Good joke. Next next joke. <laughs> I'll tell you how it's canon. It uses characters from Toho Project. <laughs> Woo! Alright, time for Donut Back. Expanded on Bashira! Could you imagine how it would feel to get hit in the face by one of those giant fucking logs? Also, as much as I don't care for Kaneko, her theme is one of the best. It's so good.
I hate how slow that one is. Oh, I don't remember how to do this. Well, there's a lot of wiggle room at least. Mizuyama Hunting Shrine Ritual! I'm actually really bad at this one. I don't think I did that right at all, but it only exists on easy and normal, so, well, you don't really learn it if you're doing higher level stuff. Cooldowns like this are annoying. I have no idea. Cheating. <clears throat> it's time for Mountain of Faith. Oops. Dude, it moves so slow that it's so weird. It's awkward to dodge. <laughs> weird it just moves slow morning at the hunker day shrine I don't have uh, I don't actually have an image for this so yeah that works after losing to the god Reimu was mad ending eight have you been getting enough calcium oh no he nah. okay Okay. J. Hina Speech. Uh, right. Another one in the June book. Yeah. So, uh, let's record your replay. Yeah. This one for UFO. Oh. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna do that again, most likely. By the way, uh,. I forgot. Carry on. I gotta drink first. One. Two. 
Right. Here's a cool bug fact. Mountain of Faith is the only game with six stages on easy mode that you don't get the good ending for on a 1cc. All the other ones you do. The only games you can't get a one a good ending on easy mode are Mountain of Faith, USD, and Lotus Land Story. Ah. Whoa! All right, next one. Next one. Next one, next one, next one, next one. Here we go. Random number generator, go. Oh, right. I drank. Okay, so I drank six times. So I lost three lives. So I'm not going to drink based on my remaining lives, which would have been six extra drinks, which would have been bad idea. So now I'm going to randomize. It's, it's 15. Okay. 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 So I've some Wonderland has five stages. Yeah, yeah, that one, that one's a bit different though because it actually only has five stages in the game. <laughs> okay, I want you to think. Uh, I want everybody to put their thinking caps on here. Okay, all right. Understand the concept of love. Somehow I full screen. No, 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 no. Oh no! What have I done? Um, let's try that again. Okay. Um, yes. What? That's a new sound. You hear that? That's a new sound. I've never heard that sound before. Warning, you closed the game and tried to open it too early. Why are you opening in full screen? Give me back my windowed mode. No. Give me. What? Give me back my windowed mode. Where'd it go? You know what? I don't care anymore. I don't care. I don't, I don't care anymore. I have lost interest in that. I have lost interest in that. Options. Key configuration. Shot. Bomb. Slow. Pause. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 uh, one, two, three, or four. It's one. That's Raymu. Oh shit. Okay. Wait, come back. Gameplay? Where'd you go? Gameplay? Gameplay? Where did you? Where are you? What? Hold on. Ew. Oh. Ew. Please work. Uh... How do you... Isn't there like a button for this? Oh, there it is. Wow, that was... That was scary. My mouse is doing this thing where it double clicks and apparently double clicking made it full screen but I don't know how to change it to not be full screen anymore. So now it's full screen. Anyway, it's in Japanese. I can't read it. Just so you know, I can't read it. Uh, so there are four characters. You have uh, you have the the best character. You have what is with that face. You have this character, and you have Bunny. Yeah, I'm not gonna play as the bunny though. Sorry. Sorry, I rolled the numbers. The numbers said one, so I play as Reimu. Reimu is number one. All right, let's go. We. Remember, this is only on easy mode. It's not like it's trial door me. I don't actually know how any of the later game stuff looks on easy mode, but it's law case, so I'm sure it's not very good. 
Once again, those trees, they don't look like trees from above, they look like trees from the front. So it looks like the, the entire forest has fallen over. Don't you think it's funny when, like, texture, like, you get, a, like, a background shot and you know it's just a texture, but you're, like, you're fine with it because it doesn't actually impact the game at all? You know what, you know what I'm talking, you know, you know what I mean when I say that? When I say that textures that you are no, never going to be near being using shortcuts to develop things that matter for the actual gameplay experience. You know, you know what I mean? I'm sure you know what I mean. It's, 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 it's not rocket science. Anyway, I don't like the corner of this map, so it kind of ruins the entire game for me. It's just unfortunate, but what can you do? All 30 minutes of this gameplay are going to be ruined because I just, I just don't like it. I can't believe it. Look at Reimu. Is Reimu wearing socks? I think so. They look very high up her leg, but her model is also really small. I can't tell though. I never really looked at her feet. I'm not going to start either, so you can just... Just don't even, don't even fucking start with me, chat, alright? Don't even start with me. Sometimes my eyes wander. They wander to different places. And when you're looking at Rainbow's backside, it can only really go one of two directions, up or down. I, I've looked at the back of Rainbow's head all my life. Well, not all my life. Wait, that sounds... That sounds kind of bad, doesn't it? Okay, let's, let's pretend I didn't say that. And we're ready. Okay, three, two, one. Alright, here we go. Uh, yeah, okay, about uh, stage one, okay, it's good, it's good stage, except that corner. Particular corner, fucking awful, shitty, poopy butt. Alright, alright, there's, there's, uh, there's that rabbit. Hey chat, I have a very important question. If you had, if on a scale from, on a scale from one to racing, how, how much do you like this, this bunny? Alright. Feel free to post your answers, and be ready to be harshly judged by me. Here we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, alright, good, good, good. Got infinite lives, so no matter what happens, I will be A-okay, brother. <clears throat> Grazing feels pretty cool. And... Boom. I've seen some glitches with this character where her eyes are like super red. This is a pretty classic tale, but apparently... The stain on her mallet in early, uh, early development was red. <clears throat> Which sparked fan art of a less than lovely nature. So the color has been changed since to purple. It says it looks like jam now. It looks like jam. It's nice and fun. But yeah, Satan was kind of a cold-blooded killer for a little bit, huh? That would have made her a bit more interesting than she is now. What can you do? Alright, I'm going to read your answers now. Five. Five. Cock. Okay, I wouldn't say cock out of ten is a good rating, but... Well, I did also ask you to gauge it between one and race, and so I'm not exactly the one to, to tell you which answer is correct on my scale of judgment, but it's okay. Anyway. Anyway. It's a character. This is, this is a character. The presence is just a bit weak. Kind of hard when the game, the latter half of this game, it has characters that are very popular. Honestly, even Dorami. Dorami and Sagume are not as popular as Clown, Ehekati, and Junko. I'm pretty sure if you were to scale based on popularity, Clown is number one. But I don't, I couldn't, I couldn't with confidence tell you who's number two, three, four, five, six, so you know. All I can say with certainty is that Clown is the most popular character from this game. <clears throat> and obviously, one of the two rabbits is the least favorite. 
I would say Satan is the least popular. Every game has the most popular and least popular. For EOSD, I actually think the least popular character is Mailing, if you can believe it. The most popular character, definitely Cherno. There's a lot of characters in EOSD, but Cherno is Cherno. Even though Cherno's popularity kind of exploded due to her, you know, Toho 9, she is from that game, so it counts. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Rumia is more popular than Mailing. Some people don't want to hear that, but it's it's true. For some reason, Mailing just does not get the same amount of special treatment that the other EOSD or the SDM characters get. Like whenever Remy is involved, Sakia and Patchouli are usually there. A lot of fans take the opportunity to include Flandre as well, but Mailing often gets shafted. It's it's strange. I mean, even in official stuff, Flandre gets shafted as well, but Flandre has this aspect to her character that makes made her very popular anyway, unlike Mailing. Mailing just couldn't compete, I suppose. I don't to say Mailing's a bad character at all. I would still say, despite Mailing being the least popular character from EOSD, she's still significantly more popular than some other characters from other games. It's not really a contest in, uh, for PCB because Yomu. We are, I've already talked about Yomu's popularity. Least favorites, though, it's probably Letty. I would say it's Letty or one of the individual Prism Rivers, but the Prism Rivers are kind of weird to judge by that scale, I guess. So I would say Letty is the least popular. Of course, it's usually from the it's usually the stage one bosses that get that level of treatment. It's unfortunate. Hmm. <clears throat> uh. I didn't count Diose or Quack because they, they're not real characters. I, I was counting the, the name characters. For, uh... It's definitely Riggle for IN. Because even though Tay was only a mid-boss, she showed us up a lot with uh, with the A and Tay crew. So she is her own character despite that. Uh, but it's definitely either Riggle or Mystia, and I just can't say it's Mystia because Mystia has had so much additional characterization to her. Over the over the years that you know Riggle however hasn't shown up since her interview with Aya so sorry Riggle It's unfortunate, but what can you do? Kane might be the second on that one and that's no diss to Kane But I'm just thinking of the other characters the, the entirety of the a and take crew, right? Just, if, and stage four doesn't really count because it's the care it's the main characters. And I remember this is just my opinion. For uh for Tall Nine, it's that it's easily medicine and Aya. Aya didn't necessarily debut in a game, but that was her first game debut. So I I guess it counts. Medicine is a character that just, you know, she can't compete with the likes of Yuka coming back or Aki, Komachi, or Aya. Yuka's probably up there for a lot of people over Aya, but I think Aya is the more popular of the two. But I would say it would be between those two. For Mountain of Faith, the most popular character, probably Sny. I would say, I would say Sny. And least favorite, kind of, it's, actually, it might actually be Notori, I'm unsure. Notori or Sny, I'm unsure which of those two is more popular. You could argue Momiji to an extent, but I don't know. She is really popular, but I think she's popular for, like, different reasons. You know, reasons beyond her character. <laughs> it's mostly just what's on top of her head. Least popular, you know, a bit of a cheat, but it's definitely Shizua. Same deal with stay, uh, SA. Kasume is easily the least favorite. Momiji's popular because she's a wolf girl with a cool sword. So it's less so she's popular for being a tall character and more so because she's a wolf girl with a cool sword. That kind of deal. You know? And yeah, Kasume is the least popular character from SA. That's a gimme. Uh, not counting mid-bosses, though, I would probably say Minoriko, which is still an Aki sister anyway. And for SA, it's probably Parsi. 
I would say Parsi, not counting Kasumi. And the most popular character from SA is definitely Koishi. That is not contestable, even if I don't uh, reciprocate that feeling. For Toho 12, Rat. Nazarin. Actually, I don't know. Might be Kogasa, too, to be honest with you. I'm unsure who the most popular. What do you think, chat? Who's the most popular character to come out of UFO? Nazarin's in a lot of memes. People love Kogasa. I think it might be either Ichiden or Sho. But I feel like Ichiden gets, like, additional... Ichiden gets additional popularity because of Unzan. But Sho is really cool. You know? Okay, that's my personal bias talking. Don't mind me. But you know what I mean? Like, there are a few characters in UFO that I, I would consider pretty relatively popular. But I can't, I can't tell you which one was, like, the most popular. I do think it's between Kogasa and someone, though. But I think my, I think my bias is making me say, uh, say Nazarin. I don't think Nui is that popular, either. I like her, though. Oh, that was close. I picked the wrong spot for that. Ooh. Ooh. Crispy. Hmm. Sho got the year of the tiger buff? Correction, she got the bikini of the tiger buff. Now, you know, I'm not gonna say much else other than what I just said, but you know what people were looking for with that one. Same thing happened to Udemy. Alright, it happened to Udemy too. Udemy's popularity didn't go up. People just wanted an excuse to draw a big titted girl in cow print bikini. You know what? A fucking men, brother. But at the same time, I don't think it really did that much for her popularity as a character. Regrettably, it is the same situation for all show. You can change the print, but you can't make the character more popular for it. That's all. Ooh. I forgot I don't have to shoot these. Look at that. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Woo! Uh... So far, so good. I would like to move on, but I want to read... I want to read Chot. Chot's opinion on the subject. So I need to wait for Dorami to show up and start talking to me. Dormy. Dormy! Thank you. Alright. Okay. Show not having to spin up game the other five is rough. I agree with that. Show is a character who does not get used in anything, which is really unfortunate because she's really cool looking. Fiakrid and Ichiden, even Marasa now, uh, have all shown up. Nazarin doesn't show up either, but Nazarin is like propelled in a strange sense with memes. You know? There's something about Nazarin that propels her. Same with Kogasa. They, they got they got memed, and then they became popular through through memery. I mean, you know, Nazarin's a rat. It's a funny rat. Funny rat. Uh, Nue is weird. Nue was a character that didn't. Apparently, she wasn't very well liked when she came out, and then people warmed up to her. But I wasn't around for that when UFO was a thing. When we use popularity for memery, I wouldn't say it's memery. I would just say it's because she's a wolf girl with a sword. Which I guess you could say is memory because she is, you know, the, a woo girl and whatnot. But it's kind of like how Raisin is a really popular character amongst new people to the series because she is just Bunny. There's like she's not like, you know, she's she's just a, she's just a Bunny. That's all. I've seen a lot of people associate new with Flanner and Koish for some reason. Yeah, I've seen that too, and I don't understand why. It's partially from Horny. Yeah, I understand that. Uh, but I don't really know why Nui gets involved with those two. People said that she was like goth Blondre or something like that. I don't, I don't really understand the comparison at all. Uh, yeah, you could say extra stage bosses. Momiji's one of the characters I knew about before getting to Toho. She is one of those characters you probably see, yeah. Her, uh, her, Chirbo, uh, Marissa, Reimu, uh, uh, Raisen, like, those are characters you've probably seen before by accident because they kind of, they kind of bleed into other things. 
Because Momiji is a, is a mid boss that doesn't talk, like, at all. Has very little representation in canon, yet her popularity is huge. Despite that. Anyway, what game I am, am I on now? I'm on 13 point, uh... Well, I guess I can do the fighting game. Suika's the only new character from 7.5, but between Iku and, uh... Iku and Tenshi, it's pretty obvious which of those two characters is, uh, more popular. Oh yeah, Flandre too. Flandre is a character you probably see. Any of the reasons i minor... New I has high socks with something of a fetish thing like wolf and bunny ears. It means something. Bro, everything is everything has been fetishized outfit wise for every character. At this point, you just refer to it as something that you like and it sounds a lot better. Look, Dormy's wearing socks and she has a tail. She also has a funny W mouth. These are elements to her character. I like them. Would I call it a fetish? Eh, probably not. But they are elements to her character that I like. It can be really simple, stupid, mundane things. But they're just elements to a character's physical appearance that, you know, they flip us. They activate the neuron in our heads. Wolf girls are a big one. There's not a lot of people who dislike wolf girls. Why would they? Wolf girls are sick. She also has a big ass sword. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. I know how to do this one, but it still scares me. Almost fucked it up, actually. Yeah, total 13. I'm not counting Yuko because Yuko doesn't count. Uh, we got Kyoko, Yoshika, Sega, uh, Futo, Tojiko, Miko, and Mamizo. Now, I. Ooh. I am honestly unsure which of those characters I just mentioned is the most popular. And I am even less sure which of those characters I just mentioned are least popular. Because in my opinion, Sega is the least popular. But again, that's probably just my own personal bias talking. Some people would say Mamizo, but again, personal bias, right? I do not know which of these characters from that game are considered the least popular in the series. Uh, from that from that game. I also don't know who is considered the most popular. Personally, I'm a fan of Kyoko and Futo, but I wouldn't say they're the most popular character to come from the game. Kaboom! Tojiko? Maybe Tojiko, yeah. Maybe Tojiko. <clears throat> Mamizo is really unpopular with someone who is common in manga. Yeah, I've, I've mentioned that a few times. Her and Semireko are characters that popularity doesn't uh, reflect their appearance in canon. Which, you know, if you're a fan of those characters, then you're eating good. But if you're not a fan of those characters, then, you know, green eggs and ham, Sam I am, all that shit. Tokiko? You mean Tojiko. Tokiko is from, uh, Rinosuke's book. How's Mamizo so unpopular? Don't ask me, dude. It's probably, this is just a guess, but it's probably oversaturation in appearance combined with her her physical appearance and her personality. Now that's pretty fucking broad, I know, but as you're probably aware, a lot of the most popular characters in this series are the small, squishy, cute ones. Mamizo is neither small, nor squishy, nor cute. Of course, that last bit is subjective, uh, but you know, the older, the older trope characters aren't usually that popular. Com relative to the, the you know the, the squishy characters because we like we like squishy Cherno, squishy Cherno is adorable. You can't squish mommies though the same way you can squish Cherno. You know it just doesn't work the same way. There's like there's like a rule. So there's there's something about her character and of course as I said over like saturation of uh of appearances which r will will rub people some people the wrong way. Uh, but if you're a fan of mommies though then you love to see that. So it's you know. It's good for one, one man's trash, another man's treasure, all that, all that general stuff. I'm not trying to knock mommies though or anything. There are people that like the character, there's nothing wrong with liking the character. You see my favorite character, you think I have any fucking right to judge about taste? <laughs> my, my favorite characters are literally self-destructive. 
Wow! But it's okay because I like them. That's all that matters to me. Oh, I can't see. Mortis! Oh, here it is. Yeah! I love this part of the song. I knew that was I knew that was gonna happen, man. She does have a big fluffy tail, that's true. But I don't know, something about, like Mommy Zo's fluffy tail is not as like appealing as like Ron's fluffy tail. You know, like Ron is a character who's like as old, wise, I suppose. But there's something about Ron's appearance that is more exciting, I suppose. And I guess her personality, which you know has been severely chilled out due to fandom anyway. So it's kind of like you know she's she's basically her own version of Squishy. I'm gonna take a drink now. A lot of people hate Sumi Reko and I don't know why. It's because... It's because, again, oversaturation in appearance is definitely a thing that will change your opinion from indifference to dislike. Uh, me personally, I dislike her because I think her... I think her character is a self-insert power fantasy minus the power. That's what I dislike about her. She shows up, she's a teenager with psychic powers, she's very annoying because she is a pretty accurate depiction of a modern day teenager, and all the main characters get to know her, she loves Gensokyo, and it's just like she always seems to be involved in something or other, and after a while she just kind of got on my nerves. I don't think she's poorly written in the sense that her character, like, her character is fine. She's written... She's written to be an obnoxious teenager, and the writing nails that. But I don't need to see her show up in everything, and I especially don't need to, like, you know, experience her showing up and being important to the story. She shows up in 14.5, 15.5, she got her own goddamn game in 16.5. She took over Curiosities uh, with the Strange Creators issues. She made a bunch of cameos in Wildhorn Hermit. Like, I understand there's some significance in her appearing, but after a while, it's just kind of like, oh shit, there's Sumireko. We gotta keep her with Reimu and Marissa. She's friends with Reimu and Marissa. Oh, look, she's talking to Aya. Oh, they're doing an interview with Aya, but Aya can't handle outside world technology. Aha, uh -huh, that's, uh, yep. It's like, oh, that's so me if I went to Gensokyo. I'm a modern-day teenager. If I went to Gensokyo, I could hang out with Reimu as well. And I could talk to Aya and get interviewed. And it's like, you see what I, you see what I mean? You see? Now, this is all my own opinion, so you can, you can just discard it. You can just put it in the trash bin where it belongs. I don't fucking care. This is just my opinion on the character. I don't care if people like or dislike certain characters. I'm not going to give them shit for it. There's no point. Oh, you like this character? Oh, wow, your taste is awful. Yeah, alright, whatever. That thing that makes you happy? Yeah, it's bad. You should feel bad. Alright, buddy. Alright. I will. I guess I'll just start feeling bad now because a stranger said they dislike the thing that makes me happy. Yep. I will now feel bad. Thank you. Like, just like who you want to like. I give the Watatsuki shit every day of the week. Well, not that much anymore, but you know what I mean. But I don't fucking care if you like the character or not. That if that character rubs you the right way, then who am I to who am I to judge? You? I don't fucking care. I'm sitting here with talking about Jun every day of the goddamn week, and I'm like, no, the Watatskis are bad for you. They're dangerous. They wouldn't like you. And I'm over here talking with self-destructive fucking spending habits, uh, uh, literal depression that can't die. And then I will drink so much I can form a brewery in my stomach. Like these are the characters that Dylan likes. What the fuck? You know, this isn't so bad. It's going pretty well. Of course, clown. Clown is when things get a little bit extreme. Woo. Listen to that. Listen to that. Oh, I have to burp. Here it comes. Burp. Pardon me. I don't consider burps to be gross, sorry. And they also make my stomach feel very nice. 
so I don't like holding them in. I apologize if that offends you. Clown. Clown. Lots of fan depictions are dumb and annoying. Correct! Very correct. However, I would be lying if I said that some fandom has not influenced my opinion on certain characters in a positive way. So, you know, one man's trash, another man's treasure. Same dealio. Alright, let's go. Here we go, clown time. For example, I don't really like anything fandom related to Koishi at all, but like 99% of Rumiya's characterization comes from fandom, and I like that character a lot. So, one end of the spectrum works for me, the other end doesn't, but it's just a matter of taste, I suppose. The main issue that really comes from fanon interpretations are the people that defend it as if it is canon, and then do not allow you to think otherwise. Those people are really fucking annoying. Look at all that free stuff. Look at all that free shit! I wanna see Clown. Where's Coach? Coach, I need you. Oh, by the way, if you couldn't tell, this is why I said I might not be able to do Left 4 Dead tomorrow. Um, you know, still pending on that, mind you. Hey, well, there she is! Look at her! Look at her shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I like Clown. I like Clown more than I used to. I mean, I never really disliked her. I blame Coach. Well, I guess Clown is still Coach. You know what I mean. Whoa. We dodging. Star Spangled. She made her outfit out of the American flag. That's fucking metal, dude. Zoidberg ate the flag. Clown Piece is wearing the flag. That's crazy. Whoa, that was close. I was forgot lasers were coming at me for a second there. Oh shit. Whenever I hear this part of the song, I just hear warning, warning. This is a good stage theme. Honestly, I think this stage is very fun to watch. It's hard to play, but there's so much variety in the shit that it throws at you. It's really cool. I especially like the, the second last part. But playing this stage is hard on higher difficulties. Some of the sections, like the one I did a second ago, not that one, but the one before it are rough. This one's really cool though, I really like this one. I don't like this one anymore, this one's stupid. It's stupid and stinky. <clears throat> the discussion a super long time ago at which state Clown Piece is from, we concluded that she's from Florida. Yeah, she's from hell, like, why did you need to have a discussion about that? Well, actually, maybe she's from California instead. Anyway, back to the match. One. Two. Alright. Ready? Set. Go! That reminds me, I have to get back to work on editing soon. Don't worry, I'm almost done. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to work on next, though. But I will, you know, when I get what I'm currently working on done, I'll, I'll worry about what comes after. I don't like thinking too far ahead in advance because then I get distracted. Although, a majority of the videos I've made that have not been related to fan games have come from me working on something else entirely and being like, I should work on that. The idea for the unused content video came from a conversation I had with Pearl while he was helping me with the, uh, the PC-98 games video. I was like, I wonder if there's enough unused content to make a video on, and then I looked into it, and fucking sure enough, there was. And it was a lot of really interesting and fascinating stuff. By the way, chat, uh, I got, apparently, five days ago, I got, uh, I got, I hit a total, a total of 
one million views on the main channel. And you know, literally like half of that comes from the introduction video. That that's that's really fucking good. But I hit a total of one million views, and I thought that was pretty cool because I don't have I you know my uploads are so sporadic because it just they just it's a lot of it's a lot of stuff I put into them. Some of the fan game stuff goes much quicker now because I understand the formula that I go with that I can work with it. But then I change the formula for the other stuff, and it gets longer. And requires more small fine tuning. I mean, the PCB video took nearly three months to do because of how much shit I had to do on the side for it. Which reminds me, Royal Flare is no longer up, so the links that I have in the description are dead, and I need to update them. And I don't know where to go to update them. I've never, I haven't even made an update on the Spell Bubble video that it has online play yet. By the way, I bought the frog, so that's a thing I have right now. Cost me way too much money for a single character. Whoa, that was close. Alright, this is a timeout, I forgot. You know what this reminds me of? Okay, so I did a poll in Lost Word, and I got a card that was like, fairies having fun, and I really, really liked the art. It was just Clown and Diose and Lily enjoying life. And I, I, I noticed Clown had long sleeves, and I was like, wait a minute, Clown doesn't have long sleeves, does she? And now I noticed that she doesn't, but I like the long sleeve jacket. Well, I guess it's not a jacket. I like the long sleeves on her. Some of the art in those cards are just really nice to look at. Even if I don't particularly care about what their effects are, I just like looking at some of the story card art. Uh, uh, this is a good time to inform you that that last drink I took was the last in my cup, so now I have to go get a refill. I will be right back! In the meantime... I'm not gonna click anything, actually. I'll be right back. Hi, I'm back. Here, here I go. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta drink. The Remy and Flaw pizza card. That's the event card, right? You know that the 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 previous event we just had, the rerun. That five star Sakuya card is fucking gorgeous. Like straight up. The uh, a lot of the story card, like the story art card art, is very very pleasant to look at. I like it a lot. I actually kind of like it more than the character sprite work. Or not sprite work, but the character art itself. Bonds of Blood is good. I like that one. Froggy Hat's nice. <clears throat> you need to fix the Royal Flare stuff. Maribel's website is entirely archived. Oh, nice. I might. I need to do that, but I keep putting it off because I don't. I don't know where to get it all <clears throat> it's for the best that you don't play the game go with Kokoro in the city I know what one you're talking about that one's good it's just some of the card art is honestly like beautiful it really is even if you don't like play the game like I do recommend you take a look at some of the story card art cuz it's, it's basically just good art that uh oh. Hmm. 
-hmm. Lively Temple Ground. I can't remember who the artist is for that one, but I know I, I love the style. Is it the same artist who makes those adorable little, like, uh, fairy comics where all his fairies are, like, super squishy? You know the one I'm talking about? Hmm. Hold on, I can't be sitting here taking a million drinks to Clown. Clown drives a lot of people to drink, I'm sure, but... I'm not trying to make this a thing here. Oh, I almost died. The Marissa and Rumia one? Oh, that one's sick. I actually really like that one. I've gotten I've gotten it. I really like that one. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> that got weird. I don't, I can't do Gray's Inferno, so I'm really glad that worked out. Oh, no. Wow, 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 chill, 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 what the, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Every time I pull the half phantom card, I think it's a better card than it is, and it's just like three star. What do you mean three star, dude? What do you mean? Alright. Clown, 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 clown. Clown, clown, clown. Clown. The Psyche Bonky card, oh the one where she's chasing her head. That one has good art. Boo is cute too, I like that one. Alright. Alright. Oh god. Chimko. Oh Jesus. Oh no. Blah, blah, blah. There it is. Waiting for that one for a while. Again, apologies, that's gonna be happening a lot, but it 
relieves my stomach something fierce, so I'm going to do it whenever I can. Ah. <clears throat> hmm. Oops. Why are there options for one or two star cards when they such a thing exists? I don't know. In Fire Emblem Heroes, they do the same thing, but one and two star units have, uh, whoops. One and two star units come are free units that you have to upgrade, but pulling from Gotcha only gives you a minimum of three. It's kind of weird they do that, you know? <clears throat> I was reading chat during that, so I wasn't quite sure where I was. And then I, I noticed a little too late that I was on the top of the screen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Whoops. Ooh. Ooh. Million, million. Oh, time for rain. Sad rain. I could have microed that. These are beings of pure fury. I ask, can you explain them? Is that the new? Is that the new character? Miyaguchi? Surely, right? I agree. I agree. There are things within the game that are neat, like the art. But lost word is. It exists, I suppose. That is my that is my opinion on Lost Word. It exists. I don't have much else to say. Some people get really mad at it. Some people defend it like it, they, they will get paid for it. it. To me, it just exists. Alright. I don't care for the gameplay, but the writing art is nice. Ah... I can mostly agree to that, but some of the writing is strange for, for me. I've skipped a few of the latest events because I just, I just, I just don't like them. <laughs> that Christmas event, I was just not in interested in it at all. Okay. Alright. Here we go. She's huge. Look at her. That's, that's big mommy anger, Angie. I'm dead. How are you gonna, how am I gonna, how am I gonna dodge micros in this environment? How is this any different from Lunatic? It's just a fucking single micro. My eye! Ah! Ah! She blinded me with fury. Okay, I'm good. A lot of room to work with on this one. Okay. One. Pew. 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 This is murderous, Lilies. Ooh. Okay, she only fired two of them. <laughs> she only fired two. Okay, hold on.
<clears throat> Too easy, three normal, four hard lunatic. I knew it was four on hard. I knew it was three on normal. I did not know it was two on easy. Well, it seems the middle is safe. This will work. Ah! Uh... Thank God I rolled Raymu. Hmm. Whoa, 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 all right. <laughs> what are we doing here? Yeah, the Eden's costume in the Christmas event, I didn't even realize it was Eden at first. Like, what the hell was that? Well, being centered works, but it, it feels like it doesn't work because of the way, like, the effect happens. Like, it looks like it's about to kill you, and then it just goes around you. Ooh. Oh, teeth. TSS. Bailed out by Raymo again. Christine Lunacy. just can't deal with lasers like this. Ah! <laughs> Junko. Please let me go. Good. 
I'm not trying to get touched by an angel, dude. Ah! Almost just died again. Release me! Filler content. If worse comes to worse, I can just press bomb. It'll be one less drink. I hate this fucking spell card, dude. I almost crashed into that. I can't read that anyway, but I can't show you. I can't do it. I can't. Ha! Ha 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 ha! You! She points at the doctor. I can't read it though. Neither can you. But I can't read it for a different reason. Cool house. That bunny is huge. Or maybe Ray Moo is small. more text you got all right no more text text has ended there's your moonshot nice i'm about to make your moon shine hee ho okay 15 how many have i played i've played 17 7 10 15 It's a lot. <coughs> uh. Program graphics. Point device. Look at that flash, dude. That's annoying. Yeah, thanks for playing. Circles at. Another one in the June book. <laughs> All right, one sec, I have to go pee, so I will be right back. In the meantime, I will leave you with, um, um, you know, I'll be right back.
just in time. Okay, I have four individual file explorers open right now, if you didn't, you didn't know. Okay, it's time. Randomize the next one. Are you ready? Generate! Five? Oh, that's Mystic Square. Okay, I guess I get to open the PC-98 emulator now, huh? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, all right, okay, all right. Um, where is you? Hold on, I have to find my folder to pick the game from. I'm looking for it. It's somewhere. There it is. I found it. Mystic Square. Open. Open. Bum, 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 bum. All right, I have to get Joy to key open for this as well. Hold on, hold on. There it is. Don't open the fucking page. Don't do it, dude. I ask that you don't. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Set. Six players, three bombs. All right, this is a good game. Ready? Okay, here we go. Sitting Raymo, yeah, this is Sitting Raymo the, the early years, and Sitting Raymo the later years is what my my three year title card is made of. Okay. Here we go. I've been at this for three fucking years. Uh, oh, I have to pick, right, I have to randomize the character. I forgot. Hold on. So one, two, three, four. Mima's three. Yuka's four. Just so you know, it's two. So it's Marisa. Marisa, who's not, who's not, like, like who's not good. Uh, it's not good. Uh, not good, Mima. I actually really like PC98's music, and I'm looking forward to playing Lotus Land Story for that reason. Chat, how's the volume for this? It feels a little bit low on my end. I can't tell, though. I have to, like... I don't know if it's too low. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh god. Could be a bit louder. What's that you say? Louder? How's that? How's that? That good? Is that better? I turned it up to 40. It was on 25. That's good. Cool. We're gonna roll with it then. Yeah. Now, where was I? I was talking about, uh... <coughs> I was talking about, uh, 13, but I actually at least skipped, uh, 13.8, uh, or 12.8, sorry. Um... Great Fairy Wars. Chat. Who is the most popular fairy of the Sengetsu Sei Trio? I'm not asking for your opinion. I'm asking for the cold, hard truth. I guess the you'd have to check the popularity poll. I think it's Luna, personally. Luna's my favorite. I think the order is like Luna, Star, Sunny. But I, I don't know for sure. You'd have to like look at the poll. So many ghosty goos, dude. Did Rika make all of them? Nice. Hmm. I like Star's boots. There you go. That's my uh, contribution to the topic, I suppose. I don't hate any of them. I think they're all interesting in their own way. I just like Luna a little bit more, that's all. 
She's got a funny looking mouth. That's maybe that's not the best way to say it, but you know what I mean. Sick dodge. Star is 112, Luna is 113, and Sunny is 123 according to the 2021 poll. Oh shit! Damn, Star is one place above Luna, and then Luna is 10 places above Sunny. Star is the most results on Jalboru. <laughs> That's one way to gauge it, I suppose. <laughs> Sunny has the most art on Pixiv. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sara. Hmm. Whoosh. Fight night, baby. Time for a battle! Battle! Consider your ass grass. Can I have more power to fight with? That'd be nice. Kind of a droning note on this one, huh? All right. She kind of did a Rumia thing there, you see that? Okay, bye. <laughs> Sunny, Sunny acts as the leader. She does act as the leader. She's the most energetic of the three. <clears throat> Star is uh... Star is funny to me because she always goes along with plans, but she also like, you know, she actively helps, but she's not actually doing anything while acting like she is. Like, Luna and Sunny will be carrying a heavy object and she'll be behind them carrying it, quote unquote, because they can't see her, so she's just kind of walking behind them with a big old smile on her face. So she, uh, she's a bit of a, she's a bit of a shitter in that regard. He also loves bombs. I got an idea. Let's prank Reimu by building snowmen on our on our shrine and then putting bombs in them. I'm sure that'll go over well. <laughs> Sengetsu Say is a fun read. I wasn't really a huge fan of Sengetsu Say in the first uh, iteration. I wasn't really feeling it. But when the artist changed over and the uh, like just. The, the fairies started getting into more shenanigans. I was having a lot of fun with it. And, of course, I think Visionaries is incredible. So, like, they're, they're all good, but Visionaries is, Visionaries is very, very good. I really like that one. It also involves Clown, if you're a Clown fan. But watching those fairies get into... Get up to hijinks is a lot of fun. We... Clown Peace isn't a fairy of light, but she hangs out with them because those are her people. Clown Peace is not a fairy who can live in trees and shit, so she lives under Reimu's house. <laughs> I accidentally almost set the place on fire once. Reimu got mad about that. However, Clown Peace provides free heating, so Reimu's not terribly upset at her living there. Hmm. Oh yeah, she invited them in her house and showed them a little bit of hell. She like decorated her house like hell. It's great. I never really was I never was quite sure how like Clown Peace's personality was, but she the uh, Shangetsu say shows that she is still a fairy. She is still a fairy even though she's quite strong, and I I enjoy that about her. Fairies will be fairies, no matter where they come from. Clown Peace demonstrates that quite clearly. Oosh. I only have 11 grays. Surely, I've gotten better than that. Alright, so I guess moving on to 12, 14. Who's more popular between the upside down girl and the small girl? Because obviously, who's more, uh, who's the most popular from that game is between them. 
I would argue it's the small girl because she appeared in fighting games, but I could also argue it's the upside down girl because she got her own game. Hard to say. For least popular, it's obviously one of the Tsukamo sisters. I would say Yatsuhashi, but I have no way of uh, knowing for sure which one of the two is more popular without the, uh, the use of the thingy. Remember, just look at the popularity poll, right? Just look at the popularity poll. It's either Seiji or, or, or Sukuna. It's one of the two. It's definitely one of the two. Mem is more popular than Yatsuhashi. I, it's probably just her aesthetic. She has long hair, it's purple, and she feels calm. Where Yatsuhashi feels... Yatsuhashi feels, you know, more upbeat, I suppose. Also, her name is hard. Who's the most popular Prison River? Good question. I honestly don't know. I think it's... I think it's Lunasa, personally. Lunasa's my favorite. I like Lunasa, Merlin, Lyrica. You, again, you'd have to look at the popularity poll for that, but I would I would wager that Lunasa is the most popular one. She's also the oldest. Sage at 29, Shin at 73. Holy shit, you aren't kidding. That is quite a discrepancy. I really figured sh uh, Hell, there might be other char- Shimmy might be lower than some of the other characters from the early game, huh? Like fucking Kagero, uh, Se Sekibanki, and Wagasaki Hime. Holy shit. That's kind of insane if you think about it. Need four more of them wing wangs. Hmm. Yeah, Yatsuhashi's name is a bit of a meme because we call her we call them Ben Ben and not Ben Ben Now I I did that originally because I genuinely could not remember her name <laughs> I just couldn't Nowadays it's just, it's just you know, it's a tongue-in-cheek nickname, but the character isn't very popular anyway, so it's kind of unfortunate Hikariko One up. I have seven, seven additional Marissas at my disposal now. That's insane. What am I gonna do with all those Marissas? I could lose. Losing seems like a pretty good idea. Nice. It's just so easy. The game just plays itself, dude. Look at this. Is it the funny bullet time? Nice. Hmm. But as far as as far as the Yatsuhashi sister or the Sukamo sisters go, it's it's basically just physical pre appearance preference. And I just think there's something about Ben Ben that makes people like her more because she looks more mature and when characters look more mature it means they're usually, uh, you know, you know, do I have to say it? Do I have to say it? I don't think I have to say it. I think you know what I'm trying to get at here. Alright. And Tall15, as we said, it's Clown. Clown's the most popular. I'd say Satan is the least popular. It's, uh... I don't think that's a very... I don't think that one's really that contestable, to be honest with you. It seems pretty set in stone. For Tall16... Okina is definitely the most popular. But I think On is not that far behind her. Least popular, though? It's gotta be Nemuno. If it's not Nemuno, it's either Mai or Satono, but I honestly think it's Nemuno. Because she's just not a popular character. Toa 17 
is a li I guess a little bit of a contest between popular, but Eika is very easily the least popular because Eika is considered the least popular character of the entire series. So, that's a gimme. But, for, uh, for po most popular, I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. It would be, it would be between Yashie, Saki, Mayumi, and Keiki, which is a pretty extensive roster. I would give it to Keiki, I think. I think Keiki's probably the most popular of them all. I'm unsure, though. Hmm. And then, Toa 15.5. I know, I know which one is more popular of the Yorigami sisters. I know. But that doesn't matter to me. Explode, please. Kaboom. There you go. Hmm. PC90 has got some damn good music, yeah. Hmm. Her broom and the kind of looks like a ghost tail. Alright. Here we go. Udemy's not that popular. The only thing that keeps her relevant in a lot of people's minds is that she's like the first time Zun has really, like, drawn and acknowledged assets, you know? I know how that sounds, but you know what I mean when I say that. She's, she gained popularity in a strange way. That's all. Her outfit is weird, by the way. I think it's weird. For tall 18, uh, Sanyo. Sanyo is not popular. Tsukasa is probably the most popular from that game. I'm not really sure how close it is between others, but she seems like a pretty safe bet, I think. Man, this is going so well. After I took like eight drinks to Junko. Can't wait to drink eight at the end of this. It's Blue East! Whoa! Whoa! Me. I... I missed it! I didn't need it anyway. I hate the fall speed on items in PC-98. I really do. They just, they just build momentum and they go fast and then you can't fucking grab them unless you were already in their general area and waited for them. But I have to kill enemies to stop them from shooting bullet at me! How does one man balance all this bullet? Hmm. So Casa seemed like the clear winner for popularity. People really like her. Might just because she's a fox girl. That that tends to influence a lot of people. We're simple-minded individuals at the end of the day. Whatever gets that neuron going, right? That's all that matters. Fox ears and a tail, they do that. Close one. Now the question is, who's the most popular Mafia boss? Between Saki, Yashie, and Totetsu. I feel like Totetsu is a little too new to really gauge that, but it's not like Yashie and Saki are exactly old. Oh, they got a few years at least, I suppose. There you go. Yeah, I think there's some recency bias. 
Ah, uh, you'd have to wait for it to dispel. But I can say with certainty that the little, the little goat, the little sassy goat with the big smile is my favorite. All right, here we go. Look, it's Marissa. Look, it's not Marissa. Oh, I love this music. Forbidden Magic is a good track. It's one of my favorites from this game. Somebody better fucking explode soon. Whoa, forgot about that. works, I suppose. Oh, I forgot about these! Whoa! Okay. Somebody please explode. Oh, whoops. That's the wrong one. <laughs> that, kinda, that's, that breaks the game. <laughs> I don't know how to do this one. I always had to fight Yuki, or Mai. Well, this is the benefit of easy mode. Easy mode. Okay. Fireballs kind of look like Kadamas. Okay. Oh my god, I, I... I can't see them very well. Oh! 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 Oh, I'm fine. Give me more screen? And less speed, please. I'm. I've been blinded. I win. No, I win. There you go. I'll take that. Number one character from the manga? Is it Kasen? You, oh, you got Renosuke? Technically, uh, I mean, I is not from a manga. Aki is not from a manga. I mean, she's from written works. Go on all the written works. The three fairies also count from the written works, but they also had their own game. So I guess any character who has appeared hasn't appeared in a game yet. Well, actually, then Kasen has appeared in a game, so she wouldn't count either. But you have like Aki, Kozusu, Renosuke, uh, Racing Two. Yorihime, Toyohime, um, Kasen, I suppose, yeah. Uh, Miyoi, and, uh, Mizuchi now. But we have, like, nothing on Mizuchi at all, so, yeah. I'm gonna have to wait for some more characterization to see kind of what she's doing before I really make anything. I sp yeah, I suppose Fortune Teller counts. Fortune Teller is a side character who got memed into... He got memed into popularity, huh? To a point where he's like a real-ass character. Nobody talks about the, the spirit that Reimu killed that was like a fire spirit or some shit, right? No one talks about that. But this poor bastard who got bludgeoned by our lovely Shrine Maiden has, has like, he, he has ascended to a point where he is, he's in his own comedy skits. Yeah, he, the fortune teller is in M1. 
if you can believe that. <laughs> I don't know what his skit entails, but somehow he gained a lot of popularity through that entire endeavor. Meme them till they cry, and then meme them again. I thought the fortune teller's story was kind of cool, the way he managed to come back to the world of the living. I liked the idea of it. It was actually really neat. I thought he was a cool character. I actually thought he was going to be a bigger deal than he was because I had heard about him. I had heard about him prior to reading Forbidden Scrollery. I was waiting for the fortune teller to show up. And then he did, and then he, he disappeared in like the same chapter, and I was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? Where'd he go? Why he die? Like I kind of thought like the fortune teller was gonna be the end of the end of series protagonist for that story, but then he was just like, "Hello, Raymu. I am now going to live my life comfortably in the countryside, dedicating my the rest of my new life to studying. Uh, I wish not to fight you, and you will not fight me because I know that you do not kill yokai." And Raymu was like, "Bitch, bet." And then you know, goodbye. Goodbye, you died. You didn't account for the fact that Reimu is a kind of an asshole. You should have thought about that. Oh, the control stick does this. Do you see this? That's the control stick doing that. Whoa. Doll of misery. Well, I am sad right now. Look at the warble. Whoa. Wait, why do I have ten lives? You know how many drinks that is? Oh, God. Ah! Uh, not good! I hate this. But she just does it again! Oh, you beat my attack. Well, guess what? That's not fair! It's- this PC-98 is too fast! Man, I only got three brain cells left. They're doing their fucking best to dodge one or the other. I can't dodge all of it. Come on now. Come me a break. Brain cell one can dodge a knife. Brain cell two can dodge a laser. But a brain cell three is not there to dodge both combined. I can only handle one at a time. And now she just does it again. It's the same attack. Please. Uh oh. Uh -huh. Hurry your ass up! This is not even gonna like reach me before she explodes, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. <sighs> Throw for my own health. You know that each life counts as two, right? So if I throw all my lives away, I'm drinking double duty. Yeah. 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 One drink. Two drink. I've done it. I like that Yumiko uses swords, not knives. She's throwing swords at you. That's pretty fucking metal. Welcome to Orolds and... The Holy AR Code. What is AR? Augmented Reality, right? That's what it's called? What is Augmented Reality? The 3DS had a feature with that, didn't it? Anyone use it? What does it do? What does augmented reality do? You could like scan cards or something, right? I don't even know what the e-reader did. I never used one. Never had one. Never had an e-reader. I know there were e-reader related things on a lot of like G GBA and some GCN stuff. Hmm. It's virtual objects in real life. You mean like Miku? Well, that's vis that's virtual reality, isn't it? What's the difference between virtual uh, reality and augmented reality? Huh.
the virtual world. Hold on, I'm fighting Shanky. I cannot read chat now. This is very important that I don't fuck this up. She's too strong. Her theme is really good as well. Once it stops building up anyway. I mean, the build-up's fine, but it's way better after the build-up. Right here. Ooh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Shanky. I will never see you again. Oh, too bad. God damn it! God! That's fine. That's fine. Darkness. Don't try to micro anything. No funny business. Nothing funny over here? Oh no. That's not good. Oh. That was three deaths. Well. That's more than five drinks at least. Okay, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh yeah, I don't have a thing for this. Uh, I've lost. I got something. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, just switch it. Uh, that'll, that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. Okay, now I... Skeep. Skeep. Uh, 3DS, some cards that you could scan that holograms you could use them for mini games like fishing. You know, the 3DS had a fishing mini game? There's no way. There's no way. I don't know how to fishing mini game, dude. I I had the uh, the cards. I just never used them because like what what the hell were they? Look at this. Look at this character, chat. You see this character on the screen? You don't, you, they just, you just don't get characters like that nowadays. That's all. Alright, I have to take six drinks. Here we go. One. Two. They're definitely a gimmick thing, yeah. Nintendo loves to do that for their systems early on in their life. Three. Four. Five. Six. I can't skip this. 
Actually, I'm gonna go pee while this goes. I'll be right back. It's me again! Just another player. Challenge normal difficulty. Man, come on, Zen. I did my best. Marissa? No. June. That's another game down. What? I know why that ha I don't know. Actually, I don't know why that happens, but it happened. Okay. Um, so now we get to the next game. Ready? Here it comes. Drum roll, please. Thank you. Three. No. Ten. No. <laughs> Two. This is a bad sound effect. This is a bad sound effect. I mean, elevator music, gaming background music, one hour. What? You mean one hour of silence occasionally broken up by the Among Us sound effect? I gotta listen. Oh. Oh, I see. It's quite interesting. Alright, well. I guess I'll boot up, uh... Story of Easter Wonderland now. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wait, these fucking things. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Here, let me just. Story of Easter Wonderland. Ah. Two who? Two who? Roll between one and three for shot type. It's one. Remu A. Is that speed type? Oh my god, I hope that's not speed type. Holy fuck do I hope that's not speed type. No! <laughs> ah! Alright. Alright. I like power type because it gets through bosses faster. Actually, I like defensive type because offensive type is slow as shit. I'm also on easy mode. Alright, whatever. Let's just fucking do this. Hold on. Uh. Oh, pardon me. Click. Toho jump scare. Whoa! Okay. Oh, now I have a goddamn. Hold on. Bam, 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 bam. 
I like this game's music. I just don't like its gameplay. I can forgive this game because it's the first of the style, but Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> I don't enjoy this game. This is, this is, this is this game. The music is now desync. Don't worry about it. It'll it'll sync back up when we get to uh, Rika. Now we're on a bridge to the Hakurade Shrine, and now there's a tank. I know I can press the button to do more damage. I will do that. Don't worry. But I'm not gonna mash it for the entire game. <laughs> Neat. Hmm. Oh my god. I went around the power. Ding, 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 ding. Just gotta cross the bridge. Getting power in this game is certainly a fucking task, isn't it? These stupid little bastards can drop bombs, too. I don't know the percentage, but I have footage of it. Definitely happened. My head was itchy. She's in a temper. At least she will be in a moment. Dodge, 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 dodge. Dodged. Ugh. Ugh. Bing, bing, bing. Eternal Shrine Maiden, Reimu. Genji, her turtle. Old turtle of wisdom. Genji! Sinister. Feet. Man, how far we have come, huh? I forgot there's no focus button in this fucking game, dude! There's nothing! It's devoid of content! I better be in the right spot. Oi, oi, oi. Did it. Oh, I lost. Farewell. Bye. There you go. Hmm. How was there no focus mechanic in this game or the next, though? Granted, I don't know what shmups looked like back in this time frame. So I don't know if they had it either. But it just feels weird to me that they don't exist. It feels- this game feels so raw. Don Patchy was the only one. Well, that makes it even weirder because this game was advertised to compare to Don Patchy. <laughs> what? Why would he not have a focus button in it then? This game is Don Patchy with more bullet. That is what it was advertised as. I am not making this up. Who's this chick? Orori! God damn it. Yeah, well, I can't fight Meta if you didn't know. I I I just I can't I don't I don't know how to dodge her sword shit. Never learned. Never learned. Never wanted to either. So I just sit in purgatory. Bomb hell. Also I have to fight Marissa in this fucking game. Oh my god, I don't want to do that. Holy shit, do I not want to do that. I'm just holding the button. I like the music for this stage, but I can never remember that it's the stage's music. Such a weird location.
It's okay, easy mode will bail me out. I only got hit because this game is good. Alright, has nothing to do with my skill. It's just a matter of the game. The game took control of my controller and put me in the way of that bullet and I died. That's all that happened. Don't worry. Because it's only one life. I have four more. I have four more. I can use continues. I just can't fight Mima's final attack. If I use a continue? Oh, that's good. That's good. Continue on easy mode. Hmm. But you know what? It's Story of Eastern Wonderland, so just don't even don't even worry about it. <laughs> oh my god. Boom, my Roku. Hmm. I wonder what Marissa would look like with blue hair. I think she looks strange with uh, being a redhead, personally. Hmm. All right, Meta. Oh, no, 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 do that. Okay, it's not as bad on easy mode. Yeah. Whoa! Please shoot the gumballs. Let's just get to the gumball attack, please. My arm is already tired. Yeah. 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 Yeah, gum. Yeah. What even is this attack, man? Dude, my arm, it, it's fallen off. Holy shit. It's so tired. Why is this? Oh. Uh. Oh. They wanted to bury her, so she ran away, but she ran too far. She fell out of the universe, and you never saw her again. Goodbye, Merida. You will be missed, maybe? Okay! That is now two drinks. It's called Scarlet Dream. Ow! Forgot that happens. Do 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 Now it's green. Now it's blue. Now it's purple. Purple! Now it's red again. You know, I do appreciate this game and its existence. Even if I don't want to be the one playing it ever. At least it only has five stages, no matter what I do. I'll take that to the bank! Somehow I have beaten the extra stage. Well, actually, the only reason I have beaten the extra stage in this game is because I abused all of its flaws. Button mashing and bomb spamming. That is how. Never come close to Mugetsu or Gengetsu or Alice. Yeah, eyeball monster, yeah! Back in the days. When you had those things. We haven't had a good old-fashioned eyeball monster in a while, have we? Yeah, this game has additional properties to its shot types if you're at max power. Good fucking luck. It is so hard to have max power in this game if you are not good at it. Alright. Now I hold the button. This is the one with, like, pseudo-piercing, isn't it? I can't remember which one. I think defensive type had homing. You think I would know this? Unfortunately, I don't get to be in max power very often, nor do I play this game very often. Woo! 
Here we go. Look at that power. Look at it. P is raining from the sky. It's not a good sentence out of the context of what you're seeing right now, is it? Orb cheats. The orb was a big deal in PC98 era. Everybody wanted the sick power of the orb. Nowadays, when the orb shows up, it's just like, oh, where'd that come from? Bang. It's a stolen Ouija you didn't make it! I hate this boss because this last bit is just a fucking auto-scroller. Five magic stones. Yes. That's close. Pick up cup. Game time. Bum, 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 bum. Gotta get that max power back, man. I can't handle all this... this level without it. Come on. Give it back to me! I got it. We're good. Game has been saved. Salvaged run. Oh, now it gets weird, dude. Whoa, I was close. I wasn't paying attention. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You only get one chance, so shoot your shot, kid. One in a million. The enemies in this game are very interesting, huh? You got bat, eyeball bat, cursed spinny thing from Zelda, a blob. <laughs> the list just goes on, huh? I mean, you could argue it's more, it's its a little more, you know, varied than fairies. I'll give you that. For sure, I'll give you that. But is Jelly Blob really better than a fairy? Explode into my one-up, please. Thank you. They look like frogs? I don't see it. They look, they, they look more like the Cursia enemy from Super Paper Mario to me. They're silly looking though. That is undeniable. How many times have I gotten hit so far? At least two, right? Possibly three? Uh, it's probably only two. Okay. Here she comes! Whoa! Whoa! 
It's the Christmas evil spirit, Mima! Whoa! What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be in the latest new- Oh, never mind, she's gone. Ha 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 It was a trick. I've deceived you. There's no Mima here. There was never any Mima here. Mima's just a myth! She's never coming back! Yeah. Yeah, Paris, yeah. No. Oh. Ooh. I hate this boss. I hate a lot of things in this world. This boss is one of them. Whoa. Oh, chill. Whoa, oh, chill. Whoa, oh, chill! Nice. I didn't get a single one of my power back. Please die before my arm gets too tired to continue this. Oh, really? No, I can hear again. Perish. 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 Oh, uh, there's that way that's going to reach me, right? Okay. That didn't hit me? What the fuck? His arm? Tired. I quit. I'm not mashing anymore. I'm back to mashing! Yeah, die, Versa! Yeah! Yeah, die! Yeah! Yeah, die! Yeah! Oh! Uh. I hate that boss. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was two lives. Oh god, that's four drinks. Don't fail me now, arm. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm gonna run out of drink, man. I can't. A phantom's a boisterous dance. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Give me that power. All right, Raymo is now strong again. Wait, I have to mash against Mima, don't I? Oh, fuck. Cool stage team, it's over now. <laughs> Alright, time for Eternal Darkness. Whoa, that's a cool character. Sorry, Complete Darkness. I remember what that was in the nick of time. Don't do it. It's me! Yaguchi! Me! Zuguchi! What a shitter. Oh! <laughs> he is too strong! God damn it. hit me no fucking way dude that didn't hit me there's just no chance you die already my arm is tired 
You are indeed. Oh. Whoa! There it is. The Mima final. Whoa! Whoa! Such a rare occurrence. I had not expected this. It's too late. Jump scare. Oh, that's the wrong one. You've been spoiled. Jump scare. Ah, 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 ah. I don't have two sips in this cup. Hmm. One. Two. Completely empty. I have to go get another drink and I have to start the next game with uh, two. A dream was just a dream. Goodbye, Mima. Raymu is wearing green and eating a sundae. Wait, she's eating a soft serve ice cream cone, but there's a sundae in front of her. Oh no, she's ordering it. Oh, she's just, she's just ordering a fuck ton of food. Right, cause I forgot the yin yang's power. The yin yang's power. She's abusing it, basically. I, I still can't show you. The ending is still on the screen. So you see it poking through Jun's shoulder there. Alright, it's over. Hold on. Okay. Allow me to go pour myself a drink while the credits roll then. I'll be right back. What's my score? Subpar gamer? Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Whoa, who's that character? Congratulations, you clear all type, but try to extra stage. She looks like... I don't know how to best explain it, but you know? Easy I didn't even get a better score than the easy mode. That's another game down. All right. Damn it, I did it again. Right, that style was so different. I know Zen had a habit of referencing, quote unquote, in some of the earlier days of stuff. <laughs> he, uh, uh, next video game. What could it be? It's. Oh, whoops, I deleted the, oh. Um. That's wrong. 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 There it is. Next game. Nine again, no. GFO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I gotta roll for the shot type. It's... Yeah, it should be 1 to 6 again, I believe. 1 to 6. It's 3. That's Marissa A, right? That should be Marissa A. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Normal mode. Easy mode, though. Uh, yeah, A, B. So Marissa, A. This one good? This should be good, right? All right. All right. Oh, shit. Hold on. I gotta take two drinks before I start. One. Two. Okay. Ready? Set. Do 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 do. Woo! Got that Nazarene music. Very penile. All right, Nazarene doesn't have a spell card. got a blue health bar though. I'm back. You little shithead. Wait, this range is even worse than Rainbow B. Oh, I'm on easy mode, so it'll be fine. Or was I playing Rainbow A? Fuck man, I don't remember. Whatever the Rainbow had needles was. That's the one I was playing. Ding dong. Ding dong. Me. UFOs are the same no matter the difficulty, huh? Okay. Okay, I understand. If I can do this on hard mode, I can do it on easy mode. No problem. I like the version of the song that never starts. Well, it's hitting her. Come on. Uh, I can just stay back here for this, right? Yeah, this doesn't seem that bad. I think the laser pierces too, so... Yeah! That's it? Just a single blue UFO? That is embarrassing, dude. I... Don't really want to shoot these guys. This is hyper unfortunate.
Mine. It's okay, because here comes Kogiasa. Despawn. One singular wave. I can do that. I can dodge this. I can dodge it. No problem. No problem, no problem. Alright. More one mans, please. Oh, son of bitch! get my life piece from that? I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Alright, here we go. Here we go! Ah! This is a really good theme. I've said this many times over, but this game has fantastic music. I just cannot stand the gameplay. That's all. This game is really fun to watch. People who are good at it, though, because it's very difficult. But playing this game is I don't do not it does not spark joy I wish to not be the one manning the character give it to someone else I think this spell card is insane for a stage 2 boss <laughs> personally it's kind of nutty I mean not on easy mode mind you I don't know how to do this one. I don't know how to do that spell card. That is the only way I know how to do it, and it only works about 70% of the time. I can't do it any other way. I've tried. I can't do it. I can't. 70% though. It's pretty good. I'll take those odds. I am on easy mode though. Ah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Nope, gotta wait for that. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that the game shits out blue UFOs and doesn't change them so many times, I feel like I would never grab a blue UFO. Wait a minute. I don't grab blue UFOs. Oh, god damn it. You dirty rat! Alright. Now this is an unfortunate situation. Turn red. So many bullet on screen. I am scared to move around. Whoa. Oh. 
Whoa. Okay. That's pretty good. All right. Heavenly net sandbag. Oh, it's like Kraken strike, but only two. I like that fucking nice. Gotta take this very seriously. No, not Knuckle Blast. Oh. All right, knuckle blast over. Pretty good. I feel it in the bit of me wallet. This one's been done before. Ow! Wasn't by me, that's for sure. moment. Chad, I'm gonna eat a granola bar. That's what I'm gonna do right now. I had lunch. But I could I could put a snack in me. It's been four hours. Jesus Christ, it's been four hours. Um. Mmm. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm alive. Here we go. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Fuck! Free one man. Wow. Squander it. Squander it. Squander it. Not squandered. I mean, squandered. Wouldn't do anything. Aha! There's so many red UFOs. Whoa, I didn't even see that. Sweet. 
son of a bitch ate my power. Give it back! I need it! I'm gonna lose a life to Marasa anyway. This theme is stinky. Oh, I mean, not stinky, but you know what? You know what I mean when I say stinky? It's like a little stinky. Now, this is a good theme. Captain Marasa. It's a good theme. All right. Yeah. Woo! Gotta watch where she moves because it drags the anchor in a strange way. <laughs> Ain't no lie, this game has some damn good music. How does this one look on easy mode? Well, definitely not as bad. This spell card is still silly. Uh oh. If I'm lucky, she doesn't use her timeout. She doesn't have a timeout on easy mode. Huh. I didn't know that. She hit me, right? Something hit me. Something definitely hit me. All right, hold on. Ross has got a cool-ass coat. Okay. Cool drink. Easy. So far, so good. All right. Here we go. Oh no. Oh, it's about to get stinky in here. Bullets are so much slower. Oh no. Fuck. I want I want a max resource count. Three UFOs, please. Thank you. Well, at least this doesn't change. Regrettably, this is very fresh in my mind. So on easy mode, it's the same thing, but easier. That's all. Wow, look how much room is between those tuning forks. Wow. Greatest treasures. I love it. 
Oh. I love it. It's so much easier than the alternative shit I've been dealing with. Never change! Oops. Oh, it's, it's so nice to look at, man. I can't see. Okay. Okay. Okay! Wait a minute. These aren't gonna change, are they? No, these are gonna be the same. Okay. Well, surely I can dodge one singular wave of curvy lasers, right? Surely? Radiant treasure? Surely. I am not confident. I hate this one. I don't care what difficulty it is. Ah. Uh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. Ah. Uh. The only thing waiting for you is death! Oh, this is gonna suck. Not like this spell card is hard, but if she doesn't move where she's supposed to, I can't play the game! I ain't chasing her. That's a fool's errand. Bless be. I can't dodge this. It's too hard. Wait, it's going the wrong way. No, I don't like going clockwise. No, thank you. No, thank you. Well. Holy Jesus Christ. I can't do it, man. I can't do it! <laughs> I hate you, show! Wow, that's a significant lack of bullet. Big funny laser hitbox. Oh! I hate you! Ah! I can't... I can't even beat her on easy! Oh! All right. All right. Six. 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 Some games you retain your bomb count even if you die. Other games you reset back to your default. It's weird because it starts out as you restart to your default so you're encouraged to use them. Then UFO, uh, 10 Desires, and I think, I th think Double Dealing Character? They all tell you you can keep as many bombs as you want, but you will go back to the default if you fall under it when you die. And then from Legacy and Lunatic Kingdom onwards, your bombs will reset to their, uh, your bombs reset to their default when you get hit. So you're once again encouraged to make use of them. Doom, 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 doom. 
That thing's green. The nun who overcame the f fight suffering. Jesus, I forgot. What, they're all fucking green, dude. Please explode. Thank you. Why are they all blue? Please. Yeah, 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 bring him down. That didn't fell? What? Video games. I actually kind of need the full power. Thanks, new. Whoa. Ba -ba 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 How many lives I got? I got six lives, and I got seven bombs. No problem. Oh, I don't like this one. I never have and I never will. Oh, I died twice to it. Okay. Pew. That P. Flying Fantastica. Oh, you're not doing superhuman hegity? Okay. Fine by me. You can do whatever you want. You're the boss. Literally.
Yay! Yeah! Woo! Star Maelstrom is annoying because it's just curvy lasers and four bullets, and it's that's a pattern. That's the pattern. Yet it is as hard as it is. Ain't that some shit? Where's my Where's my image for this? Is it you? Yeah, it's you. You can't look at this. This is only for experienced winners. I like the ending theme for this game. Haven't heard it in a while though. I can't imagine why. Four drinks. Four. One. Four. There you go. How many have I played? Anyone been keeping count? Um, uh, I played a uh, two, five, seven, ten, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. I've only played seven of them. There's just no way. <laughs> There's just no way! My granola bar, no! No! It's still on the wrapper, I'm just being dram dramatic. Cause you can't see, there's no camera here. You don't know what's happening. I could, I could be doing anything right now. I could be on doing a handstand. I could be an orangutan for all you know. That'd be pretty cool. Just an orangutan has been playing this game the entire time. And yeah, I'm just talking. Uh, not crazy. You, you just don't know. You can't say for sure because you can't see. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. What was the next? What was the next one? Bye bye, Bluey. Okay. J. Jonah Jung. I need petroleum. All right. There we go. Hold on, feeling. Hold on. Give me a second. Just coming, I swear. It's eight. <laughs> okay. Turbo eight. Imperishable nut. I have to pee. I have to pee! I'll be right back! Nice gameplay, nice gameplay. That's me, by the way. I was playing the whole time. My name is Demonstration. That's my full name. 
I was so good that I was allowed to put my name in the middle of the gameplay. Alright. And I'm fooling around, okay? Let me just hit the button, the button, the button, the button, the button. No more fooling around. Okay. Alright, okay. This is a good one. I like this game. Start. Oh, God. How many... How... That, there's... I guess there's 12 characters, huh? By technicality. Okay. 12. Character 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Are you fucking kidding me? Ah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I like this game, but I like its piano. I like a lot of things about it. I like... Actually, I don't like Riggle as much as you would think. Which is kind of weird. I think of all the emotes I have, Riggle might be like my least favorite character that I have an emote for. But I still, you know, obviously I like her enough to have an emote of her. Because I'm not... I don't have an emote of Sumireko after all, right? I got an emote of Lily. I like Lily. Lily's pretty cool. Lily doesn't even do anything. That's the crazy part. She literally just exists. She just exists, shows up, announces spring, and then leaves. And that turned into... Damn, this character's sick. That's all it takes, man. That's all it takes. Bye, Riggle. See you later. I'm on easy mode. It's easy. Good thing the gimmick doesn't matter to gameplay, like in the slightest, because I don't even understand what it, you're supposed to you, for yes for it when I'm like, you know, you know. Is that it? Whoa, that was quick. Damn. So fast. I like Mystia. I like Kyoko. I like... Well, I don't, I don't really like... I don't really dislike any character. Well, that's not true. There are a few I dislike. But! For the most part, if I don't like a character, it's not because I don't like them. It's just because I like another character more. Why do I like the characters I like? I don't know. Why do you like the characters you like? Can you truly explain in words why you like a character? I can't. Might, might, there might be a reason for that. I don't know. But if you ask me why I like Jun, I don't fucking know, dude. I think she's funny. She is physically, uh, her physical design is appealing to me. I think her personality is funny, and I enjoy, I enjoy. That's, that's more or less what it is. A combination of two things, how they look and how they act. Ultimately, that's what it comes down to, after all. At least Marissa does the big damage, I guess. I think. I don't I don't really know. I don't play this character in this game ever. Hmm. Monkey brain likes. Yeah. Whatever activates the neuron, right? Riggle is one of my favorites and it's entirely unexplainable. See, it just it just happens to all of us. We all got that character that we like a lot, and then if you were like asked to explain why, you would you wouldn't, you wouldn't. Wait, I didn't get to do the last, last, or the final spell, even though I got the time, whatever. Who cares? Just saves me time in the long run. Unexplainable interests to characters. How did Jung go from, like, 20 to 1 in the span of a few months? I don't know. I, I, I guess I got meme to shit. That's what it was. All it took was one funny image. No, actually, the funny image came after. The funny image came after. I think it was the Hina game, is what it was. That goddamn Hina game. I mean, I was already a fan of Jin prior to that, but that game was, like, hella propaganda. And I fell, I fell hook, line, and sinker. It told me everything I needed to know, everything I didn't think I needed to know. And now here we are today. That's how they get you. You gotta be careful. These motherfuckers are always on the, the, the prowl. 
17.5 helped a lot as well. I've always liked Jun uh, to an extent because I like her attitude and how she just how she her fighting style is very raw. Like, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Yakuza up. Imagine imagine Jun fighting in beast style. That 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 mental image is fucking hilarious to me. I think that's funny. You just see Jun pick someone up and then fucking pile drive them into the pavement. And the reason that's funny to me is because I can legitimately see her being able to do that as part of her repertoire of attacks. She fights she fights like the like the, the brawler and the beast style. Well maybe not the really the beast style, but she definitely fights like the brawler style. <laughs> She's, she's very thug about her fighting style. It's not refined in the slightest. Her last word is she just kicks the shit out of you and then shakes you down. Like, you can't tell me that that is like... There's, that's not a fighting style. That's a beatdown. You, you get fucking shook down. That's part of her last word. That's funny. I like that. But I also like, you know, she's a schemer. Seeing her and her sister pair up actually made me like Xion a lot more as well. But I'm still a I'm still a Jun fan. And the propaganda that was pushed onto me from Hina game. I fell for it, man. It happened it happened too fast. I wasn't ready for it. I was like, I like Jun, and then I was like, hmm, I have an item. I wonder if Jun wants it. That's that that it infiltrated my mind. It took over my, my last few remaining brain cells, converted them. This is so strange to me. Sadly, Jun is too new, so I'll never see her in anything ever again. In Fanon, anyway. In Canon, she has a chance of showing up because she's still new. And I like what she was uh, they did with her in 17.5, so I would like to see her come back and do more silly stuff. Also, her ending gave us Totetsu of the Blood Pool, which is just Totetsu peeking out of the oil. That's also funny. I like that one. That one makes me laugh. <laughs> well, I just like Totetsu in general anyway. I want her to show up more as well in something. Because I feel like if she showed up in any anything and had a decently sized role, I would probably like her Some in a similar... I would say... well, mm, Similarly to how I just like really came to like Jun, I suppose because I already like Totetsu a lot despite how little I know about her And it's mostly based on her physical appearance, which is just kind of how these new characters ride When there's very little characterization to work with on a character All you have to go off is how they look and if you like how they look the odds are you're gonna like the character And you're going to find pleasantries in their personality regardless of what it is unless their personality is just so goddamn awful that you despise it that's all. How you feel about one will influence the other. I certainly have never heard someone say, I like this character a lot, but they mad ugly. You know, I don't think I've ever heard that before. If you like the character, then you probably find them pretty pleasing to look at. That's just how we work. That's how we as a society work. Oh, these things don't go away even when I go in focus. That's cool. Hello, lady with the long last name. I know what it is though. Kena Kamishira Sawa. You just read it, Dylan. Yeah. No, I didn't. I remember her name. It's not as complicated as you think. It's Chieri's name that I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it also has Shira in it. I don't remember. One of the one of the characters is, is like the same. Well, I, I guess not. Maybe not care. I don't know how the character writing works, but one of the, like the 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 the, the parts of. Kane's name is also in Chiri's name. That kind of thing. Okay. The one man became a bomb. The gameplay is too good. 
Unbelievable. I also started with seven lives, so it doesn't really matter that much, you know. I can't kill the son of a bitch. Huh. Cool. Plain Asia. It's so weird I have to shoot through all the familiars if I want to actually damage the bosses now. That seems rather annoying, wouldn't you say? But I guess Marissa's shot type is designed with that in mind. Ooh. Ooh. Tough stuff. Okay. I may not have much difficulty on some of this stuff, as you can see, but this is also because I've played these games for a while now, and I also play the higher difficulties. But trust me, if you are new to this kind of genre, this is pretty fucking intense. Even easy mode can kick your ass. There's no shame in that. I'm just playing... The only reason I'm really playing on easy mode is because I... I am not... I am not in the right state of mind to try anything higher. <laughs> But some of this is muscle memory because it is a similar method of dealing with these patterns, but there's less bullet to dodge. So even if I don't remember exactly what I'm supposed to do, there's a lot of leeway to work with. That's all. Junko still hit me like five times. But that's okay, because that's Junko. She cheats. She's a fucking cheater. The Kirby fish? The Kirby fish. Her name is Kane. It's like two syllables. Kaine is not correct, but I tend to call her that too. Kane is also not correct. There's like emphasis on the E-H. You know, I'm Canadian. It just should come naturally to me. Haha, <laughs> but it, it, it just doesn't. Her name is weird to pronounce. I don't really I don't really fault anyone for getting it right or wrong. I also don't care if you get it right or wrong. Uncanny! I'm over here calling Sny Sny, I'm calling Chirbo Chirbo, I'm calling New New, like, I don't fucking care, man. Pretty sure I've been mispronouncing Jun's name my entire life, and I just don't care enough to correct it anymore. Which, you know, that seems like a bad thing to say, but... I like the name Jun. I like that name. I like calling her that. It sounds correct in my head. Whoa, that was neat. Pretty sure I'm supposed to pronounce it like Joan or some shit. But that just reminds me of the turnip lady from Animal Crossing, and then I don't like that. So I just call her Jun, because I think that's a nice name. Ooh. This is crazy. It's so... It's so easy. Look at this. You know, I was under the impression that when I drink the alcohol, I would do loop. I would perform, uh, worse. Uh, I don't know. Jun, Jun, Jown, Jown, Jane, Jan, Jingleheiner, Schmidt. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, there's a, it's written J O. Uh, apostrophe O-N, yes. There is an apostrophe, but I don't think a lot of people really include that anymore. They tend to forget it's there. I don't really include it either. I just kind of leave it. That's why I call her Jun. Jun or Jun. Well, I call her, I usually call her Jun. Like Zun, basically. But I like June as well. Like June, like the month. Xion is easier to pronounce. Sean. No, not Sean. <laughs> Sean and John. <laughs> That's their gender bent versions. Actually, their gender bent versions are Wario and Waluigi. Oh my god, I have to kill these. Oh, this is weird. I love the way Raymond waves her stick. Look at her. When she waves her stick. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. It makes me laugh. 
Oh, I was too busy looking at Rainbow. She's not wiggling her stick. Man, I've seen this. I've seen this fight in minus T's animation. That shit was sick. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. She's not wiggling it anymore. Come on. You're leaving me hanging, Raymu. Please. Yeah, she did it. But you can't see her because there's an explosion of bullets from her. But she's wiggling it, I promise. <laughs> oh, shit, I panicked. Oh, I'm sorry, Raymu. Whoops. She just wiggled it and ran away. Oh, that was an accident. That's the first mistake. It happens. Whoa. Chillax compadre. Uh... It's such a weird section between during the boss fight. I guess Yugi kind of does something like this, but it's before the actual boss fight. Oh, but it's a Reimu. What's up? She's taking no damage. Whoa. Man, this is really annoying to hit. There we go. Raymo has Raymo is very angry because someone has stolen her nose. Who did it? Who knows? <laughs> oh, what a riot! What a laugh riot! If you can make yourself laugh, it's all good. Hey, Raymu. Oh, this is annoying. But I'll take it over, Marissa. I don't get to listen to Maiden's Cappuccino very much anyway. There we go. She has like a bunch of different fantasy seal type attacks. But look at them, they're kind of rainbowy. Oh. Whoa, back up, Jack. Why is my time gauge so bad? I'm capping spell cards and everything, dude. Oh, this one. Wow. How does he do it? Goodbye, Raymu. Look at that. I didn't even come close to it. That's insanity. Unbelievable. Oh, I gotta take a drink. Give me the... Give me the... Give me the coop. One! Alright. Raisin's gimmick doesn't frustrate me as much as Yomu's. When I think about it like that, I don't have much... Uh, I don't... I wouldn't say I don't have trouble with it. I can't. I legitimately can't do some of her spell cards, but I don't mind it as much because I, Yomu and Sakuya, I, I have a, I have a harder time with them. So in my eyes, uh, Raisin is not as bad. So I'm okay. I can tolerate it a little more. I could also just get angry at all three of them. That is also a solution to my problem. But I like this game, so I try not to find too many faults in it. Faults are really easy to pick out because you take literally any mundane thing and be like, this sucks. And you know what? If you dislike enough of the game, well, you'll just poke, uh, pull those things out. 
That's what happens. You get a negative impression and you find negative takes and things. Or if you like something, you'll find the positive in it. Take this bunny for example. This bunny's great. I love it. It's good. It, it fires the bullet and then it dies and it creates the thingy. But you know, if I didn't like this game, then it would be fuck this bunny. It spawns and comes in and shoots the bullet. It's literally undodgeable. It's absolutely bullshit. It just shouldn't even be part of the level. This little fucker right here, actually. You know, I hate this. I hate her. I can't dodge her shit no matter what difficulty it is. I can't dodge this! It's impossible. I can't do it. I'm panicking. I'm panicking! Oh. That was not a bit. I, I, I couldn't figure out where I was supposed to go. I actually just fucked that up legitimately. I hate you, you little bastard! Explode! Yeah, beat it. Punk ass. There goes one, one Marissa. One Marissa down. Eight Marissas to go. Oh. Oh, I made a mistake in my movement. I actually wasn't that bad. Middle. Back up, Jack. Left. Well, not actually. I feel like this is different and higher difficult. What the fuck? This feels different. Well, I don't know. Give me a lot of bombs in this game, huh? Oh, soy! Oh, chat, am I going to final A or final B? What do you think? Vote now! Da 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 Actually, can I just go to Eden because I like her theme more? Alright. Boonie. Let's take her to the Lunarian Punishment Room. Ha 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 ha. I can't believe it. I've known this character for nearly 20 years. And all it took was one panel to make me question whether or not I like them anymore. Damn. You must have really liked this character if that's all it took. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 hey. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey. I like Racing's theme a lot. The piano bit is very solid. Is that the right word? I think somber is the word I'm looking for. It feels sad. There's an element of sadness to her, which I dig. And then she does this. Burr, 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 burr. I like this part. Good old fashioned trumpets. Whoa, out of my face. I enjoy when things cooperate. Look at that. My finger is basically glued to the focus button. I can't get it off of it anymore. That's probably why my time is so bad. It's because I'm putting my human side to like 20. Because focus is supposed to go to yokai, but I'm double human. So the bar actually reflects that. It's very strange. Anyway, point is, I'm not getting time because I'm playing the game incorrect. That's all. At least this time I can see. That's pretty good. <laughs> Pop. Moon of Truth. Pew, pew. That was close. The blue ring is a... Back up, Jack! Jesus. I panicked. I panicked. 
follow your heart. Follow your dreams! Go blow up that one from before. Go blow up everything in sight. I like these options. I do. I want to listen to Eden's theme. Oh, uh, but I always go to Eden, so maybe I go... I guess the game picked for me. Where do they keep the gunpowder? Oh, I guess we're going to final B now. I think. Also, I have to take three drinks. I didn't hit the button, by the way. It picked on its own. Hmm. New-ish chapter. It's like... I think it was chapter 14 or 13. Grayson had a single panel that made people question the character. Even though she's been in the series for as long as she has. It's all superficial interest. <laughs> Ooh, final B. Voyage 1969 is a classic. I really like this theme. This used to be my favorite stage theme until I heard Heartfelt Fancy. This is still probably in my top five. I don't know for sure though. Ding, ding, ding. Let's go to Kaguya. Let's see that panel at Kaguya where she's got her arms stretched out and her sh her her uh, her dress is way too big for her, and she's got the like the she's got like the floppy sleeves. God, that shit is cute. There's no business being that cute, but it is. This character isn't very cute, though. That's alright. She doesn't have to be. Ooh. Whoa, I was not looking at those snowballs. Listen, I'll take cute over sexy any day of the week. Any day. Any hour, any minute, any second. Ah. Alright. Kaguya. Kaguya. You can have both? Yes. You can. But that's hard to do. A character cannot be both at the same time, but a character can be capable of both. There's, that's, that's for a fact. But I find that I don't really care for characters that are often depicted as more mature and as a result more sexy. I do not like characters where their main uh, attraction is that they are supposed to be attractive. Because if they, I don't find them attractive, then there's no more character in there for me to get. There are exceptions to that, for sure. But I just don't really like that trope. Because it has to do one thing, and if it doesn't do that one thing, it does not do anything for me. What does this mean for me? I don't fucking know. I'd rather watch a goofball with a bucket on her head run around and trip. That's my idea of fun. Not getting whispers in my ear about how much of a good boy I am from a woman... Five times my age. But you know, to each their own. To each their own. Whoa. Oh, I can't. Wait, I can still hit her. Oh, I guess they take damage for her or some shit. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I've destroyed her ball. Kaguya. I like Kaguya's name, because I don't say it right. Whenever I say her name the way I do, I think of slime girls. Kaguya as a slime girl. Kaguya. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. 
Unless you're telling me there's something wrong with slime girls. In which case... What? What you talking about? I got one! Yo! I blew one up! Ew. Oh, there's so many openings on that attack. Oh, never mind. It got weird again. Ooh. 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 This is Robe of the Fire Rat. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm fired. Wow, look at how slow that goes. <laughs> I like this part of the song, though. The cell phone ringtone part of the song. Oh, this one. Very good. Very good. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I hate this. Ah! Oh. I remember this one. I don't think it has much HP, but I don't know how to do it on higher difficulties. I'm just hoping what I'm doing works enough to get me out of this. <laughs> That's all I care about right now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Remember, even if I beat this, Kagui has five more attacks I have to go through. Which, you know, they don't count as lives, but they will still hit me. Any day you want to explode would be good. Bro, pop! Pop, damn it, pop! Okay, I'll take that. Hmm, um, 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 what the? Okay. Number two. Number fifteen. Number four. <gasps> As expected. Just 
She's got a barrier that protects her from bullshit. Doesn't protect me, though. Clear. Look at that bonus point. Nice. Very good. I can't show you this. It's illegal. I got hit once, but I didn't lose a life. I'll count it as a drink, I suppose. Just one. Just one. Okay. 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 There's the bunny with the blue hair. The blue hair bunny. She got her, she caught a fish this big. Oh, you can't see it though. You can't see how big the fish she caught was. She caught it on her 3DS. That AR mini game didn't fuck around. I would know that I didn't play it. She's got blue hair in this ending. Uh, yeah, straight up. Legit. Don't believe me? Plant yourself, find out. One more game down. Racing two, Electric Boogaloo. Racing one was so good they made a second. But it did not do as well as the first. If I had to compare racing to racing two, I guess, what's a, what's a good example of this? Um. I don't know, I guess you could compare it to... Uh... I forgot again. DMC to DMC2. I like that one. Scooby-Doo to Scrappy-Doo? That's a good one, too. Racing 2 is a character who serves as a plot device, and then she disappears, and then I'm supposed to care about her. Every time the chapter focuses on her and what she's doing, it's actually just so it can focus on the Watatskis, and I don't care what they're doing either, so by proxy, I don't give a fuck what she's doing. She's supposed, you know, she's she's a newly introduced character, but she barely does anything, and after she fulfills her purpose early on, she just ceases to exist. As far as I'm concerned, and there she goes, goodbye, woo, 27 spell cards captured. Is Incredibles too bad? I never saw Incredibles too the first one was so incredible that I was satisfied with just it. Hence the name. That's all. Alright, video game completed. That's another one. Whoa! He's half done. Whoa! No way! What's the next one? Here it comes! I did five. I did ten. Eighteen! I like eighteen. I like 18 a lot, actually. I really like Stage 1's music. It's one of my favorite stage... It's, it's actually my favorite Stage 1 music theme. It's super good. Uh, close that. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm going to go get some more granola bars. Whoa. Whoa. What is this? Borderless window. Borderless window. Yeah. Give me that. That'll work. This game is a work of fiction. All characters and organizations that appear have passed into fantasy. Here, this is where Zun's art gained more color and uh, sticky clothes, I suppose. I'll leave you with that. I'll be right back. I'm back. Yeah, I like this game. I think this game is cool. I haven't seen much of this game, though. I would like to... I'm looking forward to seeing it at, at TWC. Because I, don't, I have not seen much of this game at all. 
but I like the... I like it. Sh I like Shimada. I like- I like Shimada. <laughs> yeah. Shot. What the fuck? Stop that. Bomb. Slow. RB. Y. Pause. You see that? What the fuck is- Ew. I hope that doesn't fuck with anything. Okay. Okay, just give me a second. Just wanna breathe for a second. Look at that Cheerbo card. You see that? That's a good card. I like that card. Just give me a moment. In the meantime, here, I'll let you listen to some music you're not gonna hear in the game. Uh... Bam, bam, bam. Diggy, 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 diggy. Alright. Hmm. There's a zoom card in this game. Bullshit. It's unbelievable. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> Dragon mine. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Ready? Nobility. All right, I get to pick my cards. All right, I have to. Let's randomize what cards I start with. Four. Oh god, who's character four in this fucking game? Raymo, Maris. Okay, it's Sny. Oh, I forgot to change. I forgot to change my cards. Hold on. Okay, I'm playing as Sny. Random number for cards. Yeah. Let's see. How many cards are there? There is five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. So I roll between 1 and 48 three times. 36. So 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Screen border. Card 2. 11. So 11 is Cheerbo. All right, cheerbo card, and scroll, 15. 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so what do these abilities do? Press the card use button on the edge of the screen and you'll warp to the other edge. Cards popular mini, okay. Cheerbo, uh, Notorious ability, which, look at that, look at that Kappa. It's adorable. <laughs> Buys a pot. Your item collection radius shall expand dramatically. Kappa can stretch their arms out as quickly take advantage of the fact to scoop up items. We got old big arm Natori. Okay. I think we're ready to go. Here we go. Holy shit. The stick sensitivity is fucking garbanzo beans. Well, I'm using D-pad. It is easy mode. Holy shit. Yeah, this is not adjusted correctly anymore. I don't know why, and I can't fix it on the fly, so we're just gonna become a D-pad gamer for a little bit. I did it, uh, 17 seemed to work fine, but 18 is just, it's, well. Which one's the card use button again? I think it was this one. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's the Rainbow ability from SA. Or the Yukari ability, I should say. Yeah, this is my favorite stage one theme. One of my favorite stage themes in general. I really, really like this one.
Look at that random scatter shot from Chirbo. Got one of each car, that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, I don't remember too much about the order of events for this game. I remember not being good at Takane's shit. Or Sanyos. Or Misamaru's. Or Tsukasa. Or Megamus. Or Shimada's. I was pretty good at Mike's. Hey, Mikey! Hey! Hmm. <laughs> I like Mike. Mike's pretty cool. You wonder? I wonder how Mike would have scaled on popularity contests if. She wasn't, uh, if she wasn't like the first character to be revealed for the game, because that gave her a lot of time to, you know, explode. Then the demo came out, and then Misamaru, Megumu, Shimada, and Sukasa, all, and Momoyo all came out, and well, well, we saw what Misamaru had to compete with. We saw what Sanyo had to compete with at that point. Oh. <laughs> Pop. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Sell me your card. What we got? Big Sun. Bumpa. Miracle Mallet. Blank card. Life card. Lucky Cat with good business skills. The variety of cards you can buy from Boss will increase. Um. Sure. I'll just buy that. I don't want to randomize the card choice because I have to close it and then open the random thingy. Also, if I roll a card I can't buy, I have to roll again and that's annoying. So I'm just going to roll extra money or a life piece or a bomb piece or something I can't buy. So I'm just going to pick the card. When you have, oh, when you have max the ability to pick whatever you want, it's better. But when I roll something I can't just buy because I don't have enough blood money to make up for it, it's, I'm just going to have to re-roll. And then I'm just going to roll into money and then it's not going to do anything. I don't really feel like playing through this game where all I get is, like, additional money or power. So I'll just pick the cards that I want to pick based on nothing but my, what I want. Oh, no! That's really bad. Now I wish I bought a life. Uh-oh. I'm using D-pad controls. I'm not used to this. Cut me some slack on that death. Also, I don't play as green Reimu. I play as a real Reimu. I don't know how this character works. She's she's too different. She's so incredibly different from Reimu that I just I cannot understand how she plays. It's taking I'm learning as I go. That's what it is. Ooh. Seriously, D-pad is very awkward for to use when you use control stick for the last two fucking years. But like, the dead zone is not adjusted properly. I'm holding straight up, right? Straight down. Now here's up, but a tiny tangent to the, like, the right. <laughs> tiny. Going left and right is impossible. It needs to be perfectly centered on the direction I want to go. Otherwise, I go on a fucking diagonal. Alright. Welcome to a military nuts wet dream. Or I suppose, given she's a Yamawaro, a dry dream. Hmm. Okay. Tell controls and Tuhu. Could you imagine? 
Mario Kart steering wheel. That would be crazy. I definitely played online with people who had that. In Mario Kart Wii, if you used the steering wheel, uh, you had a little icon next to your name. And if you... If, if more than 50% of your races were... Oh, whoops. Were played with the steering wheel, you got a gold steering wheel icon next to your name. Kind of insane, isn't it? How do you get good at that kind of control scheme? I got hit again. I can't dodge this. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. I can't dodge her final, I know that. This last attack is too much for me. Green Spiral. Yeah, I fucking hate this one. I feel like I should know how it works and then I get hit in the back anyway. Oh, thank God. Oh. I don't have any money or power. I can't buy that. That's well, fuzzy. Shanghai. Super fast movement. Gradually gain lives over time. You play one on this card. Every time you clear the stage, you get a life fragment. Oh, the fucking wolf is there too. Dude. Dude. They're both good. Oh. Do I become strong? This is Saki's card, not Kagurdo's card. Yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting this. Hold on, though. I have to take four drinks. I'm gonna use point oh one. Four drinks! One. Two. Hurry. Ah. Four. I declared thumb war. Looking like a thumb today, aren't we? If I use a continue, it doesn't really matter. I'm not trying to 1cc, I'm just playing the game. So I'll take the, the attack power. D-pad man, I swear to God. It's fucking weird. You don't believe me. I can't do this. Not with a D-pad. It's over. Game over, man. Game over. I don't know why the stick sensitivity hasn't been... I, I don't know why it isn't fixed anymore. I don't even know where the, the bin file is. It's not in the folder. I can't find it. Oh god, here we go. Mm. Pop! Get it by anything silly now. Don't need any silly repeats of what just happened there. Huh. You know, I can't think of any games that I really play on D-pad. I played, uh... You know Mario 64 DS? I played that entirely on D-pad. That game actually hurt my thumb to play. Because it's, you know, it's analog it's an analog intended game, and I'm playing it on a D-pad on the DS. Now I know what you're thinking. 
Oh, you're supposed to use the touch screen. Oh, I'm well fucking aware of what I was supposed to do according to the video game. Everything in the goddamn game told me that if I wanted to simulate uh, a, cir a, a joystick, I would need to use the touch screen. Who in their right fucking mind is running around with touchscreen controls in a, in a Mario platformer? Huh? You're, 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 you're serious? You're kidding, right? Pretty sure they have, there's, there's, there are now mods. There are now mods that let you, you know, that, that now basically one-to-one -one proper control stick support for the game. So you can play the 3DS, or the, the DS version with a uh, proper joystick support, which is great. Because as I said, I played it on hardware and the, the D-pad actually hurts your thumb after a while with how you're supposed to push into it to move it at like diagonals and shit. It, it's hard to play it in long uh, bursts. That was actually the first time I've ever played Mario 64 proper though. I never owned it as a kid. And Bowser's Life scared me so much that even when I borrowed it, I couldn't play it. So I, uh, the first time I ever truly played Mario 64 was the, th uh, the DS remake. And I enjoyed it. I liked that game. I don't know if that game is considered good or not, but I had fun with it, so that's all that matters to me. You can play as Joshi, and for some reason you can play as Wario. You don't want to play as Wario, but you can. Wario is basically just, you need metal caps, you pick Wario, otherwise he's a waste of a character, because he can't even jump as high as the other two, and he's not as fast. I'm gonna die to the final. That's what I have decided. Yep. Almost actually died to the final. Wario has Wario points? No, 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 but you see, Wario is legitimately useless to play as because he cannot wall jump. Wall jumping is Mario exclusive tech. He cannot jump higher than any of the other characters, so you can't even do some like stars with him. But he also is required for certain stars because only he can punch the big black block to break it. Like, come on, man. And if you need Wario, you just pick fucking Yoshi and then turn into Wario for the chapter. The only thing Yoshi can't do is punch. So Yoshi can pretty much get every star himself and just use the caps. But you just play as Mario anyway, unless you need the ability. I like this Miko card a lot. <laughs> She's just unperturbed. Look at her. Inner peace achieved. Uh, dragon pipe. Stock slowly increased. Life fragment appears when you capture spell card. When you're doing, you get to eat more lies. Yeah, I want that. I'll take that. Okay. Hold on, I gotta take two drinks because of the beginning of the goddamn stage. Hmm. Hmm. There we go. You do need, yeah, you need to get the, the rabbits for Wario. There's that. Speaking of that, like one of the last stars I got was the, the star in the locked room that you have to catch the glowing rabbits for because the glowing rabbits were just horse shit. Just some of the rabbits just were magically sparkly sometimes, and you had to grab them, and you had to get eight of them, and then you got one star out of it. Like, what? Who Who did that? Who thought that was a good star? Surely you could have thought of something better for your 150th star, dude. I didn't mind silver stars. I like the additional castle secrets, and I like the silver stars, and the, the star switches were kind of cool. They added a new little, uh, like a new objective in each level, which was neat. But find the eight glowing rabbits? Fuck off. Just fuck off. Die. Holy shit, die.
Yo, where'd all your power go, girl? Kill them! Jesus! Oh. Where'd my frogs go? Where'd my snakes go? Hmm. That's weird. They just weren't, they just didn't take any damage, man. They were fucking invincible. Got a bunch of regular old sundowners running around in this damn mine. If you don't remember you need to breathe, you don't need to breathe. Air is simply an illusion. You don't actually need it, but we've convinced ourselves we do. Do not listen to me, by the way. I am not speaking truths. I'm speaking anything but. Okay. I don't mean to be a bastard, but this Cherno card is so unbelievably fucking useless that it's almost it's almost impressive. Like who thought this was a good card? Oh, it puts one single crystal in front of you, and when you shoot, it scatters. Everywhere. And it does... chip damage. What?! <laughs> I heard the damage was bugged, and it does zero actual damage in the game? That sounds like a feature to me, not a bug. At least the art's good. Look at the art. I'd buy that card. Oh, here we go. Misamara wearing ring bullets as earrings. Ore from the Age of Gods. Why are you walking around barefoot in these mines anyway, you idiot? I'm using tilt controls. I'm using tilt controls. I'm using tilt controls. Her theme is actually quite good. This game has some good music, no doubt. Wow. I really like stage five and stage six stage theme. Stage six I like a lot. Uh, stage five I like more so now because of uh, consultant. Con consultant. Go, 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 go. It's a damn good song. <sighs> Lives are back. I didn't get hit, did I? I didn't think so. I'm good. Uh, Idle Defense Corps, Princess Kaguya's Secret Stash, produce a spell card when you get hit, Needle, Jizo, I'm getting the Jizo, fuck yeah, thank you meat for the 10 gifted subs, Good night. it's quarter to 8, oh shit, alright, 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 we got it, we're good, no problem, this is game 9 I think, of 16, oh jeez, oh no, 
I got one, four, six, 11, 13, 14, 16 left. I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of one mans. Well, I won't be drinking based on my life count anyway because I've already taken like seven drinks or some shit like that. I like how this level progresses. How it's you go you slowly ascend the mountain and it like the time of day changes. And by the end it's nice and sparkly. <laughs> I recognize this wood wind part from you know where. Nice. It's a shame Tsukasa has such a stupid outfit. That is like the one gripe I have. I mean, I also think she's a massive shitter, and those kind of characters aren't my kind of characters. But why does her outfit have to be so silly looking? God damn, man. These guys don't die, huh? Alright. Perhaps you would like to... Perish. Oh. What the... What? <laughs> now... <laughs> I say her outfit's stupid, but then I, I, I am... I, I am a Shimada fan. So... You know... I am not one to talk about silly outfits. <laughs> Shibata's outfit is so incredibly impractical. It might be the most impractical outfit in the entire series. I can't think of many, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of anyone who wears a more complicated and, like, needlessly complicated outfit in the entire series. Momoyo's ribbons definitely look hella annoying, but I wouldn't call it as bad as your entire outfit being full of zippers you have to attach like that. STICKY FINGERS! Good luck for people cosplaying. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Well, I mean, if you replace the zippers with just sewing, right, I'm sure the stitches will give the same impression. You just have to make a piece of- you just have to make a piece of uh, cloth from multicolored rags. You don't have to create zipper men. All right. How does Momoyo tie the ribbon on her arms? She's got very good fingers. She's got the finesse. Her outfit's pretty simple. I like her side though. The like the shoulder pad. Holding back is useless. Yeah. Yep. The opening of this track is a bit stanky, but it's a good kind of stanky. <laughs> Megan was pretty cool. She is one of the boss Tengu. She ranks higher than I uh, in Hat. I wonder if we'll see more of her, or if she'll just disappear into Tengu society again after these events. I feel like Tsukasa will probably show up somewhere down the line, behind something. But whether or not Megamu and Shimada are involved, is, we'll, we'll have to wait and see on that one. Silly snakes. Oh, I forgot about this part. one. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Oh, right, this one. Some of these are coming back to me a little bit. I guess this game is relatively fresh in my mind considering its release date. 
I remember more than I thought I would. I almost game over it on stage three, mind you, but we're doing okay now. Me and my big fucking mouth! Laser wheel? Yeah. That's gonna hit me. Wow. Stinky baseline. I'm not blinking. I'm not blinking until it's over. Ah! Oh! Oh! All right. The laser wheel looks cool, but it's stressful on high difficulties. I want to see it on Looney. I don't think I've ever seen gameplay of this on Looney. Smug. How can you be so smug after getting your ass kicked? It's uh, the theme for this game. Gluttonous centipede. The better you play, the uh, the stronger you get. That's pretty cool. Offering a sacred mountain auto collect line. Um, you know, I'm just taking the Miko card because I like the way it looks. Am I gonna use it? <laughs> no, but I like having it because she looks she looks adorable in that art. All right, hold. On, I have to. I gotta take a drink. Stage six. I really like this stage theme as well. Mm. What happened to Shimada? I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. What's she doing? She'll get involved in something. Maybe she she might have been able, she might have gotten involved in the petroleum incident if uh, if seventeen point five came up before eighteen. That seems like something she would probably try to do. But I don't really understand what God of the Marketplace means, so maybe she wouldn't. There are elements to her I don't really get, but I think I think her outfit is neat, and I think she is adorable. But she's one of those characters that I don't think I'm supposed to think is adorable, but I do anyway. So that's why I like her so much. I think it's just the pose. It's it's her pose. It makes her look like a dork. She also reminds me of you, Mamie. But if you made me was blue <laughs> and wore rainbow scraps. <laughs> wow. She showed up here, monologued in front of me, and then shot at me. What a character. There's the moon. It's coming, and it's looking particularly right. Oh no! Ay 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 ay! That's just not good. That's just that's just not good. Oh! I like this fairy. You can tell this fairy looked at Shimada and got some ideas. These ones too. <laughs> What an unnatural moon. Oh, I guess the moon is not right. Never mind. Look at her. Look at that pose. How am I supposed to take her seriously when she does that? I can't. I can't take her seriously. Dork. She has a fun name to say as well. I like I like saying her name. Shimada Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Battle. Whoa. Do I summon Miko at least once? I will. The only thing I don't like is that she has like two pseudo timeouts. I don't really like timeouts, let alone two of them.
I don't really understand that spell card is all. It's like a timeout and then she comes back and she's like, yeah, you're bored of this, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Just kill me or come back and let me kill you. God, this one is not at all what it starts out to be. Miko! I don't know what that did. Bullet market. Okay. It's only easy mode, don't worry. Miko! Huh? Oh. Oh, this is gonna be weird. It's kind of weird on easy mode. I'm not in the right spot anymore. I don't know where I am. Yeah, I don't know where I am. I don't know where the right spot is. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow when it gets faster and more chaotic It becomes easier to see where I'm expected to go But when it's like this I genuinely am unsure where the spot that wants me to be is Hmm on. And... The... I like the... I like the effect in her cape, but I'm gonna be real with you, whenever I look at it, I just think of that Microsoft, like, Windows 7 screensaver. You know the one? The one that's like a Yu-Gi-Oh! field card? You know the one, the grassy hill. It just looks like the cloudscape from that. So that's what I see. I mean, that's fine, nothing wrong with it. But that's just what I see. Dodge. 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 My one weakness, Rainbow Knives. Rainbow Knives! I'm calling Miko in a second. Let me call my, let me call my girl. It's like Jeopardy, million dollar question. I pressed the button, I swear I did. Thank you, Miko. God damn it! Now I have to drink more. Easy one credit clear. It wasn't easy one credit clear. Thank you, achievement. I can't believe Momoyo won this. I can't believe it. She won that that poll. That's crazy. You know what's even crazier? I don't have Jun propaganda. God damn it. There we go, that's all four. What do you mean? I don't know saying she's great. But I like Shimada more. <clears throat> I have I don't have a Jun. There's no Jun here. Oh wait, yes I do. <laughs>
up, or is it this one? <laughs> yeah, that looks correct. <laughs> In my mind, there is moon. Moon only in mind. <laughs> Space. Wow. All right. Well, this is the this is the Jun filter, I suppose. Playing the game. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I've entertained myself. Okay. Keep her there. I can't, I can't keep her there. Okay, I just, I gotta, I gotta, hold on, I just gotta pee, so. Let me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some, let me put some Jun propaganda on. The, um, uh, Jun theme. Here you go. Be right back, I just gotta pee real quick. Be right back. Sorry, I really liked that part of the song, so I wanted to I wanted to hear it before I rolled the next one. All right. <laughs> it really just went from 18 to 1. Okay. <laughs> Whatever you say. Uh Oh, I figured I figured out the problem. Chat, I had Joy to Key still open from the PC 98 games. That's why the control stick was so fucky. Oh, no. I solved it. I, I solved it. The D pad wasn't affected, but the control stick definitely was. It was like double inputting, basically, and it made it very strange. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Well, these things happen. Highly. Play me out, Johnny. Play me out. Well, Joy to Key's still open for this. Okay. 
So, as you can see, this is the version that Spaztron made that doesn't have flashing for the bomb. It is very, very fucking nice. So, I will not be drinking per bomb for this game, but because this game has a habit of killing me fast. But I am going to- oh, that was an accident. I'm on the wrong difficulty. Huh? Rainbow, where'd your head go? I don't know what that says. It doesn't matter what that says. Option, players, seven players. Rank easy. Music test. Shrine of the wind. Woo! Highly responsive. Chat, by the way, I'm going uh, Makai route, so can somebody tell me which option is Makai route? Is it top? Option or bottom option? I don't remember which option is which. I'm pretty sure Makai is the top one though. I like Sariel's stuff more than Kongura's stuff. That's all. That's that's just why I'm going that way. I don't have to roll character. Bum 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 bum. All right, ready? Go. Yeah. Alright, start the game. There you go. Woo. Thank you for the sub, Red. There's three years of this. So that's a pretty good thing to do for it. And, you know, I feel fine. I think the thing about Busy Person is because I managed to consume pretty much what I have consumed over the course of six hours in the course of two hours. <laughs> Which is not good. But, uh, my, you know, it's a lot more spaced out. So, I don't feel much, you know, I don't, I don't feel like I'm dying, Squirtle. Like, I feel fine. I'll be okay. I, I'm not gonna suffer any, uh, like, effects of this tomorrow. But I think I will still take a day off uh, of streaming, just in case. It's also, I'm also gonna be doing this for hours, so I could use the day. You know what that means, though, of course. It just means Left 4 Dead. That's all it means. Day off just means Left 4 Dead. Got it. How's my thumb doing? My thumb's getting kind of red. Video game time. I only have one bomb. You get more bombs when you uh, make bombs fall or get hit. Every time you uh, lose a life, you get a bomb. <laughs> I think I might reduce the life penalty to one drink for this game, by the way. <laughs> this game is prone to killing me. <laughs> it's gonna get bad. Okay. El Classico. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. See, Remo can swing her stick in PC98 and in Windows. It is it is my favorite thing that Remo does. There are a lot of things that Remo does. This one is my favorite. Now I have a bomb. And this is one of my favorite themes in the entire game, which apparently that's weird. I don't know why that's weird. This theme is fucking godlike. It's so good. I love the positive and the negative. I'm not even gonna get to the best part because I'm gonna kill him too fast. Damn it! Oh, I love that part. I love that theme. It's so good. Okay. Choose. Chat. Which one? Which one's Makai? It's it's Makai's Makai top. Thank thank you. Thank you. Okay. Look at that paper. Look at that Miko. Who is that character? It's it's Reimu. Don't worry. The manual confirms it is Reimu, even though Reimu is not called by Reimu in this game at all. The manual confirms her name is Reimu. <laughs> go, go, go! Hmm. 
No Mima. No, no, no three arm Mima. Whoosh. Oh, I accidentally did that. Whoops. I was mashing too hard. That was a bad bomb. Oh, no. There's a good theme as well. PC-98 has just has some good music. This game has a, a lot of really good tracks. Just for, out of nowhere. It's crazy. This game isn't bad, by the way. I, I wouldn't call this game bad. Story of Eastern Wonderland. <laughs> okay, I might call that one bad, but... This game is different, but not really in a bad way. It's pretty fucking difficult, though, if you don't know what you're doing. And it is also a breakout kind of game, so... Even if you do know what you're doing, it's hard. Hmm. Okay. Over the rainbow. No, no, get back here. No, get back here. No, get back here, please. No. Easy clap. All right, hold up. One drink. Ah. Ah. Stage nine. I'd say I'm already halfway there. There's a surprising amount of inputs you can do in this game, but they require double backing on your keyboard, so on a controller, it's... The window is a little tight. It's possible, I can do it, clearly, you can see that, but... This is, uh... You know, this game is not designed with X input in mind. Oh, you are a cheating asshole! I hate this guy. I hate this guy! You bet your ass I'm using bombs next level. Look at those stupid torpedoes. Please hit him. There we go. Like six lives in the span of 20 seconds. Motherfucker. Don't even do it, you bitch.
come on, get the, get the eyeball over there. Get him. Get him. Oh, he blinked. Come on. Was that two or three? Was that chat? With those? <laughs> I think that was three. Her hair color changed, or not her hair color, her ribbon does change, yep. It's now brown. Hip pee 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 you! My lives just glitched out. I can't believe I just got my ass handed to me by a bunch of fucking eyeballs. Pew. Pew. Kiku. Tai Kiku. Raymu can still do flash kicks and stuff current year, but I like this Raymu because Raymu can kick and swing and kick and swing. Oh. Come on, get over here. It wasn't one eyeball, though. It was five. They cheated. He fucking blinked and dodged my attack. How's that fair? Alright. Alright, Ellie. You gonna kick my ass like that guy? Some of the shit you're expected to dodge in this game is baloney. Oh, Kiku. Well, that really worked. Why is she exploding, dude? That better not hit me. That was my big toe. That was simply my big toe. enough drink <laughs> it's four one oh. bombs only deal damage to a boss if you're on your last age uh, your last life I don't really know why but that's how they work so you need to actually be able to beat the bosses <laughs> but you can cheese the rest of the game I will be right back. I have to get more drink. Be right back.
Hi. Me again. Oh, I forgot to remove the Juden filter. Okay. Okay, hold on. I got my drink. I gotta take one here. You know that, that Di Sirono I bought in preparation for Busy Person? And I opened it for today instead. How about that? Soon. Soon. Maybe. Hopefully. Possibly. Who knows? Uh... Hey, you pizza shit! There you go. Alright, works, we're good. <clears throat> Soon or Zoon? Good question. You know the answer. Wee wee wee! Hmm. Pew 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 Oh, fuck this. It's honestly incredible how well that worked. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's so good. Beep, 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 pew. Oh, close. Get one side first. Oh, one extra bomb. Okay. A thin wall divides us. Easy. Ba 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 boom. Ba 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 boom. Look how many lives you get from the points that drop from that shit, though. You just need to not royally fuck up a boss like I did, and you're good. Games as easy as one, two, three, easy. That seemed a bit unnecessary. You'd be correct. Look at that. No, I need that bomb. No! No, I'm not ready for this! No! It's okay, because she's really cool. Where'd my bomb go? Oh, you f No.
That's... Fuck you! Ugh. Wow. Ah! Five drinks. <clears throat> On the outside, I am Jun. On the inside, I am not Jun. Truly, society. <laughs> you can't watch the ending, even if it's just the world getting blown the fuck up. How can you say no to that smile? Hold on. Look at this. See? Smile. Just, just look at, just look at the smile, look at the smile, and nothing else. <laughs> little, 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 little smile. Turn that, turn that frown upside down. There you go, see? Smile. <laughs> undo, undo, undo! Whoa. She's double layered now, so her opacity has gotten stronger. Mess with one Jun and you get the swarm. Alright. June. Not even first place. I did. I did it though. Yes, you son of a bitch. Yes! Oh. Okay. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what's next. Fourteen! Okay. Fourteen it is. Boop. Toho fourteen! Double dealing character. I don't actually have a V-patch on this thingy majiggy. Or maybe I do, or maybe I don't, or maybe I don't, I do, maybe, no. Yes, I don't. I understand. Okay. Whoa, Jesus, why are there so many green outlines on your face, Remu? Okay, so there's six shot types in this game. If I Basically, if I roll an even number, I have to play without the gimmick, and if I roll an odd number, I get to play with the gimmick. So, one and six. It's two. Is that... That's fucking Remu B. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Aquamarine. Emwood. Whoopy. Hope Diamond? What kind of difficulty ratings are these? Could be worse. You're right. I could be playing as not Raymo. Raymo with her stick. Raymo without her stick. Alright. Traditional balance type. He lied as naturally as he breathed. Okay, ready to go. Joy to key is still open. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Rainbow without the stick looks weird. Yeah, a little bit. My favorite part about Rainbow with the stick is her wiggling it. It's fun to swing around. This is just, you know, it's just Rainbow. Like, the shot types in DDC is just... You can play with the cool game gimmick, or you can play without the cool game gimmick. That's it. What's the benefit of not playing with the cool game gimmick? The fuck if I know, dude. Fuck if I know. Turbo! Whoa! What are you doing here? I know why you're here. We're at the Misty Lake. She's just kind of here. And then she's gone. No bonus. Man. Fuck you, Luigi. I remember how this game works. Don't worry. Despite how I say I forget its existence a lot, I do remember how it works. I actually rather like its, uh, the way its life piece bomb piece gimmick works. I think it's cool. I just don't like the stage 5 gimmick because Sage turns my controller upside down, essentially, and I, I, I want to scream. I want to scream! You there! Look, it's a fish. Rewards you for being good. Yeah. No, it does. There's nothing wrong with the gimmick. For the gameplay. But the bot... I feel like 14 has some of the heaviest... The heavy-handedest gimmicks. Out of all the... Like, all the bosses. So to speak. Like, their gimmicks are very, very apparent. And some of them are more annoying than others. Dodge. Left. Dodge. Right. Two hops, two hops. Woo! Woo! I like fish. Fish is pretty cool. I don't know who I'd call the least popular of these three. I would say maybe it's fish. But I also feel like my I have a bias for Seki Bonki because Seki Bonki is she's got her own game now and it's really good. But like, I feel like when you see Kagero with anyone, it's this character here. So maybe that's just an extension of Kagero more than it is a her own character. I don't really know though. Paul says fish. Really? Is that so? I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, oh no, you were I thought you were saying fish was most popular. Okay, never mind. I understand now. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense to me. I mean she can't really do much without assistance, right? She's a mermaid, she's just chilling in the lake. If you want to do something with that character, you got to make people go to the lake. Seki Bonki can walk. She can also sass you. Kagero is a wolf girl, so no matter what her character is, she automatically receives bonus points for that. We just talked about how Momiji gets, uh, gets it. So it's not unsurprising that Kagero gets to benefit from some of the same special treatment. Get away from me! I don't know if An or Kyoko are that heavily, like, you know... I think that I like them. I like On and, and, and Kyoko, but I feel like Momiji and Kagero are the ones who get, like, the the wolf, the, uh, I guess not wolf, but like, the, the I guess canine? The canine ear approval kind of deal? Everybody loves cat ears. Fox ears. On and Kyoko have doogie ears, but then I guess so do, so does Momiji and Kagero, right? Right? I assume as much. But it seems like... It seems like the pecking order is like Momiji, Kagero, uh... And I don't know which one actually between... I don't know which one between Kagero or, or Kyoko or On. I want to say Kyoko just based on long levity. But I feel like On would be more popular if... Depending on... I, guess, I don't know. Her appearance rate, I suppose. 
Not to say Kyoko's bad at all. I like Kyoko. Alright. Hmm. Okay. There she is. Bonky. Bizarreness of the Rokurokubi. Dulahan under the willows. You know, I used to not care much about this character, but Kubanashi Recollection is a pretty damn good game, and it really does do a lot to put this character in a, in a, under a spotlight in many different ways. So I feel like, despite what this character lack of appearance is, she's gotten she's gotten more than most characters. I like the writing in that game quite a lot. I think it's quite nice. And I think it fits the character well enough to what we know about her. Kaseki Baki seems like a loner type of character. We know that she's sassy. She lives in the human village and she's sassy and not a lot of people approach her. So she's definitely the loner type. But then she does have her friends that she loves very much. And she is okay with just, you know, having a few friends. But it's not like she's a massive hard ass. She just doesn't know how to interact with people. Laser beams. Dunzo. Okay. Weren't there more heads on higher difficulties? <laughs> I feel, wait, I feel like the spell card is incredibly different on at least normal mode. Don't you have to deal with five different heads shooting shit at you? Hey, look, you can see her neck. I never noticed that. You can see her neck in that, uh, in her damage dart. She should appear in Lotus Eaters? I agree. Also, that emote of Naro's with the squishy monkey. I fucking love that emote. I like that emote a lot. <laughs> Every time I see it, I get a chuckle. It's so small. It's so squishy. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, this is a good theme. I like the I like the stage theme very much for this one. That's a light piece. Ooh, that was close. It's got some good guitar. I like it more than Kagudo's actual theme, and I can only say that because I'm drawing a complete blank on what Kagudo's theme sounds like. But I remember this theme. I did it the exact same thing. He for gore. I lost all of those accumulated... Okay, yeah, I lost all those bomb pieces, huh? Noted. So DDC, so only in 13 and 12 do you get to keep accumulate your resources for bombs, and then Zen decided that was enough was enough. Alright. I wouldn't call it greed, I just straight up forgot that it did that. <laughs> I wasn't even gonna get a bonus for doing it anyway. Oh, my ear is itchy. I need to scratch my ear. Yes. Yes. Bomb pieces don't matter. I'm looking for every fifth bomb piece becomes a life piece. I don't want to hold forward. I, I'm scared to hold forward. Okay.
Ooh. Nice. Oh. I don't think I've heard the Akatsuki Records mix of this one. I think it's a good stage scene, though. I don't know. I don't know which one I like more between this and Imperishable Night, though. Probably this one. Oh, chat! Look at the little boogie she does. You see that? <laughs> also, you can see the. Is that hair? Yeah, she's got hairy arms. Yeah, because she's affected by the full moon right now, isn't she? So, I guess her body hair grows. Her nails are huge, but you can see them on her wrists. You can see the... You can see the, the fur. Oh, jeez. I, I never noticed that. I just looked at her wrists and I was like, wait a minute. What is that? Yeah, look at the little, look at the little shake she does. Look at that. Shimmy shimmy. Alright. Oh, I remember this theme now. It's a good theme. She also awoos as part of her attack scheme. That's gonna count for something, right? Triangle Fang. Awoo. I am very bad at dodging her final, just so you know. So if I get hit, well... Wow. I forgot to do the item thingy. Oops. Strange roar. Awoo! Telephone! Phone's for you! It's Momiji on the line! I guess this qualifies as Hyper Voice, huh? Neat. You think Kyoko would have an attack like that? Well, I guess she kind of does. Kyoko's attacks are a cool gimmick. I like that gimmick. I guess I just like Kyoko. This is the one I cannot do. Ugh. Yeah, triangle strategy. Name pending. Actually, never mind. Not pending anymore. I humbly request that you fucking explode. Thank you. Thank you for exploding. Now there's hair all over her body. God, that has got to suck. Kyoko's gimmick is great. I have never died to her once, not ever. Well, I'll believe you. <laughs> I'm choosing to believe you. <laughs> I think it's a cool gimmick, honestly. I do. <laughs> this is a good theme as well. I really like this uh, Sukamo Sisters theme as well. This game has some damn good music. Not surprising that I say that about every fucking game. Like, yeah, you know, the music's really good. How about that? It's like, this hasn't been a thing since the first game or anything like that, you know. I like that you can see how they approach from the background. It's pretty cool. It's a cool stage. Cool effects. Woo. Where'd that come from? Neat. Oh. 
I don't remember who I have to fight. It's probably her, huh? Assuming because she's here. I don't actually remember how this works. enough, huh? You gotta go through a magical thunderstorm. Ooh. Oh, I, I see, I see, I got it. And that's a light piece. Okay. There we go. We're good, we're good, we're good. Magical Jolly. Who are you? Holy shit, look at her feet. Alright, well. This is why you think before you speak. But you know, okay, let me try that again. Her, her toes are just like bumps. Look at it. They're just fucking bumps. There's not even going on down there. Look at it. I bet hers are the same. She's got some baby fingers, dude. Look at that. Look. Look, you see how the enemy marker? Look at it. She's got a sprained ankle. Oh, no. Better get some ice on that, Yatsashi. That's no good. Yeah, illusionary jewelry. This is a good theme. Ben 10, baby. Ah, ta, 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 ta. Hmm. What is this? Wow. I almost got hit by it, so. Maybe I should shut my mouth. I can't wait to get hit again and watch my entire bomb count just deplete. It's just gonna fucking disappear. Whoa, ho oh, ho, whoa, what are you doing there, buddy? I'm gonna lose it to something. It'll either be here or it'll be in stage five. It's fucking screen flipper. Motherfucker. <laughs> Sparkling strings! Not the theme I expected to slap as hard as it did, but it certainly slaps. Ew. Oh god, they like shake in a weird way. Ew, this one seems awful on higher difficulties. <laughs> Ugh. Look how weird they fucking move, dude. Nice. Okay. Did I get hit? No, I didn't. Otherwise, I would have lost all my bombs. Uh, I'm good. You only have to fight this if you pick the, the bad shot type, though. Okay. Here we go. 
The shiny needle castle sinking in the air. Oh, right, I forgot. Everything's upside down. I now have maximum boom. Bomb ahead. Oh, God. Oh, this is this is not a good game to play right now. Oh. Oh. I'm good. I'm good, but holy shit. <laughs> Give me some of that freedom paradise. God, that theme is way too good. Way better than it has any right to be. I don't understand, man. Like, even the ghosty goos are upside down. What's going on in this goddamn castle? One more and I have max resources. I can brag about it to everyone. Ah! Not good. Look at this stupid little twirl she does when she moves. Stupid little bastard. This wasn't even the attack where she makes things difficult. I just fucked up. Die. What? What? <laughs> Why? Why she not die? That doesn't even make any goddamn sense. I had three power. <laughs> I just got disrespected. Ah. Oh, man. Oh, I hate it. Okay. Whoa, that happened. What? Who are you? Oh, I'll tell you who I am. Oh. Oh. Why does she... Dude, I hate the way she bends her hand. You see that? The way she bends her hand pisses me off. Oh, God. Ugh. Ow. Oh, I pulled my shoulder bone. Ah! 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 Uh, uh. <laughs> Why does her arm do that? What are you doing? Put your arm back the way it's supposed to be. Ah! All right, I'm gonna kick your ass. Come here. My old man parts. Oh. I fucking hurt. Oh. No more. This side down. I'm gonna hurl. Get 
If I don't ever use the direction she flips, she cannot get me with it. Whoa, her health bar looks weird for this. That's two hits. Oh. Was that once or twice? I don't even remember. I'm pretty sure it was two. I died twice. Yeah, I died twice in there. I got it. <laughs> Thank you, Mal, for the five gifted stuff. Jimmy, where are you? Okay. Ooh. I like this. I like this track. Let's just go take a propaganda. Huh. Whoa, bullet. Whoa, bullet. Whoa. Oh. The small one's big ambition. that was. I don't know what that was. As far as I was could see, there was nothing there. And then I got the... I got hit. Oh, get the hell out of here. You already lost. You see, the trick to this one is uh, where they go. Where they come... Where they're going is actually not where they're going at all. It's, it's, it's a trick. It is used to deceive you. Wait, fuck off. Go away. You lost. Beat it. I can do five lives. Okay. Stage set for battle. Who's there? Hello, Shimmy. Look how big she is, Jesus. Like she actually looks huge, even like relative to Reimu. Like if she stood up straight, she'd be about, about as tall, I suppose. Ah, uh, maybe a little bit shorter. She is malleted after all. She's wiggling her feet. Of course, her gimmick is attacking with the smallest, most irritating bullets ever. Micros before micros. Yeah. I don't mean to like push you or anything, but do you think maybe you could do just a little bit more damage? 
Just a smidgen more damage, please. Please! Hurt her more! God, please. Have I really gotten hit three times on this stage? There's just no way. There's just no way. swords, dude. The amount she throws increases! There's no- oh, there they are. It's so chunky. Man, I wish that riff was part of Freedom Paradise. I don't think Freedom Paradise, like, concludes. It doesn't conclude with that version, uh, like, that riff part, and it's really unfortunate it doesn't, because it's such a good closer. Attack on Dwarf! AOT was very, very powerful. Back in the day. Up on my thumb! Oh, right. I can't see this one. Now they're all wiggling their feet! This one is hard for me to see. I'm not sure if that's a me only thing, though. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that shit. This is my favorite ending theme, though. Oh, it's so nice. How many times did I get hit? I'm assuming twice, right? 
One, two. I have ingested four, four drink. Um, gameplay is not good enough where I have to drink to my life count. That's good. Holy shit, they tied her to chopsticks. But she looks really happy about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ending two, hitbox grows smaller. And that is what we like to call propaganda. Fiction. Fiction. Which button is it? This one. There we go. Well, okay, it was like the third game. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The punishment room. No! That circle is Jun brain loading. Money. When you think money. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what's next? Time to roll the dice. Roll the dice. Roll the dice. 18. 11! 11! Whoa, that's crazy. Damn. That's kind of insane. <coughs> Whoops. Okay. Hold on, I gotta pee. Be right back. I'm good. I forgot I muted my thingy. Uh, hold on. Hold on. 45, 35 is good. My neck is better, but I still definitely pulled something. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. All right. Okay. Uh, fairy class. That's me. Oh, fuck. Oh, the shot types in this game are so weird. Please be something, like, give me one. I, I, it didn't give me anything. It's broken. Hold on, I need to refresh. Between one and six. Two. I'll take two. I'll take two. Two is, is, is Sika. Wow, that's fitting. Okay. Alright. I can do that. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this game has some of my favorite music in it, so I'm looking forward to it. But it's probably going to be difficult, even on easy mode. Woo-woo. 
What do I have left? 4, 6, 13, and 16, huh? I think that's it? Uh... Yeah, five games left, including this one. Oh, Jesus. Uh... Yeah. Oh, I thought you were a rat. Alright. Alright, I was gonna ask if you were drunk or not, and I think I've got my answer. What? Well, no, I'm not- no, I looked at your sock and I was like, was that a fucking rat? It wasn't a rat. I thought it was a rat. They show up... a lot. First of all, we don't have rats, we have mice, thank you. Can't even hear a word. They get... ballsy, man. Rocks don't give anything good. Oh, that looked neat. Wow, look at that. Wow, that was kind of cool. The way they shoot their bullet is pretty sick. But, you know, doesn't really matter how they shoot it. What matters is how they hit me with it. Woo! 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 Alright, not bad. I I saw his sock. I thought it was a, I thought it was a mouse. Sometimes it runs out from under the couch, and I'm like, what the fuck? Listen, I got out of the shower yesterday, and it was just chilling in the bathroom with me. Like, it was just there. I was just looking at it. I was like, what? What are you doing? Why is it even there? Stupid bastard. All right, there's the potato spider. It's not so bad. I remember I did that boss rush thingy a little while back, so I got some uh I got some memory of what's going on here for the most part. Not for the stage portions, but the boss portions. I got on on lock. I'm gonna collect these light pieces. If I get hit here though, well. Remember the continue system for essay is <laughs> It's a little bit. It's a little bit poopy butt. Okay. Hold on. Farewell, EM. It's crazy how many life pieces you get in stage one because of Kasume. And then you go to Parsi, and Parsi gives you three. She's so greedy. Okay. Alright, I'm good. This is also one of my favorite stage themes. The bridge people no longer cross. It's very fitting for the game. It's got a, it's a good stank to it. Okay. Power's done. Parsi also has a really good theme. Green Eye Jealousy. I just don't really like Parsi as a character is all. Green-eyed monster. She also doesn't have a hitbox. That's pretty good information to learn. Ooh! <laughs> if I wanted to finish on time, I should have started earlier, but that would have required me getting up earlier, and the time I got up today was, uh... Uh... Still pretty questionable. So... I can endure the extra hours. What are we at? Seven hours in so far. Yuck! 9.20, and I got five games. So that's, you know, that's not so bad. That's only about going an hour, an hour and 20 minutes over, roughly, I think. I can do that. I can do that. I can survive that. There she is. Look at the bubble. She had, look, like, her aura. 
Oh god, that sounded stupid as shit. Like, like, you see how, like, around her, the air is, like, bubbling? Because it's like, you know, she's got that angry aura. The jealousy aura. I don't know, I thought it was neat. That's all. Don't pay no attention to me. She's not the only one that does that, I don't think. But I just thought it was neat. For a game intentionally filled with characters you're supposed to hate, I don't really hate them. But it's mostly their bullet patterns you're supposed to hate. Because they are all asshole. All of them! I don't know how to do this if you haven't figured it out. Please, please, please. Okay. Parse is the only character from this game I don't really care for. Well, I guess Koishi. I don't really care about Koishi either. But that's... I'm pretty alone on that one. Small bullets. Small bullet one. Small bullet one. I know this one. Sort of, anyway. This one gets crazy on higher difficulties, though. I think there's still a trick you can do for it. But there's, like, she fires six shots at once. Which is mostly just, you know, her showing off more than anything. Alright, now for stage three. So far, so good. It's okay, lasers are coming up. If anything's gonna make me drink, it's, it's this this bastard. Yugi's good at that. You know, when I first saw Yugi, it was, you know, after I'd seen Suika, of course, I was going to chronological order. I looked at her, uh, or like I heard about her to an extent, and I was like, oh, there's another Oni besides Suika. Oh, I bet she's cool. I bet she's involved in the game a lot, like Seika is, and she's really not. Yugi does not get as much screen time or love that Seika gets. But, well, what can you do? I'm not really a huge fan of her myself. I've warmed up to her over the years for sure. But I was definitely... I don't know. I guess she just didn't do anything for me. Even her skit in M1 with Suika. One of the weaker ones, in my opinion. Maybe it's because she just looks so poofy and, like, silly in this art. It's hard to take her seriously, but then you see fan art and you're like, oh, wait, she is, she's, like, six foot seven, 300 pounds of raw muscle. She could crush me with a bad look. You know, that kind of deal. But with, with like, with... Z I, it's, uh, Suika isn't even, like, Zun illustration is another thing, so that helps Suika a lot. But I feel like Zun's art doesn't really do the intimidation factor of an Oni justice. And he's never really done art specifically for the other two Oni. This is the only Oni he's ever really had art for. So, Yugi comes off to, as to me, as less intimidating than the other two. But I think that's just because Zun's art style is not in necessarily intimidating. It's, it's kind of just squishy. And Yugi isn't the kind of character I think of as squishy. She is far from squishy. You grind meat on those abs. Alright. Boosh. My Mount U will not be invisible today. I will be okay. And after this is my favorite stage theme. Certainly not my favorite stage to play. <laughs> Don't do it. Oh. Oh. Oh! The ring bullets are still there on easy mode, but they were invisible in the boss rush. So I could have crashed into them at any point. Well. 
I see. Not trying to die to shackles. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. That's a fine spot. That's a fine spot. The mount. Ooh. Ooh! Okay, it looks scary up top because you're not supposed to be there. I see, I get you, I see. Still kind of scary though. I remember this one. Oh! Ooh, what's the last one? God, this one's intimidating. She causes this entire spell card just by stomping her feet. That's how strong she is. Nice. There you go. <clears throat> oh! Yeah, the bubbles were invisible, so Yugi's Mount U was just nothing. And then I got hit by it twice, and I was like, what the fuck? Alright. This is going good. This is going good. Oh, right, I forgot. I have to fight Suika's spell cards. Alright, heartfelt fancy. Meow. God, it just feels right when Orin shows up and meows. Like, it feels like something's missing if you don't hear it in the music. This team could knock me out right now, I swear. I really think Sun should have used a different color than blue here, considering the point items look exactly the fucking same as the bullets you're dodging. Cat's back. See, this is better, because it's green. I can very clearly tell what is and is not a point item. Will it prevent me from getting hit? Oh, stay tuned. God, it's amazing how, like thinned out these talismans are on this difficulty. Wow. Oh, we're not done. Okay. Whoa! Alright. Hold on. Alright. See, everyone's got that bubble. Look at that booble. Look at that shake. I, I don't really pay attention to these characters, huh? I guess I also don't stop to pause to look at them. She shakes! Why is she shaking? Is she antsy? Got ants in her pants? Alright. Not bad, not bad. Teddy bear souvenir!
interesting name for that one. I don't quite understand it. That is also one of Tori's few actual spell cards. It's the only one she uses in this game, but she does have a few from Double Spoiler. I like Brain Fingerprint. That one's sick. And the rest of her attacks are just... Oh, God! All right. That looks scarier than it was. Her health bar is now blue. Dabba dee, dabba doo. Okay. Night parade of a million demons. This is one of her Seika spell cards from Shoot the Bullet, isn't it? I seem to recall, well, I mean, I know the next one is. <laughs> the next one is, but this one, I remember Seika's second spell card was much easier than her other one, which would be this one now. Deep Fog Lambert. I fucking hate this one. Oh, we're going counterclockwise. She doesn't stop, but she does take damage because she can't truly replicate Seika's ability to turn to mist. So it's still her in there. I feel like Seika only stops her onslaught because she has to, because the rules say so. Of course, Seika is also the character who suplexes you three times in a super move. So, she plays by the rules, but I think her ver her rule book is a little bit, uh, how you say, dated? Fine by me. In Seika's mind, throwing black holes, breathing fire, eating boulders, and then suplexing your opponent is fair game. That's why she's in the fighting games and not in the spell card games. I figured it was the final scene. I, I remember Seika's second... Her first spell card is three... Er, it's three shots you have to do. It's that one I just did. And the last one... The last one I did was super easy comparatively. I did it so quickly. Alright. Time for another fantastic stage theme. Whoa. Back up, Jack. Wow. How does he do it? Okay. Some people will say this theme is unfitting, but I've said my piece on this before. I think this theme is incredibly fitting. This theme fits the idea of an abandoned deserted hell, which is the name lullaby of a deserted hell. And then Utsu's theme is a reminder that even though it is abandoned, it is still hell. Oren's theme is definitely a bit cheery though. It is a bit cheery. I guess the I guess the idea is, you know, hell is abandoned and it's a somber place, but it's okay because everybody who's still here is having fun. So they don't mind. So they stay positive. Wow. I'm not really, you know, I'm not a music junkie. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you music theory or anything like that. This is just what I think when I think of the music associated with these locations because this is like one of the few areas that I can kind of do that for only because I feel like it is the way it is. I, it is the only explanation I have for this area and I think it fits so I like it. So I pedal it. That's all. In defense of this track that I like. That's all. Popcorn. I just like Essay's music for the most part, I suppose. Maybe I'm reading too heavily into it. You know when you, you, you read a book in English class and the teacher's like, what, the, what did the author mean when he said this? Uh, I don't know. Probably didn't mean much of anything. <laughs> You know? Like sometimes people read a bit too heavily into the things they like. Sometimes it's okay for things to be stupid. 
for the sake of being stupid. It's not like every single thing I've ever written in my life has had to have a deeper meaning to it. Sometimes I just want to write something silly. Pew, 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 pew. And Zen has music comments. So you, you can check out his thoughts on all the music he puts in the stages if you're curious on that kind of thing. Uh, oh, I'm good. I'm good. I don't know why that word was, was caught. Uh, what? What? What in the god dang? Whatever. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay. Here we go. Meow. Here comes the, the girl with four ears. Holy shit. Four ears. Gotta call her foreign. Wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Oops, that's actually a word. Oh well. This is also a great theme, but I am not happy when I fight this boss. This boss is infuriating. Boom. The bullets can't spawn on you. I remember that. Okay. Spleen eater. Wowza. Okay. Okay! So far, I'm doing great. Doing swell. Doing fantastic. That's all. Next. Next. Hellfire Mantle. To be honest, I kind of thought this game would go really poorly. Well. It's not over yet. It can still go poorly. But, well, somehow I feel in my heart of heart that I will be okay. I will do just fine. And if I perfect this, and I can just drink my life's worth of alcohol. Yep, that's a good idea. I'll get my just desserts regardless. Oh, thank you, Orin. You saved my life.
Gotta do the bow app. The the bow app. Never forget the bow app. There's always a bigger fish. Okay. Whoa. Uh, all right. Time to boogie. I don't want to get hit by that because I feel like I'd never live it down. Hmm. Nuclear fusion. Whoa. I miss the hitboxes that I could see. My fingers are getting tired. <laughs> Come on. Pick up the pace. I like that the lowercase J in her name is just a long lowercase I. Oh, that would have been bad. Surely that won't happen again. Whoa. Come back, please. Hmm. Whoa, back up, Jack. Okay. I feel my heart. It is burning. It feels very warm. It's not like, it's not painful though. It's like a weird level of warmth to it. What's that mean? Is this it for me? Am I done?
Nice. That's it for me. I'm done for. Goodbye. There you go. Uh, who do I have for this game again? This, yeah, you. Yeah. Uh, I had max lives. I didn't get hit or bomb. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna drink my alcohol now. Holy shit, bird is huge. I mean, I knew this already. Oh, Seek is there. She's not that big. Well, uh, a little bit. I know Seek is not big. Don't worry. She's, she is. She is small. What an idiot. All right. All clear. Nice. <laughs> All right. That was. What was that? That was eight, right? Uh, eight lives? That's eight lives, right? Nine? Did I have nine total? I mean, I got every single life piece, right? Um, okay, well, let's just go for an even ten, I suppose. There we go! Wow. Ah! Nice. Good job, me. It's pretty good. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. Not lame. June. That's good. I like that. Okay. Alright, turn the Jun filter off. Alright, that's another one. Uh, what's next? Drumroll, please. Three? No. Six! Six! Uh, e o s d. I can do, I, I can do this. I can do this, Mrs. Buff! What do you mean you're checking for updates? What do you mean more being downloaded? Start the fucking game! Fuck you! <laughs> Start! Oh my god. What are you doing? What are you looking for? What do you, what do you mean being downloaded, dude? This game is older than me! Well, almost. What? What do you mean, TH Crab Old 2021-219? What do you mean, error? Oh, God. Oh, I have no idea what just happened. Oh, that's not good. That is simply not good. Okay, uh, well. Game works, so I'll take it, right? Okay. Holy sound effects. Bomb. Slow. Pause. Skip. Okay. Mmm. <clears throat> uh, okay. Who am I playing as? Uh, hold on. Wrong guy. Four. Alright, randomize. Four is the correct answer. That's Marissa B. Okay, no Remy. <coughs> In the interest of time, I'm gonna just go with easy mode. Wow, no, wait. I've done this before. Oh, I've done this for fucking hours of my life! Oh, I gotta do it again! Well, this time I can graze things, so I don't care that much. I'm allowed to graze. Oh, 
I am genuinely impressed on how many resources it takes to beat this game without grazing a bullet. Genuinely impressed. How... How hard could I tell the game no? Apparently, I was able to tell it hard enough. But holy shit, I will never do that again. I don't even think it's possible in any other games. I've thought about it, but nothing comes to mind for it. Aside from IN, which has already been proven to be done anyway. That was the first time in my life I've ever seriously routed something. That, that's, that is, that is, that is truth. That is 100% a truth. I had notes and everything. I practiced every individual section with the same resources that I would have at that specific point to figure out how it would work. I changed the route many times over. And all for what? What did I do it for? I don't know. But it hit 100,000 views, so... <laughs> I'll call that a victory. <laughs> I will call that a victory. I still have the VOD. But it's, uh, I mean, I have the VOD uploaded, anyway. Hmm. Okay. Look, it's a weirdo. I'll say what you want about Ruma, but I like her. Even if she is weird. Man, I really don't like Marissa B. The way the lasers work are just irritating, but her bomb was the obvious choice. And since the hitbox on Rainbow and Marissa are, are the same, there was no reason not to take the better bomb. It was genuinely shocking to me how difficult it was to get by Chirbo. You know what's funny? The first time I did this stage as a test run, I got zero grays on it, and I was like, sick, that was easy. And then stage one became one of the worst stages in the entire fucking game as soon as I actually did real runs because sometimes Rumia can just... Sometimes Rumia can just throw something at you and you can't do anything about it. It was really difficult. I mean, I made a video on this, so I'm just reiterating what was on that video because I made that video, so my opinions probably reflect the opinions that I stated in the video. Funny how that works, huh? I missed the big P. On easy mode, you can get up to two extra lives from the 20,000 mark, or 20 million. Uh, so, I get eight lives total, essentially, which is fine. I have n n zero fear that anything on easy mode is going to hit me in this game. That was not a fear in, at all, at any point. I was more afraid of getting close to a bullet than I was actually hitting a bullet. I don't think a single run was actually ended by me accidentally getting hit. I mean, to be fair, it would have counted as crazy before it actually registered as a hit anyway, but you get what I mean. At no point was I like, oh, if this hits me, I'm done for. It was just like, oh, that bullet came relatively close to my invisible hitbox, and it counted as a single, like, point. I, I can't recover from this. I will never financially recover from this. Alright. This really isn't bad though. The stage is fine. The stage is filler content. Rumi is a pain in the ass. Chirno's stage is filler. And then Chirno herself was a pain in the ass too. There were very little leeway in my route for that I could do. There was actually some leeway, but it was very luck dependent. You could, you can time out Emerald Megalith without grazing it, if you can believe that. But I got that once in 30 attempts, so, you know. Cheerbo. Cheerbo! El Clasico. And this is undodgeable. 
for Graze. I had to use three fucking Master Sparks to get through this non without grazing. <laughs> like, what? That was unexpected, to say the least. Those hip- the laser hitboxes for grazing are fucking massive, dude. Massive. You're just not getting around them. Goodbye, Chirbo. You tried your best. Mmm. Mmm. Good night. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, that ER, that SA run went very well, yeah. I'm honestly surprised. I was expecting that one to go very poorly. Because <laughs> it's a hard game. But I, I did it. So, that's nice. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> This is a good theme. We're on the lake shore, because apparently in this game, EOSD was located on an island in the middle of the Misty Lake, but that doesn't seem to be the case anymore, or if it was the case at all. I honestly don't know. It doesn't make a lot of sense. It's just kind of how it is. You just gotta have to accept that that's how it is. Sorry, piss off, ghost. Yeah, see how I graze that? That doesn't matter at all, but if I was doing a no-graze run, I would be fuming right now. Because that did not graze me. Although I have no idea, maybe it did graze me. Obviously it did graze me because it had the graze counter went up. But you get what I mean when I say how fucking frustrating it is that you have no idea where in the goddamn you can be to not graze a fucking bullet! Look at this! What?! Oh, that one, that one was fine, I suppose. Patchy's lasers are fucking awful for that. You can't not graze that. It's impossible. I tried. Trust me. Everything you think maybe you could graze, I tried. I tried it all! The most amazing thing about that is I spent almost a month trying to get the attempt on my own. And then I streamed it and got it. <laughs> oh, that was a... That was a... That was a moment. So are these trees... Chat, are those trees... I'm not sure I believe you if you tell me they're trees, but I don't know what else you could call them. I simply have no idea. Oh, 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 oh. No grays. Not bad. They're Vectorman? Yo, that's a sick game though. Let me tell you that. Vectorman 1 and 2, I actually beat the second one first. It was on the Sonic Gems collection and I played it and the first one was really hard and I, just, I was like, fuck this game. And then I played the second one and I like really got into it and then I got really far and then I beat it. And I was like, I'll give Vectorman 1 a try and then I went back and played that one I beat that one too. Like I was, I wasn't expecting to enjoy that game as much as I did, but I beat both of them. Vectorman's pretty sick. I don't remember much about the game at all. I just remember the first game is about, like, robots, and the second game is about giant boogs. I played it, yeah, I played it on the Sonic Gems collection. Sonic Gems collection was like, yo, check out these three games and all this filler content. Like Sonic the Fighters, Sonic R, Sonic CD, which was pretty sick. It was like Sonic Triple Trouble, Sonic 2 for fucking like Genesis or Saturn or whatever what that little low grade one was. Tails Sky Adventure, Tails Adventure. The gallery was cool, but then you had Vectorman 1 and 2 in there, and they were actually like sick fucking games. Kind of like how Sonic Mega Collection had Flicky and uh, Rystar. I didn't really get into Rystar. You gotta play every game 50 times and you can play Rystar. But it also had Sonic 3 and Knuckles, which I played a fuck ton, because that was just a good ass game. Sonic and Knuckles and Sonic and 3 together as one game makes for a very good game. Who would have thought, right? The only thing is that if you play the combined version, 
You can only carry over your save data from save data that was created in Sonic 3 before you unlocked it. Also, you don't fight the final boss in Sonic 3 in Sonic 3 and Knuckles. You fight the tower totem thing and then it goes down and then you go to Mushroom Forest. You don't fight the grabby grappler robot with the spiky head. I just played Sonic Fighters and Sonic R. I didn't play much of Sonic Fighters. I played a fuck ton of Sonic R and I did beat Sonic CD. I beat it for the gallery. Like, that's, that was my main motivation for beating it was to get the gallery unlock. You get the cool promo art with uh, Sonk and Mecha Sonk. It's pretty sick. <laughs> Sonic R kind of rules I will die on this hill. Well, I will die right there with you because I don't hate that game. I understand that that game is deeply flawed and really silly, but if I if I told you that I didn't have fun, like um, like an insane amount of fun with it, I'd be lying to you. I really I really enjoyed that game for some reason, and I don't know why. It was really really silly. Ten grossly like unbalanced characters. Well, eleven with Super Sonic. Five courses. <laughs> Just, dude. <laughs> An idea was there, but, well. I do find it kind of funny that it was one of the games that Gems Collection advertised really hard. Like, that was one of the best games on the collection, in their opinion. Which makes me laugh, but I, as I said, I, I fucking love that game for some reason, so I can't even be like, yeah. <laughs> I liked Sonic the Fighters, it was goofy. Bean the Dynamite, Bark the Polar Bear, that eight Chaos Emerald. Where's that damn eighth Chaos Emerald? Oh, there was a, there was a little devil there. She's gone now. I'll miss her. So these lasers, that's grazing. Look at that, do you see that? That's grazing. You have any idea how fucking infuriating this section was every single time I played it, if something went wrong? Unbelievable. You had to use a bomb. It was, oh, that's grazing. It was possible to do this section without a bomb, but <laughs> yeah, right. Like it was ever gonna fucking happen. So I just didn't even, I didn't even humor it. I tried it once, realized that it was not going to work ever again. But it did work in practice, so I had to at least try. I forgot. amazing how high your score goes when you don't bomb every spell card. Wow, that's a lot of books. Bang the sniper, yeah. I didn't think he was that cool. He had a pop gun. He was annoying. Pop, pop, pop. What's the Chaos Emerald taste like? I imagine it tastes like, like, uh, like, uh, what are those called? Jolly, Jolly Rogers or something? You know, those candies? I'm sure it tastes like that. Forbidden candy. Maybe it tastes like a Flintstones gummy. It has the same powers, after all. I love Patchy's theme. I liked Patchy in CDS. Patchy has always been a character I assumed is like, you know, she always seems irritable or tired, but She's definitely sassy, but she she was very sassy with a big old smile on her face, which really caught me off guard. <laughs> so, I appreciate her sassy nature, but she also I guess she is uh, she does put up with Remy's shenanigans a lot. So it's nice to see that she does you know she fucks around like that. But like the fighting games kind of put her in a in a kind of attitude that makes you think she never smiles. But I, it was pretty 
pretty wild to see her greet Satori the way she did with a big old grin on her face, but also give her not all the business. Man, this spell card is poopy butts on higher difficulties. Nice. <clears throat> Jolly Ranchers. Oh, yeah. I think we call them Lifesavers up here. Unless that's a different candy entirely, but I'm pretty sure it's the same. Like, same idea. This is Toho Ko Wakuma. It's a game where everybody is quack. Duck. Ducksu. Oh. I don't remember my route for this uh, stage anyway, so it's fine. <clears throat> Oh, I remember this part, though. Cleaning, cleaning is so fun. There she is. With her goofy-ass face. The main reason I skipped Sakuya was because of this spell card. It's just, I, no. <laughs> it's not possible to not grace. So guess who keeps getting misdirected? There you go. Washington Convention. Wait a minute, what? What is... What? What is... What? What is... Why does Marissa know what, what that even is? What the... What? What's a California? Oh, that hit me. That's some shit. Alright. The pressure is now off. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Oh, I might be able to get the extra life from 40, uh, 40 million from this if I cap everything. I think. Possibly. Genuinely unsure. Hmm. Sometimes doing enough damage is based on whether or not Marissa's laser is active. Which is really a cool thing to plan around, considering how it works. Uh, I don't remember what this even is. I bombed all of them. Her nons, I had to do the bell cards. I just pressed the bomb button, because grazing them was very easy to do by accident. 
I could get around one or two of them. Oh, that was close. Knife hitboxes in this game are silly, if you didn't know. Oh, that was my own fault. I'm gonna get an extra life here, and it's gonna make me have to drink one more drink. God damn it. Whoa. I hate this. Make it end. No, I don't want to do this anymore, dude. Stop! Oh, I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it! Alright. So that's four drinks from two lives lost. And then plus seven for the lives. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright. Really? Bye. Okay, one. Here we go. All eleven coming up. What? Wow! Holy shit! Ah! Project Shrine Maiden. That's her, right there. You can see her. Jun may not be here, but she's always close to our hearts. So now we have three games left, huh? Four, 13, and 16. Ant. Bang. Dude, my left ear just does not get to enjoy the sound effects. I don't know if it's because something's going on or if it's because my left ear is plugged up. Probably a little bit of both, to be honest with you. Okay. 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 Two, twelve, seventeen, fifteen, fourteen, eighteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Hoi. There's th three games left. If I did nine and three, for I don't even know if nine will run properly. Uh, but it would take a while, and I'm already. I'm on. <laughs> I've been live for eight hours. Uh. <laughs> okay. So I, I I put three and nine on the back burner because they're a little bit special. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Just do them later, of course. Easy. All right, so let me see. Um, uh, so one and four for the character. It's Reimu, and one and four for the shot type. It's two. So whatever the second option for Reimu is. Option one is spring. Reimu summer. Okay. Reimu summer it is. Am I on the right difficulty? Yeah. 
A midsummer day beyond the morning mist. Eternity has one of my favorite boss themes. Probably my favorite stage one boss theme as well. Do I like this game? To be honest, I'm unsure. When I think about this game, I think it's a pretty solid game. But then I think about the stage five and I realize that I don't want to play this game, like instantly. That is the only thing I need to think about when I think about this game to immediately turn me off from playing it. Goodbye. Now that I think about it, isn't this the exact same, like, isn't this the same, like, background that's used in 18 stage one, but 18 stage one uses like a rain filter? <laughs> I'm not, like, you know, that, I'm not crazy, right? They're definitely similar, but are they exactly the same? Hmm. I, I do not like duo fights, and I do not like either of my or Satono's attacks. And you put them both together, and it just it's just a recipe for fuck off. That's what it is. I, I get so upset when I get hit by their attacks because I cannot stand them. They are so frustrating. They have a good theme though. Okay. Sure is hot. Alright. Hmm. Summer final. It's fine. I'm using the Cheerbo. I use the... Oh, this is a good theme. The Cheerbo sub. Midsummer Fairy Stream. This theme is so different. But it's different in a way that I really like. It's coming right for us! Oh shit, watch out, watch out, watch out! Oh shit! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Ah! Hmm. I think Eternity is pretty cool. As far as stage one bosses go, she's definitely very fascinating. Like, in canon. There seems to be a lot more to her than, like, is being led on to. And we've, but we've seen, like, teasers and hints as to her, like, her strength, which I think is neat. Not counting Yuko, of course, because Yuko is cheating. She's probably the strongest, mo like, more in most interesting in canon stage one boss. Like, Rumia, I like Rumia. Rumia doesn't really do anything. Letty exists, I guess. Riggle exists. Uh, the Aki sisters exist. Yam and Kasume exist. Uh, Nazarin. Well, I don't want to say Nazarin isn't interesting, but Nazarin kind of is kind of like a sideline character, I suppose. She's not really at the forefront of the Myoden group, because she's not really directly affiliated with them, but she is at the same time, if you get what I mean. I don't think I'm explaining myself well here at all. And you have um, Wagasaki Hime. And then you have Satan, Eternity, uh, Ebisu, and Mike. Hmm. She's a funny rat, so she is relevant. <laughs> Fair enough. But you get my point, right? Like, when you think of the Myoden crew, I definitely think about Nazrin, but I don't think of her before I think of Ichiden, Murasa, and Sho. Because, like, she's, uh, she's basically a disciple. She's a disciple of Bishamotan, sent down by Bishamotan to keep an eye on Sho. So, Sho is technically her master because she's an avatar of Bishamotan, but at the same time, her role is to keep an eye on her by the one who gave Sho that role in the first place. So, Nazarin has a little bit of a sass streak to her towards Sho, but, you know, she still respects her as her master. But the relationship isn't as, like... You know, it's not as, I suppose, cut and dry as, like, the, like, Reisen or Eden or Yomu and Yiko, that kind of deal. You know, it feels like in canon, it feels like in canon, Nazarin can get away with saying a little bit more to show. 
maybe because the show is just more passive. But at the same time, that argument doesn't really hold water because it's not like they ever interact in canon in a place we can see. So then it falls back onto Fanon anyway, which Fanon can do whatever the fuck it wants with uh, with how the servants treat the masters. It depends on the tone of the work, if it's comedic or if it's serious, right? Oh, I just uh, didn't realize I was at the boss. Long story short, rat funny. That's all. She's pretty funny. I like her. I'll give her a Nazarene out of 10. Hmm. I don't know if this shot type is good. I feel like it isn't because it's so spread out. But the damage it actually dishes out is not good either. But I don't play this game on high difficulties. So it's doing just fine for me as is. Hmm. Hmm. Like, it's just, it's a really weak shot, and it's super spread out. Reminds me of classic wide shots, but it might even be weaker than that. Probably is. So imagine Cherno with it. Oh. Rainbow homing with this is, you know. The short answer is we're trying. Uh, why does she just drop an extra bomb piece? Weird. There's only six seconds left on that, okay. Show us like a kindergarten teacher and Nathan like an office worker one bad day from snapping. <laughs> just about fed up. Just imagine her like just you know, imagine the Nazrin that we have as an emote, but she's wearing that shirt that's like, don't piss me off. I'm uh, you look like just enough EXP for me to level up. You know that, like that shirt? Like, give her one of those extremely edgy shirts, but put it on that big stupid smile. No, I don't, I don't, I don't see Nazarene as like a tired worker. She definitely does her job, but it seems like she just likes looking for stuff. She's a treasure hunter. I like the idea of her being sassy, but I like the idea of her being more of a treasure hunter than anything. Akio pretty much confirms she has an attitude. Like, if you want to ask Nazarin for help, you need to coerce her in a way that, in a way that makes her feel like she's doing it because she wants to, not because you asked her. You kind of have to goad her into it. Kind of like how the fairies goad Chirdo into do it, going along with their shit. You just gotta, you just gotta use the right words. She's got a big attitude, but she's very quick to flee. These are Aku's words, by the way. Hmm. <laughs> I'm close to power 4.0 and you look like just enough P. That's, <laughs> that's a good one. I like that one. <laughs> what do you think the characters do with all that accumulated power? Do you think they store it for the winter? Or do they just let it go? Lily! I knew Lily was coming. Lily looks cleaner. She she has a new do. It's been a while, Lily. How you been? Goodbye, Lily. Thank you, Lily. Hmm. Still no portrait. It'll come. All good things come in time. Woo. Crunchy. 
Lily is recurring. Lily only has one, like, one simple job, so she's pretty easy to slot in whenever Spring is involved, right? Hmm. <clears throat> Lily White and Lily Black are in BOFE. Police Lily. Lily's on the job. There she is. Aw, oh, yeah! <laughs> she has a silly outfit, too. Hmm. Here's my here's my game idea. It's there's an evil organization, and all of the all of the different roles are just done by Lily. So Lily White is works every single job within the organization, and then when you get to the end and you find the boss, it's just should. That's it. That's my game. No plot, no substance, just just those two. Lily is every single character in the entire game except for the end when it's not it's not Lily. That's the twist. I have now spoiled the game for you, sorry. That's just how she be. Every time spring comes, a new Lily is born. And they've just conglomerated to create an organization. Lilico. Wait, that's that's a place in Pokemon. Oh, now I see. So that's where Lily migrates to while she waits for spring. It makes sense now. Wait, what? No. Oh. Solitary, ah, uh, um, ah, uh, uh. Mm. Alright. Alright, here we go. Aw, oh, yeah. Illusionary White Traveler. Hang in there, chat. We have two games left after this, and one of them only has five stages. <laughs> Which one's gonna be last? Four or thirteen? Oh god. An's outfit looks very breezy. Which, that seems pretty nice, I suppose. I don't know if a breezy is considered a good thing or not. And your breezy short shorts! I don't remember where that line comes from. Oh, it's from Futurama. It's from Futurama. It's from the, the Christmas episode where they go up to the planet Santa's from. And the elves are wearing uh, short shorts. Alright, I remembered. I haven't watched Futurama in a long time, but I remembered that. Hmm. The only thing I do on my Discord is ask people to play Left 4 Dead 2, by the way, so... You have been warned. <laughs> you have been warned! Oh. Shit. We're not playing after the stream, by the way. That's not happening. Uh, when the stream is over, uh, I think I'm probably gonna... Eat... Maybe. And then go to bed. That seems like a good idea to me. Hmm. A drunk left for dead wouldn't be great because I would just not be able to aim at anything. And if a charger hits me, I would just be too busy laughing at it to ask for help. I just, I have a problem. Alright, I have a problem. That guy's too fucking funny. If I am inebriated and he hits me, I I'm just gonna laugh, dude. 
That's just it. He's just gonna, he's just beating my meat. That's it. Consider me pulp tenderized, smack bedoodled. All the good shit, all the funny words. Hmm. Client I can aim anyway? Hello? I'm a good shot. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? I'm on controller and I'm a better shot than some... You can get on my ass about my aim. Unbelievable. I don't see you with gold medals in survival. You're playing aim assist? What?! no aim assist on controller? What the fuck? No, it doesn't have aim assist. How would aim assist even work? Wouldn't it just grab your reticle and force it on position? That sounds infuriating. I aim my shots, thank you very much. I don't have an aim bot. I just know where to shoot to get headshots on most of the infected. I'm very good at hitting the charger in the right spot. Because I know where his head leans when he charges. I can adjust my aim accordingly. Also, the jockey and the hunter are pretty easy to hit while you're crouching because you're pretty much leveled in their head anyway. I can't hit the spitter in the head, I just fucking open fire on its body. And the boomer, who gives a shit, it's the boomer. Oh, I don't know how to do this one. machine gun, but sometimes you don't get a chance to aim. Ugh. Mm. Oh, wow. Stage five. I know what mod you're talking about. Yeah, the, the Joel Jockey. There's a Germa Boomer, but it's not as good as I wanted it to be. The Eggman Boomer is just fine. Coming up on the finale. I enjoy the rat one, yeah. I like the Fumo Meg kit, but I wish it played Neko Miko Reimu when I heal with it. Maybe it doesn't, I'm just not even aware of that. But that would be great. That'd be pretty swell if it did that. Oh boy, here we go. Just looks like she's gonna fall over because her balance sucks. Mm. It's funny though. 
Because, like, you know, those characters will never ever show up in anything because no one really knows how to use them. But then, uh, Yoriyomi, uh, Yoriyomi Dancer uses them perfectly because it's a game about dancing, so they fit right in. That's, like, the only game I can think of that really uses those characters. It's a damn good game, too. It's just relatively short. It's coming. English soon. Pog Champion. Right? Right? <laughs> Surely. One day. <sighs> English Dreamers, yeah. Someday. Really want to play that game again, but when I can read it. Oishi Teru! Nekomi Goremu! Crazy backup dancers. Crazy Ambugar! Crazy Ambugar! <laughs> it's a good theme, I just hate these characters. Tanabara! Wow, this one sucks. Father, I crave violence! Thank you, Cherno. Behind Festival. This might be one of the worst spell cards in the entire game. Well, actually, what I meant to say was entire series. It's just, it's just bad. It's just bad. That's it. No two ways about it. Tengu Odoshi! No, I am not doing stage six. It is absolute garbage. That was close. The rules of engagement state that if I kill one of you, you both lose. That didn't hit me. I hate you. I hate you! I hate you! Oh, even on easy mode! Yeah, you can. Diose has a timeout spell. Diose has a timeout spell in Yoyami Dancers, but you can. You can. You don't have to, like, sit there and wait it out necessarily. If you time everything perfectly, you can just dance with Diose. Which is honestly one of the greatest things I've ever seen for dealing with a, ti uh, a timeout spell. Because it lets the player do something while they wait, what's effective, and also, like, visually appealing. So, you're still dodging everything, but you're doing so in a way that makes the player feel very good. Because your timing is good, and the reward for having good timing is apparent in that method. So, the game gets away with having, like, a 30 second timeout spell, or 20 second, however long it is, because it's an enjoyable experience if you do it right. As opposed to these games, where you wait for 40 fucking seconds for the real spell card to happen, and then it just throws random shit in your face hoping to catch you and be like, Haha, you got hit. Fuck you. Alright, four drinks.
I hate these little bastards. All right. <clears throat> I pressed the release button on the extra stage and they died. Oops. I read that as oops, don't graze it. Whoops. My mind is not where it needs to be right now. Stupid Boston. Hmm. It is pain. The ace. It looks cool though. <laughs> Every tall character comes equipped with a vacuum for just such a situation. <laughs> Whoop! Oh my god. Nothing is dying. Oh, finally. Look at this. Shock. Okay. Okay. Time for the big chair lady. Is that a drum or a mirror? I'm sure it's a mirror. But it kind of looks like a drum. Because there's like something in it. What's in it? It's shiny. It is a drum? I thought it was a drum. It looks like a drum. Alright. Ultimate absolute secret god. Yep. It's cool that the bullets are colored like the seasons. I think it's neat, but I do not like any of her nons because they were all BOAP styles on the same color background as the bullets she fires at you. Yeah, Zone, it looks great. I'm sure it looks great. If you can actually fucking see it, that is. <gasps> Big deal, I've been hit by worse. What is a bullet? I don't know how to do any of her spell cards either because I press release like a dumbass. <laughs> or I bomb. <laughs> the, the, this one was a cat, but it was an accidental cat. Ow. Boap, 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 boap. Die. Crunch it. Now it's blue. That but D. I know Okina is difficult, but I I, I I like her more than the other two. <clears throat> I don't fully understand this spell card. It seems to make sense until it doesn't. Well, it is on easy mode. Well, 
Oh. É pro Wizard. This is a Lily White spell card. Die! The enemy stole your power. Oh, chunky ass. Come on, look at this. Ew, 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 ew. Getting there. I thought that was winter final as well, but it's because Chirbo uses the summer season, so it uses Ice Bullet. Uh, Okina. Okay. Mm. Donations? The Hakurade Shrine. Oh, on. Pretty small. Never mind. Well, it's because, it's because Reimu is sitting down. That's all. That's all. Resolve to rematch. Yeah, there's not really a, the endings in these game don't really like work properly because the uh, they're supposed to end from the extra stage because it's a continuation to the main game, but there's no actual endings to the extra stages aside from the dialogue between the two characters. So the endings are kind of unsatisfying in that sense. That's all. I lost more lives to the back of dancers than I did to Okina. So. No ah. Bah. Blah. Woo. Okay. Thanks for playing. Accepted. June. Okay, 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 okay. There are two more. There are two more. Five, four. <laughs> okay. Next game is Lotus Land Story then. Okay. Uh, lot, I'm looking for it. It is somewhere in here. MS DOS require test stage of memory. Where is the. Where are you? There, there, there. Okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yep, yep. Actually, I have to pee first. Hold on. Hold on. I'll leave you with this since you won't be able to hear it while I pull and I do this. Oh, you definitely won't be able to hear that one. I'll be right back.
Okay, it is now time to play the video game again. Okay. Quit. Options. Rank. Lunatic. Easy. Five stages. Six. Bombs. Two. Turbo Reese. Turbo mode. Ready, set. Oh, wait. I gotta pick my character first. One, two, three, four. It's two. Let's Raymo B then. Okay. Wide shot. Oh, fuck. Okay, that's fine. It's green, dude. Alright. I got that itching dream. I got that itching dream. Eight hours later. Gee willikers, it sure is been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming and a long time going and a long time coming and going. Alright. I like Decoration Battle a lot, so I'm looking forward to listening to that for about, ah, 40 seconds, give or take. I'm unsure how long it will last. Mm -mm. Score is going good, yeah. The shot is very wide, it covers a lot of ground. However, it does not do much damage because it focuses on hitting everything instead of one thing, which is great for stages. However, bosses are one thing only, so it is nice when your shot hits only the boss, and it is hyper-focused on the boss. But it is not focused on the boss, it is focused on everything else but the boss. But as you can see, it's very helpful. I'm having a lot of fun right now with the way the shot is clearly working as intended. Yep. You think these Bake Baki are natural? I know Rika made the ones in the first stage of uh, Story of Eastern Wonderland, but I don't think it's ever specified that these are the same ones. They're kind of different, right? I think, maybe, possibly. I got hit by that before, just so you know. It is... It is a situation. Alright, here's Orange. Otherwise known as Orange, or I guess Chen if you want to call her that. Decoration Battle. This theme is really good for no reason. Whoosh. Good thing I have Wide Shot, so she won't die very fast. This is a good thing. This is definitely a good thing. Do PC-98 bosses like time out? They don't seem to have timers indicating such, but I'm pretty sure I read that they can time out. Well, some of them anyway. I don't know if, like, Story of Easter Wonderland has timeouts. Also, Orange changed colors. Her hair turned blue. Did you see that? Well, now she's dead. Oh, never mind. She didn't want to die just yet. Never mind, Raymu brained her. Sorry. You got in the way of the lady riding the silent turtle. That's all. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. I am shooting the gun. There are some striking similarities in appearance between Orange and Chen. I mean, orange and mailing, not not Chen. There is absolutely nothing between orange and Chen that would lead you to believe they are the same character. Literally nothing. Well, I guess their name, so to s sort of maybe a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, maybe not that at all, but it's because mailing and orange like look the same. They also have a similar interaction with the protagonist of their first appearance. That's all. This is Kudami. She is a vampire. No, not Remilia. Kudami fans in shambles. All two of you. She was the first vampire, and all anyone cares about is the other one. The one that eats spaghetti. You know the one. 
What a menace. How unbelievable can you get? Stealing my thunder. A totally original character. That's like that. A vampire girl. Come on, Zun. What are you doing? Stole that spotlight. Could have been was pretty good. No, I'm just being a fuckhead. Could have neat. She just kind of exists, though. And then she disappears, like all the other ones. Every single character in this game except Yuka, you defeat them, and then they never show up again the end. So it leads me to believe that this game is not very, uh, friendly, I suppose. But I guess PC-98 always kind of came off as a bit more... Not edgy, but more like... I, I guess dangerous, I suppose. I am going to shoot you. Oh no! See? I'm shooting. She has a weird gimmick. She like, lasers the walls and they fire this kind of bullet. I don't think any other character really does this. I can't think of any off the top of my head anyway. It's a pretty unique mechanic, or gimmick as far as I'm concerned. Hmm. Nazarene kinda? Yeah, I suppose she does do that. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, no, I, I see the similarity there. It's kinda cool, though. Wow. That was close. That was very close. <laughs> Alright. Here it comes. That song, you know the one. Yeah. The funny song. The the lyrics to the Bad Apple song don't seem very funny. But it's it's a meme song. So But it's a good song. That's the thing. That's a genuinely good song. Kaboom! The trial version, the pitch was much lower. I don't like it as much as the current one. Not bad, though. You can listen to it if you go to TCRF. They have the file up. It's pretty apparent that it's different, though. I wonder why it changed it. Honestly, I wonder why Bad Apple, of all the songs and all of Toho, was the one that, like, exploded in popularity, you know? Like, I, I don't get me wrong. It's a good song. It's a good PV, but, like, it's just kind of crazy how everything kind of just worked in its favor. Like, they made a good song with it as bass, and then someone made a good PV, and it's just like, holy shit, right? Couple, couple sparks hit the right spot, and then it created a phenomena. Which I suppose is kind of how it goes for anything that gets popular. Luck always plays a factor in exposure, no matter what you try to do. Fame is like a firework. It's spontaneous, random... Fizzles out quickly, and you're lucky if you ever get another one quite like it. Hmm. The stage feels kind of long, but I think it's over now. Promotional video, yeah. They put, they put them to music, a music PV, because people will listen to the music. If people will listen to music if they have a visual to go with it, because the visual adds to a lot of the music. For example, you know Prier? Soundholic's uh, song Prier? That song has an animation to it. It cuts out the middle verse, but it is extremely, extremely good, and it, like, that, that PV sits in my head whenever I hear the song, and it always gets a. It always gets a reaction out of me. Because it's very, very good. You May Know Dream is another one that's really good. It's a good song, and when you see the, the PV for it, it's like, oh, 
Well, I am now sad. So every time you hear the song, you will think of the PV and you will be sad. And this is what we do to ourselves for some reason, because, well... I don't fucking know. Hey, do you know in the trial version, at least Scythe homed in on you? Yeah. That's kind of cool to see. It wasn't terribly effective, mind you, but it still did it. Probably a pain in the ass on Lunatic. In the final version, she just throws it. Trial version, that would have came to my left. Hmm. That PV for Prier, like, makes the song better, in my opinion, because I am able to attribute the emotions... the emotions intended for it properly, because it has been displayed as proper as, the, as it was envisioned. So, my interpretation of it aside, there is a proper intended interpretation of it. Which is like, when you see that, it's pretty fucking strong. <laughs> so it leaves a lasting impression, that's for sure. I can't understand the lyrics, so I never know how sad a song really is, except for judging by the tone. I mean, You May Know Dream doesn't sound like a very sad song, and then you watch the PV and you're like, ah, I am now the big sad. That's all. Hmm. Next is stage four. Wait, who's the boss of stage four? All right, it's it's Raymu. Wait, I'm Raymu. It's the other one, the other girl. Can, can't remember. Oh, okay. I guess these dolls are just gonna stick their hand in the air and then die. Can't see shit, Captain! Can't see shit. Hmm. This is like the third or fourth time I was trying to say Reimu and Marissa, but I genuinely forgot Marissa's name. I, I don't know how that happened. Not just once, but four times. Like, what? Wasn't a bit. I swear to God, that wasn't a bit. I just could not remember in the moment what her name was, and I did not feel like bringing it up again, so I just let it die. I just let it go. I forgot her name, I was just gonna let it slide, but then I kept doing it. It got harder and harder to fess up to it. <laughs> Whoa. Danger, 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 danger. Danger. Ooh. Man, if only Reimu could deal real ass damage, that would be swell. It's like getting tickled, man. You ever lost a tickle fight? This carpet just goes on forever and ever and ever. PC-98 stages feel really long, and I don't know why that is. I can't imagine they're that much longer than Windows stages, but there's something about them that I just... They just... They just go, man. They don't stop. Oh. Wow, I can dodge that, he said, with no confidence that he can dodge that. These doll things are kind of freaky. They just pop out of the fucking ground and just stand there. They shoot a single bullet and then perish. What a life. Well... I see. 
Yeah, see, the stage should have been over by now. I'm pretty sure the music just looped. Oh, what is this? Get it over with. Come on, now. Just get to the end of the hall. There you go. Hmm. There will be no stage six now. Oh, it's Raymu. Uh oh. Oh God. Oh. Why? Never ever bring it back. Never again. Oh. Please. Put them away. Put it away! No! Okay. I hate the fucking Oreo sun, dude. I, I hate it so much. I feel like the speed at which I am allowed to move and the speed at which the bullets come are not proper. You know what I mean? Like, it feels like I'm expected to think fast, but they're also treating me like a fucking snail. So, how am I supposed to think fast when I'm a snail? That's all. Maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong on this. But this shit comes at you super fast, and you move at a snail's pace. Even when you're not focusing. I don't get it, man. Go home. Leave. Hmm. It's easy mode relative to normal, I suppose. <laughs> hmm. Phantasmagoria. That's a cool word. I don't remember if this stage was long. Uh, it's not stage six, so I would say... Yes. Yes, it's long. Alright. I'm so glad oreo Sun never came back in any capacity ever again. Because I absolutely despise it. It is... I, I I hate it. I just hate it. I'm not gonna call it good. I'm not gonna call it bad. I'm just going to tell you that I fucking hate it. Also, it's kind of morbid how these enemies, when they go down, they don't explode. They just fall over. Like, look at that. That makes me feel bad. Like, at least when they comically explode, I don't feel anything. But this, this character is just like, you got me, and then fucking drops. How am I supposed to feel about that? They didn't just comedically go poof. They're just, just chilling. I can only assume the worst. They're not getting back up. What have I done? Oh well, it's okay. Remo has never killed anyone before, ever. It just, it's never happened. Remo is innocent until proven guilty, but you can't prove her guilty because she is innocent. Remo, I have never killed anyone, Hakurade. There you go. Hmm. There she is. It's currently 3 o'clock on her, her big clock, which I, I assume means 3 a.m. Oh boy, 3 a.m. Sleeping tear is a good one. If there's one thing I like about this game, it's Yuka's giant fucking laser. You see the speed of these bullets, right? And you see what I'm being told I have to deal with? Without any knowledge of my hitbox and the speed that I am given? That's why PC-98 games get on my nerves. <laughs> They're not bad games by any means, but... They certainly were, uh... There's certainly a different era, huh?
fast, fast, more fast, fast, fast. Also, I feel like the screen, there's less screen real estate. But I don't know if that's just a me thing or not. Maybe it just feels that way because of how quickly bullets invade your personal space. The old days were hardcore. Wide shot's doing it. That's just how it has to be sometimes, you know? Listen, I forgot that was happening, and I tried to move out of the way after the fact, but it covered too much of the screen, and I was too slow. <laughs> that illustrates my point pretty nicely, I'd say. <laughs> this time I know it's coming, so I'm going to move out of the way preemptively, but come on now. Pop City. Nice. Hmm. That's not a master spark. That's a double spark. Where'd she go? Where are you? <laughs> Remu is mad. That's eight lives, huh? Well, I mean... That more or less finishes the cup. Oh, you can't look at that. No, that's illegal. Stop looking. Stop! Stop! Cease! Stop! My my head is full of rats and jun. That's it. Crazy, isn't it? Whoa! That was the wrong thing to stop. Okay, hold on. Got it. My thumb is red. As is the finger I use to hold the, the focus button. <laughs> Alright, drinks up. There is a little bit left. I will not be refilling my cup. That's for sure. Special thanks to Jun, of course. Thanks, Jun. Uh, there's one more game, and I'm free. Just one more game. Do I have one for 10 desires? I do. I do have one for 10 desires. Add source. Image number 67. Big goofy ass smile. It's <laughs> <Just> great. <laughs> Just another player. Oh, look at that outfit! This game gives you cool outfits when you beat them with the character in different difficulties. Well. Wow. Uh. Shouldn't. Okay. Yeah, me too, Jun. Yeah, the background, you don't really notice it on dark mode, but you notice it on light mode. But we, we included the, made the the oil in it, so you would, like, know that it's, a, you know, it's, it's from the ending, and not just her severed head, you know? <laughs> Felt like that was a pretty good detail to keep in there. <laughs> Okay. All right, drum roll please. Drum roll please. 
I'm gonna click it and see how many times it takes to hit 13. 11. 8. 16. 10. 11. 3. 18. 3. 18. 6. 2. 16. 4. 4. 13. There you go. There you go. That's it. 13. That's the game we're ending it on. So let me just close all my stuff because I won't need any of this open after this. Okay. 10 desires. Oh. Oop. Uh, is this the right? I don't remember which one is the English shortcut. I'm sure it's this one. I'm sure it's this one. Windowed, always ask me. Oh. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, let's see. Me fit the screen. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Ew. Yeah, don't do that. No. That one. No. Yeah. Well. Whatever. Whatever. All right. All right, 10 desires. Thank you, Jake and Fish, for the resub. Final game. Final game. Disgusting. Okay. Easy. Oh, I didn't roll the character. There's four characters in this game. It's four. Who's four? Is that Yomu? Oh my god, it is. Okay. Do 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 do. I don't. Oh, this is gonna be weird. Uh oh. This is also a great stage one theme. Nope. Big slash. This game has bonus endings if you beat it with a high bomb count in reserve. Secret special endings. Oh shit, who's that ghost? Oh no, who could it be? That random ghost. Is that me? Gucci? It's gotta be, right? How could it not be her? Not like there's any other vengeful spirit out there with me as her first uh, character in her name. Not that I know of, anyway. Oh, that's close. Yeah. This feels so strange. Like, it partially goes against the way I play these games in a, in a weird way, but it's clearly very strong, so... Whatever works, right? Look at the little ghosts. Look at the little ghosts. Look at the little ghosts. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It would seem the spirits are headed in the direction of the village. Ah, Yomu! Where are you going at this time of night? Holy shit, like the quality on my screen and the quality of what you're seeing are not that different actually, never mind. Yuyoka Ghost Led This theme isn't as good as Border of Life, but it's comparing a stage one boss theme to a stage six boss theme, so it's not surprising. However, her 10 Desires art is quite nice. I'm pretty sure the design on her Yukata has changed. Or is it a kimono? I don't actually know the difference between the two of them. I'm pretty sure the kimono is one you wear in the 
the uh, colder seasons, and the yukata is one you wear in the warmer seasons. But I'm not Japanese, nor do I have any understanding of it, so, you know, that happened. That's, that's really unfortunate. But, it's Yuko, she is really strong. It just, it's, that, that was bound to happen eventually. Yuko got one. Everybody gets one. My A button is caked in sweat. I need to fix this. Quickly. I hate this, I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, chop, chop. Wouldn't this, like, purify Yuko or something? Isn't that dangerous? I'm sure that's dangerous for all Yuko. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hold on, I gotta take a... I got, I got a little bit left in the cup. Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> Welcome to the back of the Yokai Temple. This music's kind of stinky. I'm not a huge fan of a lot of uh, the music from Ten Desires. To be honest, there's not much from this game that I particularly am a fan of. Except Kyoko. Well, I think Miko's pretty cool. I like Futo. But I'm not a Sega fan. I'm not really a Yoshika fan. Yiko doesn't count. Um, Nui doesn't count. I'm not really a Mamizo fan. There's really not a lot here for a person like me. Oh, well, Kyoko's here, I suppose. Beating me won't change anything, you know. True. But you're the one who started the fight. Or maybe I was the one who started the fight and you were just defending yourself. I don't actually know. If only I had the chance. Cut, cut, chop, 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 chop. There she is. Good morning. Look at her. She's just screaming. Ah! That's her attack. Wait. Oh, I thought that fairy had a, a life piece. Gex for gifting a sub, but you're not subbed yourself, so you probably should have done that first before gifting someone else one. I do appreciate it though, thank you. Oh, I see. Well, I do appreciate that, thank you. Zemu Toto Shu! This temple has a strict ban on killing! I'm sure most places in the world have a strict ban on killing Kyoko. She's just here to do her job. Do they pay her enough to fight someone like me? I don't think so. Powerful residents. Wow. <clears throat> it's too much. Never mind. It's honestly a really cool gimmick. 
It's clear and well defined. That life piece is impossible to get my hands on before it disappears. I hate this fucking game. Why? Why, SpongeBob? Why didn't you just write your essay? Whoa, 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 what's happening here? Uh. Explode, please. Oh, she didn't say it. I guess she only says it for what's her face, huh? Okay, that's fine. I like that line. Beating me won't change anything, you know. It's true. You can't just beat up a stage two boss and expect the entire incident to be resolved. That's not how this works. That's never how this worked. There's something about the font in this game that is... I'm having difficulty discerning it. Well, maybe it's because it's been nine and a half hours. That, that that sounds like the reason, if I have, it was good to pick one. To pick the most plausible reason for thinking that, I would say that's a pretty good one. My transmitter has been at basically zero since I died, and that's not good. I've lost one life so far on Yuko. If I lose, well, it doesn't matter. Oh, right, I forgot you were in this game. She really wants me to fuck up Yoshika. Somehow this results in a fight. How did this happen? Any particular reason why Kogasa just- the, the, the bosses just bleed, uh, spirits to Yomu? I don't remember if that happens for other characters. I thought that was a thing that only happened if you were close to them, but Yomu just seems to be able to- well, alright then. Well, alright then. I want life pieces. Not counting this as a life used because, well, it's not a life used. Just one of the life pieces to count for more, considering I took a very, very bad start. Shake it up there, quick, 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 quick. Get the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff, get the stuff. Quick, go, 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 quick, 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 go, quick, go, quick. Uh, it's not just you. This entire game is has a massive chokehold on resources for no fucking reason. Ah! Uh, I don't know why. You just don't get life. You don't get lives. That's all. Hello. Zombie! This is a zombie. Uh oh. Do I out damage her healing? I certainly hope so because I don't want to do this as intended.
Die. Die! Poison nail. Wow. Game feels blurry. But I think I don't think that's just me. I know you may think it's just me, but I, I feel like the quality is a little blurry. I don't know why though. I don't know why. Uh, do I really want that? Eh, I didn't want it that bad, but I got it anyway. Oh, Yoshika, why are we doing this? I can now damage it. I can now damage it. Yeah! Stupid shit. Hmm. Then desire is regarded to be easy, but that e that's based entirely on bullet pattern uh, difficulty, not on overall game. Because you know, if you do not that hard spell cards with you know two lives at any given time, the pressure is obviously on no matter what. Also, Miko is still pretty difficult. But the problem is that, as you can see, I have lost one life. One. And I'm on stage four. Why the fuck do I only have two lives right now after that? One mistake. One single mistake. Crazy. If you don't wanna, if you, if you want more lives, you simply need to route out trance uh, to get more lives. Gee, that's great, uh, but you know, if I'm at a point where I can just route out trance for more lives, maybe I'm at the point where I'm not gonna get hit that much to begin with. You ever think of that? It's like how SA rewards you at life pieces by proving to the game that you don't need extra lives. It's kind of backwards. I don't understand it. If SA didn't let you get life pieces through that means with by using bombs, then I would be very confused. And then DDC does that, but DDC has a different gimmick as well, and as well as that, so it doesn't matter that much. Like Tall 16 and Tall 14 give you a life, a bomb piece if you clear a spell card without dying or bombing. Of course, it can be a life piece in 14 because of the way the the system works, but for 16, it's just an extra bomb piece you get, which is fine. But an SA is just like, oh, you capped that spell card. You, you cleared that non, congrats, here's one-fifth of a life. But it lets you use a bomb on them, so you can still get lives even when bombing, which is really good, because if it didn't do that, then what the fuck would be the point of giving me life pieces? That doesn't even make sense. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, well, this is some cock gobbler. Yep. Yep. Hmm. It's not that he punishes people for not having skill, it's that his gimmicks are... They're a little more intensive than he probably expected. That's all. Also, this game is like a decade old. Trans mechanic, the games usually center around the mechanics as a core feature, but actually making use of the trans mechanic is kind of awkward because it obviously expects you to be decently good at the game to make use of it. 
I think the way the trans mechanic works is kind of strange. I don't understand why it takes so long to fill up, but then if you get hit, you lose all of it. Why? Is that really necessary, that I have to lose the entire fucking bar if I got hit? How am I supposed to utilize the mechanic if I have to play perfectly to use it where I want to? That confuses me. Damn! Yoshika has tilted sideways. Hmm. I'm not getting up there to hit her, that's for sure. Damn. Damn. <laughs> that just fucking kills her. I... Yoshika doesn't seem to die on the nons. Can Yoshka die on this one? She is above. Oh, what the fuck? Alright, I guess she can. I had no idea. Alright. I didn't realize that was the last one. No, Yoshka smells fine. She, she doesn't smell like a stinky corpse. I'm pretty sure it's canon that she, you know, she's hygienic. Which is good because that'd be kind of bad if she wasn't, because she's done, nobody wants a stinky corpse girl. Hmm. All right, stage five, Futo. Pew, 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 pew. There we go. I need that. I want that. I want that. I need that. I want that. I need that. Huh. I think there's enough life pieces in the last two stages to give me exactly one extra life. pretty good that's pretty good up oh. does she even have a spell card on easy mode Looking at her health bar, I would say no. Yeah. I would say no with that. Oh. Silly music. Okay. Alright. Now the ring. I don't think they fire bullets. Nope. I am okay then. And every time I play this game, I think I like it a little less. I'm not really a huge fan of the music. I'm not really a huge fan of the characters. What am I even here for? What does this game offer me? I don't know. It offers me Yoma with a clean haircut. I, well, not a clean haircut. 
But the Yomo, Yomo's hair is like wet in this game, you notice that? For photo dialogue. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, you're right about that. Usually, usually, uh, Yomu's hair is very prim and proper, but her hair here looks, you know, like she just got out of the shower, essentially. I kind of like it. Okay. <clears throat> Tanuki girl, I have considered. Not my, not my kind of girl. That's all. I like this one right here more. This goofball. It's got a funny hat. Yeah. Oh. Damn. <laughs> All right. Yomo does big damage, huh? Mononobe's 80 sake cups. She was throwing dishes her whole life. Just Miko got mad about the cups, so she moved on to plates. That's the plates are an urban legend. Her urban legend is quite strange. Classic yep cock moments. I know how this one works. The orange one doesn't stop, but the red ones will. Oh, right, yeah. Whoa. I don't know if the boat hits me. Since this is the last stage, let me just finish my cup. There's like, there's like a sip in here anyway. Well, there was two. There was two. All right, this is it. The final, last thing, Miko. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. You know the real icing on top is the fact that not only are life pieces so limited, but every time you get a life, the amount you need increases. Is that really necessary? Is that really needed? Was this game supposed to be easy or difficult? I'm unsure. Because the gameplay patterns lead me to believe it's meant to be easier. But the resources lead me to believe that it's not. I don't get it. There seems to be like some kind of clash in design philosophy here. What was the goal? What was the intended end result? A game on the easier end of the spectrum or a game on a difficult end of the spectrum? I genuinely don't know. Wish I still had my uh, power. Uh, can't get 
you can't get well you, well you can get 15 with good trances but that's the problem right like is so much of it is dependent on trancing at the exact right time to multiply the amount of life pieces you get so yeah anyway here's miko there she is Go, go, go! Whoa, did you see that? The four was in place, but the rest of the timer had to move up. I forgot how that worked. I almost just fucking died. That would not have been very pog. Color of 12 level. Did you see that crouch she does? Oh, oh pardon me. I want to look at it again, but now I have to dodge. Damn it. Maybe I can get a life. Yeah, she prays to her little stick thingy. Mikushaku. Yuko is the strongest character in this game, because she's the only one who's gotten one on me yet. Yeah, I've lost one life, and I have four. Hmm. This is quite a certified bra moment. Alright, time for Sonic 06 quotes. Hey, get, like... Is that... Is that actually what they're saying, or was the translation team having a giggle? Seriously, there's just... There's just no fucking way, right? There's, there's just no fucking way that's not just Silver and Eggman quotes. <laughs> Told you, go, what the fuck? There, there, there's just no way, dude, they're having a giggle. Play times over. Wow. <laughs> Holy baby game, man. Wow. That is a sharp contrast <laughs> to normal mode. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, I can't see. I was like, my my washing machine is broken. Please start it over again. Uh oh. Monka S spell card time. I mean, <laughs> this was a higher difficulty and the stakes were immeasurably <laughs> high. <laughs> I got 15 life pieces. Divine Spirit Mausoleum. But get out of the way.
Dead. Ah! That was like a hilarious uh, contrast between normal and easy right there. The, the, the attack may as well not even happen, dude. Yeah. That's it. That's a wrap. I lost one life to Yuko. That's it. Yuko, whoa, you, you, she doesn't have her hat on. She's also really tall. She might also be floating, I'm not sure. Is this the secret ending? I think so. Maybe not. I think it needs to be on normal or higher. Whoa, Yuko has her name written on the back of her head. I'm, I'm, I'm not making this up. I'm not, I'm not making this up. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the secret endings were normal enough. But Yuko has her name written on the back of her head. I'm not joking. This is part of the ending. Clean this up. She made a mess and then she wants Yomu to clean it up. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Having a lazy master is a pain. Yeah, that's ending seven. So it's regular. There you go. Yeah, Jun in space. I love when she's in space. Cosmic brain. I did it. Nine hours and 40 minutes. I played 16 mainline Toho games. And about four, four cups. Or was it five? I don't know. Four or five cups of alcohol. Yeah. Now it's time to stop. Drinking fellows. Me. Yeah. Actually me. <laughs> that was me. I did it. <clears throat> oh man. Since you have fulfilled your desire to play, thank you for playing. Jun on the brain. No desire. <laughs> I agree. However, Jun wins out. That's it. No wine. I did it. That's it. Three years. Three years of the shit! What a great ending. Yay! It's over! I did it! 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. All done. Thank you, Koja, for the 20 gifted. For three years. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to... Eat. And I think I am going to bed. That last bit is subject to change. Either way, that was nearly... That was basically a 10-hour stream. That's cool. I'm not streaming tomorrow. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Here's to another year. Another year of this. <laughs> God have mercy.